Hi. Monica. How are you doing, lovely? Good, thank you. Good, thank you. I'm yourself? just trying to think then. When was the last time we had a show together? It's been a while. My last few shows have been with Carol, yeah. <sighs> yeah. I get the pleasure of your company today. Oh, uh, and it is going to be a cracker as well. The sun is shining, which yes. is a novelty. Yes. Isn't it? it is a novelty. <laughs> yes. So it's been really, really nice, isn't it, for the next couple of days. And here's Ellen, the thick woolly cardi. Sorry? It is me in a thick woolly oh, cardi, yeah. thinking, okay. I, I'd resided myself to the fact that it was autumn, but no, hopefully there is sunshine. Um, and my goodness me, like I said, we've got an absolutely incredible, incredible Tuesday morning show. Shall we start by talking about your kits, Monica, yes. firstly? Um, because you said to me, oh, I really enjoyed my nine o'clock kits. I did, yes, especially the one with the mukite. Oh, the mukite's <laughs> exceptional. Yeah, because, is. I mean, we've brought mukite for many years here at Jewelry Maker, but yes. not necessarily in this cut. I'm not saying no. ever. But no. we don't see that cut. Very I mean, I often. love I love this cut generally, but uh, especially in the mukite, and, and I love with mukite how you can pick and choose the colours as well. Yeah, and yeah, you've got the perfect yeah. palette, haven't you? You've got a you've got a plethora. Check me do. out, and it works really well with the tiger's eye as well. Perfect. And spacer beads, which come on the and strand as well. Yeah. Um, so you've got two different sizes, and what I would describe as the satellite bead, which. Yeah. Do you remember not that long ago we were well, well when the first sa the satellite beads first arrived here at Jewelry Maker and they created this absolute frenzy yes. on our screens and we couldn't keep up with the demand on them yes. and then we kept trying to buy them and then there was like there's no more satellite beads and everyone was oh no oh what a shame yeah oh I like those I like how you kind of mean, mirror the image colors and the... yeah beautiful um then so so the satellite bead disappeared really didn't it yeah for a while yeah. um I don't know if I've missed the memo but it seems to be that, my, that they're back well not not very often though I have to say no occasionally occasionally yes. um well you get your satellite beads in Mukite, one locational natural gemstone all the way from Australia in one of Monica's kits today at nine o'clock. And then you've got, what's this? Is that Demorturite? Um, I was going to check in my email actually, because I couldn't remember. <laughs> it is. Is it? So yeah, this is one of the Beautiful. rarest colors of quartz. Ah. Demorturite that forms in this like denim blue. Yeah, I was going to say, it's exactly a denim blue, isn't yeah. it? It's, it's brilliant for wearing. Uh, Loving that. Blue. I remember launching Demorturite. Oh, really? Yeah. We don't, look, I mean, look how amazing this is. So you think quartz, you don't think blue, do you? No, really? no. Um, <clears throat> there's been less than five lines that Ross has ever seen. Yeah, no, I, I remember launching Demorturite years ago, years ago. And then it kind of, that was it. And that was when, um, I'll tell you how long ago it was, Marie was our buyer. Oh, that right. Was a, that Gosh, was when that we actually, um, that was when like we... Four years ago or something. Something like yeah. that, something like that. Um, so you've got Demortia right within your kit. And then this one, Golden Rutile, my yes, goodness that's me. that's beautiful as well, isn't it? I can see why you loved your nine o'clock kit. I did. Um, I did. Beautiful, <laughs> so not too long to wait for those. And then your 12 o'clock kit. Oh, that's lovely, Monica. Well, they, they're just really lovely, aren't they? I mean, they're really quick and easy to make. Any Even a beginner can do those. Love um, it. And they're really effective and they're really beautiful. So 12 o'clock, you've got the return of the adjustable rings. It's fabulous. It's and fabulous. genuinely, anybody could do these. If I was to buy some of these for, um, um, and I don't mean this disrespectfully now. No, no, of course, realize, of course. But um, uh, if I was to buy these for my seven-year-old, she could probably have a Absolutely. go, wouldn't she? Absolutely, yeah. Under supervision. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it to be disrespectfully. <laughs> As... <laughs> Monica, listen, that's what Monica was given. We know that she has unbelievable talents. But what I mean is we can't, oh, there's nothing you could do to complicate those, could you? No, you can't. I mean, when I, when I opened them, I did, I did, I did I've, go, I've oh, got a nice, easy now. one today. So. There you go. <laughs> and do you know what? It's really, <laughs> they're taking the mickey out of me now. Hey, no, we all know, <laughs> we all know Monica. <laughs> <laughs> and Ross has just said, my three-year-old could present the five-hour show, sounds like that. She probably could. She could probably do a better job. At least you have to be to seven. To be fair. At least you have to be seven to do my job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so it begins. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, though, I think your three-year-old could present the show. I think she'd do a great job. It'd be, it'd be full of giggles, wouldn't it? And sass. 
full of giggles and sass. Um, amazing. Can I just say, last night, Tiggy has reached, right, my, my little one's two, and she has reached the argumentative stage. Oh, dear. Oh, you know when you're just like, kind of like, uh, um, hi, Tiggy. I picked her up after, after work yesterday. Hi, Tiggy, do you have a nice day? I'm not Tiggy, I'm Ryder. Oh, right. <laughs> hi, Ryder, do you have a nice day? I'm not Ryder, I'm Rubble. Right. <laughs> hi, Rubble, did you have a nice day? No. <laughs> the okay. Pro the problem is they never really outgrow that stage, do no. they? <laughs> what? It's so, you know when you're trying to argue with some, someone, or, and you're like, oh, what? I don't even know why I'm arguing. <laughs> or it's like, but they, they contradict themselves massively. It's like, you were just saying that. Oh, oh, it is that woosa, woosa moment. Tiggy, are you, are, are you hungry? No. Okay, right then, fine. Um, I'm hungry! <laughs> Goodness sake. <laughs> anyway, I don't know how I got onto that subject. It's just what my, how my afternoon panned out yesterday. Oh, just no. a constant two-year ba battle. Oh. Um, yes, yeah, so you've got the adjustable rings, and they're really beautiful. So we have a lion. Yes. We have... Elephant. An elephant. Yeah, we've got a turtle, which is really cute. Yeah. We have a flying fish. Yes, a seahorse. A well, seahorse. It's unusual. You don't usually see a swan. A seahorse. A no, swan. I like seahorses. I do. I like I, 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 yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm drawn to a seahorse. Yeah. There's something about them. Isn't They're very there? cute. Yeah. They're very, I like the fact that it's. I remember watching a documentary once and there was this little seahorse and he couldn't find a mate. Oh. Bless him. And he was just desperate to have, have babies, babies. Oh. obviously. And in the end, he was getting a little bit. A, a little bit old to to, oh, to be yeah. having babies <laughs> but in the end they managed he managed to breed bless oh, him so it was a nice story in the end and he had his thousands of babies <laughs> just lovely <laughs> just lovely um, <laughs> also what a conversation this is also we have joining us in the studio this morning the lovely dave Tross to bring you some absolutely exquisite works of art in the wonderful gemstone that we all know and love beautiful type a jadeite you've got olmec oh, look at those. aren't they incredible wow oh i gave you a little sneaky peek this one's got the phoenix within wow now um heads up they are limited i think we will confirm i think there's 50 top quantity which is you know it's quite good to be fair we are talking about one of the world's rarest gemstones but imagine having that display somewhere like on your fireplace or something oh like my that. goodness it's me just like you've got it there oh, i'm sure your house insurance is all up to speed isn't <laughs> yeah. it yeah it yeah yeah i mean these yeah. are you you could visualize these in somewhere like a gallery couldn't you absolutely because yeah. rather than a canvas nothing wrong with a canvas of course this is this is one of the world's rarest and most valuable canvases that exists um, and they are carved by hand all with wonderful meanings um, and Dave's going to be stepping into the studio to introduce those plus we've got loads of sterling silver to bring you today bead caps bead caps bead caps they're available right now so if you go onto the website all the w's www uh, jewelrymaker.com click watch live um, and then scroll down and you'll see lots of the items that we are launching b caps number one you've got those lovely heart connectors in the three different colors some of these items will be locked at their price point some will go lower um, we do encourage shopping ahead and that's because some of these items will be quite limited for example the green angelite for example the blue angelite um, yeah I mean so if you see something that you absolutely love I'm not saying they're all all extremely limited yeah. um, but more often than not um, you can also drop us a message into the studio so if you want me to bring something to air we can do that um, oh. yeah and I'm a little fish it's lovely oh, isn't it's it cute. <laughs> now shall we start with an error Ross says made on his part Ooh. yeah let's do it okay what's that number 27 you made an error on all make jade out it's a good start to the day, isn't it? <laughs> That's why, oh, you're nipping it in the bud now. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it's a good start to the day. There are only 12 though, okay. Can I just say, if you love the Phoenix carving, this oh, is just a must. Perfect. Yeah. Now, this strand, six and a half millimeters, 70 carats, 
has always closed at 129 here at Jewelry Maker, which is absolutely amazing. But it's on the website. Uh, you can see where Ross has fluffed up. What if you don't? Oh. Oh, dear. Always closed at 129, Ross, this strand, you know. You know, just 50 pounds that you mis mis miscalculated there. <sighs> and you say you're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I've never said I'm perfect. No, but you do say you, 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 you're more often right than wrong. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Already lots of you getting involved in 30. What are you doing then? If we're st it's on the... Ross, Ross, you've made the mistake. It's at 79.99. Clock on your screens right now to graphics. 129, yeah. For natural old mech jadeite, the lost treasure of Guatemala launched in March at the beginning, when? This year. Okay, so, and then we showed it again in April and in June, and now we fast forward to August for the final few. Zero authority, Ross says, to do this. He just entered it wrong last night. To be fair, you've got lots of distractions at the moment, haven't you? You know, he's he's he's. We can we can make we can give you we can make allowances, Roscoe. I mean, you've got you've got a two-year-old and is she's two, isn't she, or three? Three in two weeks. Aww. There we go. Okay, um, and you've got an, an expecting uh, um, expecting mum. You know, lots of distractions. Uh, Look at... <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Chloe, if you want watching. <laughs> Not long now, lovely. I feel you. I do feel you. You've got this. I know. We're under £20 on split payments. Hello to you, Janet. I own this strand and it feels magical to hold. Yes. Uh, don't you get that about jadeite, though? It has got... Yeah. It almost, you feel it in your fingertips, don't you? The presence of the gem. Massive error. £50 off. Not, no authority to do that whatsoever. Um, the only reason that we're playing at the first item, Ross just said, I don't want to have to show this item again during the hour because then there's a high probability that the powers that be will start filtering into the building. Neil and Linda, Alison, Samantha's multi-bought, Margaret in Tynanware, Margaret in Wiltshire, Karen in Hampshire, Maker. I've got people with fours and threes in their yeah. baskets. Um, so if you want that quantity... You'll need to be quite quick. You can still currently get it, but how, seven left, okay. Uh, Linda, you've got it in your basket. Tina in Hampshire's got it in her basket as well. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all well. It's a sunshiny Tuesday morning, and we've got lovely Monica, we've got wonderful Dave, and we've got the fabulous jewellery maker crew. What more could we possibly want? Oh, Genuinely. Some beautiful jade is what we could Some want. Some lovely, beautiful yes. jade, yeah, that's it. I think this is probably my favourite colour of jade, to be yeah. honest. Um, and surprise, I was quite surprised when Susie said it was her favourite oh, really? too. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Because it's, it'll be new to her, won't yeah. it? Yeah. You know, because she's grown up with Jade. And yeah. she's maybe said, that's why it's her favourite, because yeah, it's not maybe. what she's used to. Yeah. It's very distinctive, and it's actually a really yeah. rare colour of Mother Nature, and that's all totally and utterly natural. And don't forget, when we make comparisons directly with the Ridinger's own website, Ridinger's being the people that rediscovered it um, in the uh, 1980s, you can buy Old Mech Jadeite, Type A Old Mech Jadeite, from their website. Um, you could get made-up jewellery, something like this. $569 um, but I'm going to say it, it's not as good a quality it's very very dark and um, doesn't have that kind of uh, uh, grand right like saturation yes, which is yes. ideally what you're looking for um, there's yet yeah, very mottled very white or very dark does that make yes, sense yes. whereas this has got this lovely uh, lovely sort of continuity of color by the way that necklace is in silver and also you could all make that couldn't you and if, you, if you're watching thinking, no, I couldn't, Elle, we could definitely teach you how to make that. Um, so look at the ring. Over a thousand pounds. And you can see the difference in the quality as a significant... Well, I don't know if I should say that sentence. But you, could, you finish that sentence in your head. You know what I'm thinking. Um, I've only got four of them left. So if you see your name right now, Maker, Maker, Karen, Margaret, Margaret, Karen, Maker... 
Yeah, if you, uh, I've got four left. So Karen, if you check out, you can have those four. But I have also got people on the phone lines as well. You've got to help, uh, help Roscoe out, he's saying. <laughs> it should have been 129. He made a mistake last night because you schedule from home, don't you, Roscoe? Not always. Not always. You set the prices at home. Okay, fair enough. And you must have had a little distraction. A little distraction, I don't know. Maybe Kader saying, Rossi, Ross, is it, is it, what, does, what does Kader call you, Rossi boy? Rossi boy? <laughs> yeah, that's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> so cute. I just get shouted at, mother! <laughs> that's what I get. I don't yeah. get Rossi boy. Yes, we've reached the stage with my son where I'm called bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? I've got one left. Yeah, what, what, what did Willow say to me yesterday? She was like that, bruh. Yeah. Is that a big fun? <laughs> I beg your bruh. Bruh. It's not bruh. even bruh. It's like, talk bruh. properly. Talk properly. <laughs> I, I have turned into my mother. What's bruh mean? What does that even mean? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Talk properly. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> my goodness me. You like it? Yeah. I think when it's because it's normally sass. That's why why she she says it if she's been a bit sassy. Yeah. You know, like what you like what what you're doing. That kind of bro. Um, <laughs> Karen, um, I've got two Karens, two Margarets, a maker. No, three makers. There you go. So and I've only got one of them left. Nineteen ninety nine, fifty pounds off. Ross's error. Let's let's make it the perfect crime. Um, I think. Geraldine and Ida, Jane, amazing. Has it sold out? One. Ooh. There's one left. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a bit of a delay on our website. So Geraldine, Ida, Jane, Linda, Tina, Margaret, Neil and Linda, Alison, Samantha. You've done it. Amazing. I've got one left. Now, it could be Karen in Lincolnshire, Margaret in Tynanware, uh, Margaret in Wiltshire, Karen in Hampshire and Maker. So good luck. I'll leave it with you. I've only got one left. So, um, And you have also till the end of the hour. £50 saving. <laughs> Ross, Rossy boy, <laughs> bruh, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> oh dear me, amazing, amazing. Should we do another big mistake? On a what? Oh, this one. Oh, this in between the old Mick Jay we just oh. had. Oh. This is one of the rarest colours of jadeite. Now, don't expect purple. It's a very soft whisper of lavender. Oh, my goodness me. Totally natural in your four mils. I'm going to say they look like four mils. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Um, so remember what Ronan Schussel said? He believes it won't be long until the rarer colours, your red and your lavender, will overtake the price point of your imperial greens. It makes sense. These are rarer. Um, because it takes vanadium, not without getting too gemmy. Vanadium isn't something that naturally occurs. Um, oh, I shouldn't say that, sorry. It doesn't frequently occur within Burma itself, so that's why we rarely ever see the lavender colours. So beautiful, though. It's like a dove blue, isn't it? Like it is, a... but, but it's definitely a lavender. It's not... You, do you know what I mean? It's, it's not, not white. It's not white, no. It's def most definitely lavender. It's a very yeah. soft colour, isn't it? Beautiful. We're at 99.99 and we're going to follow suit. It would go perfectly. I like Monica's suggestion. Go perfectly with your Olmec um, that we just brought you for £50 less than we should have done. But also, it would look absolutely amazing with your carvings that are coming oh, up with yes. Dave at 10 o'clock today. Um, I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready, Monica? Not really, but no. Uh, go on. What about you, Dan? Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Dan's born ready. It's a good job one of us is. Oh. Damn it. That's a bit of a discount, isn't it? <laughs> it's, a bit, it's, a bit, it's a fairly substantial jump, isn't it? Yeah. How many have we got? I wasn't expecting that. Um, 12. Do you want to see how quickly 12 sell out? Because this, this is an absolute given, isn't it? Do you know what I would do? If I, if I got one of those pendants, yeah. I would either do some bead embroidery or some other kind of setting and have this go around the oh, edge Ah, beautiful. Of the pendant. That would be pretty amazing. Imagine lavender jadeite being sort of the main neckline piece oh, yes. of... I mean, wow. And when do we see lavender jadeite in your four millimetre rounds? I mean, yeah, that would be absolutely beautiful, wouldn't it? 39 99 
Morning, Alison. Morning, Anna. Morning, Samantha. Lovely. Hello to you, Linda and East Sussex and West Midlands. And, and I can see you there, Samantha. Another maker there as well. We had, did you say 12? 12 available, but I don't have that quantity anymore, so you need to be quite super speedy uh, checking out your baskets. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm still, tick uh, I'm still chuckling about the argumentative Tiggy at the moment. I missed it. She was still asleep when I left this morning, so I didn't oh. get in a, I usually get an argument before I come to work, <laughs> you know. Um, 39.99, well done, everybody. New customers getting involved as well. Welcome to the wonderful yet ever so slightly crazy world of jewellery maker. You can drop us a message into the studio. We are live. Um, and we do love to hear from you as well. Come say hi. Tell us what you're up to. You're going to be pottering around in the gardening. You're going to be making some uh, masterpiece piece of jewellery? Are you baking or going for a walk? Have you got, I don't know, kids home from school, grandchildren, whatever it might be? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How's your summer holiday going? Because you're, you're, you're in the good. same boat, you're entertaining. Yes, we've got some friends staying with us at the moment, so we've got lots of entertainment. Okay, so, that's yeah. good. And then uh, next week we're away on holiday to Scotland, not anywhere sunny, but still. You never know. Yeah. It's meant to be nice next week, isn't it? Yes. Hopefully. Very nice. Whereabouts in Scotland are you going? Sterling. Oh, beautiful. So. Yeah, very nice. So we always leave our summer holiday to the end of the holidays for some reason. I think we're always too late booking everything. Yeah, we're so. the same. We haven't booked ours yet. We do need to get on it. Otherwise, uh... yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've got, no, we've got, we've, 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 <laughs> I, uh, like absolutely not doing anything that exciting but it'll be we'll be lucky if we get a week to 10 days at this rate but yeah we will book somewhere but yeah we're always last minute.com we are yeah. um always um there's only three of these left yeah i can't plan ahead i can't plan ahead so we're always yeah last minute um beautiful lavender jade i well done everybody and congratulations to each and every single one of you shall we start with some first bit of sterling silver if you go onto the website, you should see that there are, they're available in the different colours. Um, so number two, there's the rose gold. Then number three is the yellow gold. Um, I'm bringing you number four. <coughs> they are set at their price point. Silver, 925, 12.99, with genuine zircon, not cubic zirconia. So don't misinterpret for the man-made gemstone. Um, a beautiful connector. So I'm thinking of, well, it's a fairly obvious way you could put this, really, I suppose. Absolutely. I'd put it in the middle of your necklace. Yeah, <laughs> front and centre. Um, we're already matching the price point of the rose and the yellow gold. But we're going to take it a little bit lower. That clock is ticking. How many do we have then, Ross? Oh, 30. Okay. Yeah, so you could knock down to the heart. You could have a nice little yes. tassel at the bottom or a pendant. But also, if you had two of them, you could join them together at the pointy end and then have it in sort of in the side of a, oh. a double strand necklace and it would look like a little bow. That's lovely. Two hearts <laughs> live in just one mind. Bit of fill. Sorry, just popped into my head there. <laughs> um, <coughs> famous fills. Oh. How many famous yeah. fills could you come up with? Yeah, Phil Collins. Um, who? Phil Leonard? I don't know. You're saying bands now that I don't even know. Um, <coughs> Phil Collins, though, he's got to be up there, isn't he? Absolutely. He's amazing. Uh, 12 99 but we're going even lower. Well done. I had 30 of these, I think Ross said. Um, we're genuine... With genuine zircon. He's the lead singer of what? Th Thin Lizzy. Okay, there we go. Nine ninety nine for you. There's a big amount of sterling silver within this. Boys are back in town. I know, yeah. Duh. Is that right? It's got an intro, isn't it? Um, no, what am I thinking? Oh, but many. Is that Thin Lizzy as well? Um, oh, but many. That one. No. <laughs> totally. Totally. No, it's not. No, uh, sorry, Ross has just said that was in the 90s. No, no, it was much earlier than that. Uh, 9.99, well done, Jenna Weaver. Hello to East Sussex, hello to Theresa, hello to Karen. Who was it? Ram Jam, I would have never have guessed that. If it was in a pub no. quiz, never would I have guessed that. <laughs> <No>. Came out in, <laughs> no, it didn't. Really? Wow. Came out in when? No, tell the truth, Ross. 1977. Uh, yeah, that's, that's like yeah. So just before just the 90s, yeah. Just a smidge. <laughs> smidge before. Um, oh, it's a year older than me, that song. 
Yeah, it's a year younger than me. <laughs> Yeah, there we are. We'd have, been, we'd have been in school together then, Monica, yeah, you and I. Yeah. Yeah, I think of the mischief we'd have created <laughs> in school together. Uh, make sure you check it out, everybody. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> all the mischief. Um, Phil Oakey from Human League. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of Human League songs now. Um, we got The King. King, King well, Philip, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, is that what you were I was going to say Prince Philip, but yeah. Prince Philip, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, amazing, well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, folks. Um, fabulous. Don't forget your little bee caps are included in this hour. And remember, everything is on a curfew. Um, so each item on the website will disappear before um, before nine o'clock. So, okay, let's bring you first of your beautiful angelites. This is, let me just double check. Soft faceting to this one. Um, I'm visualizing it alongside the old mech. Yes, or the lavender jet. Yeah, that would be pretty. Oh, yes. Nice pastel, like a pastel bouquet. Yes. Oh, actually, Ross says, I'll tell you what, no, let's do the green first. Wow, okay. look at those. They're amazing, aren't That's they? Gorgeous, isn't it? I love the, uh, um, well, it's, it's a vivid green, isn't it? And it's all totally and utterly natural. Wow. Insane. <laughs> It is, yeah. You know, when you think angelite, you think like a soft pastel palette. You yes. don't necessarily think about these almost chrysoprase-like colours. Yes, it's amazing. And that's all Mother Nature's doing. Um, loving this. It was launched quite recently here at Jewelry Maker, to, to my knowledge anyway. Um, they absolutely flew out the door. Much like the yellow selenite that we had the other day. Oh, yes. um, much like... Oh, we had another colour of angelite, didn't peacock we? Peacock angelite. Peacock, that's it. I think that was an all-screen sellout. Um, now, we've got 12 millimetre rounds. What famous fill have we missed? Who? Phil Tufnell, <laughs> the cricketer. Yes, how can you forget him, madam? You're a cricketer. Well, not you personally, are you? Or you do, are you a cricketer? You, you're a spectator. Loves a bit of cricket. Yeah, don't forget Phil, Phil Tufnell. Yeah, he was good. He was really funny, wasn't he? Is he the one in question of sport? Yes. In the jungle and everything. Yeah, yeah, I like Phil Tufnell. Uh, 29 99 only. Again, completely and utterly natural. I've been knotting this, I think, keeping it really simple. Yes, I love that size, to be honest with you. It's kind of... It looks vintage because of the size yeah. of the beads, I think. Well, yeah. you think about the famous Barbara Hutton necklace, yeah. which I know is jadeite, is imperial green jadeite. And I don't know about you, but I haven't got the budget to buy imperial green jadeite. So this would be a great alternative if you want to take inspiration Absolutely. from that. Uh, maybe team it alongside some bright reds, you know, yes. to sort of uh, bring that visuality of the rubies within there. I think that would be lovely. So I'm, I'm feeling Barbara Hutton vibes, I think, yes. because they're 12 millimetres. How many do we have? Only seven. Oh, oh, what a lovely name. Honour. Hello to you, Honour. Oh. I love that name. Um, press your option one and you'll speak to our customer services team and they'll get this on their way to you. I only have seven of these. It was launched very, very recently. I think this year. Wasn't it launched this year? I'm fairly sure. Um, and the fact that we've only got seven of them left speaks volumes. Well done. Um, I'm going to show the blue. So same gemstone, just comes in different saturations. Initially, though, I only ever thought Angelite existed in blue. Um, <clears throat> they do look lovely together as well. They do, yeah. yeah. Really pretty. This has a, a, got a really lovely soft faceting, um, which I think really complements the natural luster of this beautiful gemstone. Yes. You know, it's uh, Angelite is... It, it's a humble stone, I think. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah, I know you've got your diamonds, which yes. are very blingtastic, aren't, aren't they? And lots of other gemstones. Yes. Whereas angelite is much more soft, casual, gentle. Absolutely, yes. yes. See, well, I mean, just, just the name of it, you yeah, know, angelite. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty. And obviously lots of associations to angels and, uh, and the heavens above, the azure blues of the sky. Uh, we're at £27.99 pence only. How about under £10 for you today? Ooh. I hope there's quantity then at that amazing deal. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Phil Taylor, Darts World Champion, 17 times. Thank you, Michelle. Oh. Yes. I think I know who he is. Don't, I've, always, I've never been to a darts, um, but they may be really good fun, aren't they? Like a great night out. I want to go to darts. 
I, f I find it amazing that this sport where everyone just drinks beer in there. <laughs> And it's not just darts, they do that at cricket too, by the yeah. way. Um, but yeah, I just everyone just drinks beer. Mind you, I like the rugby. That's all beer. There's also Phil Vickery. Who's Phil Vickery? He's a chef on, on TV. Oh, yes! Yeah. Um, he's married to Fern, Fern Britain. Britain, that's right. Well, there, there were, I think. I think oh. Split. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realise. Uh, they were a lovely couple. They are, yeah. A really sweet yeah. couple. Yes, Phil Vickery, I remember him. I remember him. Um, speaking, speaking of, uh, like, Gino De Campo, I know he's not Phil, but again, he's pretty funny, isn't he? He is, yes. <laughs> Gino De Campo. <laughs> he, makes, he makes me laugh. Uh, 9.99, well done, everybody. Congratulations. Beautiful Peruvian angel light where it was first actually discovered in this soft azure blue. I bet if we look out the window right now, we can't because we're in a, basically a steel box. Um, but <laughs> it is a steel box. Um, but if you look out the window in your house right now, I bet you're seeing this kind of colour in the sky. It's wonderful. Um, stay where you are on those phone lines. Um, let me show you these lovely bead caps that are coming up in this hour they are 925 sterling silver and you've got different shapes now these are perfect and i'll tell you why in a second <laughs> no go on go what, well if you what? look at my my blue necklace the demorturite this one here from the kits i added some uh bead caps from my stash oh you did these would be perfect Especially with something like demorturite, yes. you know, to actually put sterling silver with them as well. Um, and that's beautiful, Monica. Absolutely beautiful. And it frames it, doesn't it? Uh, oh, I love bead caps. It just, it just really makes your gemstone stand out really beautifully. And create sections. Exactly. And if you use it in this exact kit, because the gold spacer beads are a part of the kit. Yeah. So if you put the silver bead caps, it would really make oh. the, the gold... Uh, space would be pop, I think. Yeah, lovely. That would be beautiful. Yeah, create like a dual tone. Yeah. Um, amazing. Well, if you need bee caps and they always go uh, like gold dust, you can shop ahead. We've got 200 of them in stock, so we, uh, yeah, we, we made a big purchase. Oh, goodness me, you get all of them as well. I didn't realise. I thought it was maybe wow. three separate auctions, but no, you get all of them um, in the three different designs. In total, there's 20. So um, amazing. You can shop ahead on those and guarantee your success. Says, um, let's dive in to the lovely. Oh, I was, oh, I was. Oh, this strand took my breath away when I saw it the other day. It's totally and utterly natural. Again, I always mention this, but if you go onto the GIA, that's the Gemological Institution of America, the largest institution um, in the gemstone world. Um, where we, a lot of us actually have done our qualifications as well. If you look at color quality factors of your spinel, um, they'll say red and cobalt blue are the rarest colors to get within this gemstone. I have got Jedi red here, which is, you know, hugely. This for me is reminding me of the, uh, you know, the imperial crown. Yes. You know, where it's not a ruby at the front of the imperial crown, it's this very gemstone. Um, it's one of the best Jedi, uh, Jedi red spinels I've actually seen in a strand here at Jewelry Maker. It would look insane with your jadeite. With the jadeite, yes. Or even the green angelite. Oh, beautiful. Earlier, with the rupees, yeah. If I had... Oh! I see, I forgot. Oh. You didn't forget, did you, Ross? Um, it's August, isn't it? And 20%, that's a, that's a lot. Yeah. It, it's not 10. It was 10. Ah. In the month of June, it was 10. Right. It was pill 10. And we yes. kept harping on about that extra 10% discount and how amazing that was. Here we are arguing with one of the rarest gemstones. This is the thing. If the GIA say their words, this is a collector's stone and the rarest colours are red, cobalt, blue. And yet we're taking one of those rare colours and go, oh, yeah, it's August. Go on, stick 20% on it. Why not? <laughs> How amazing. So during your checkout, use August 20 and you will get a further 20% discount on top of the show deal. Yeah. Wow. Because I, I can't remember which of our amazing designers are, said this to me. She said, oh, I thought that was just on the website. It might be new, Monica. But the discount code, maybe not. You're looking at me blankly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. But it was like, oh, I thought it was just on the web. web. No, that's 20% off show prices as well. We were doing it yesterday too. Um, yeah, it, it, here is, I mean, can I, can I just show that, that 
just a photograph um, because it is that wonderful, vibrant, deep. I'm going to say it. It's almost pigeon blood color, isn't it? Really? Yes. yes. Um, this is, but a, a red spinel is what a ruby wants to look like. Yes. It's got a pure, pure color. The one in the imperial crown is this color. Yes. It's a very Absolutely. deep red. Everyone thought it was ruby. But no, with the development of gemology, we realised that it was a, another rare gemstone that probably formed alongside your rubies and your sapphires, and that is the beautiful, natural red spinel. Good luck, everyone, because even here at 149, that is an absolutely incredible price point. I mean, if you show this to somebody who wasn't an expert in gems, mm -hmm. the first thing they would say is that it's ruby. Yeah. Yeah. Of course they would. But like I said, ev everybody... <laughs> Everybody, uh, um, everybody knows that the deeper the red, the more. Well, the, this is what rubies want to look like, aren't they? Yeah. That deep red with clarity. Yeah. Rubies seldom ever have this level of perfection. They seldom ever have this wonderful purity of colour. That's what we use the to, how we, with spinel. We talk about a purity of colour because it doesn't have secondary hues like say ruby would do. Ruby would have like a bluish hue or a pinkish hue or maybe a brownish undertone. Yeah. Whereas this, it's solid red colour and it's all totally and utterly natural. So here we are, I'll read a paragraph to you. Jedi Spinel is known for its scarcity as well as its electrifying colour. Um, uh, Jedi was adopted by the gemstone dealers as a trade name over the, over the years and has become widely known in the Asian market, especially in China. Uh, it, it, this, if, you're, if you regard yourself as a collector, then definitely red spinel should be on your radar. Here is Dave Trost, the man himself, in Burma. They call it the Valley of the Rubies. Right. But the reality is it's not just rubies in that valley. Right. There's spinel too. Yes. Which but, uh, he said, it was told, telling the story not so long ago that probably at that time... Um, the invitation had only ever been extended to three outsiders to go to the Ruby oh, Valley. Wow. So it was a real privilege for them to go. Um, and I'm just going to read this. On 27th of September 2019, our head gem buying Jake Thompson received a phone call from a good friend of ours uh, called Roshan, whose family have been our main supplier for Spinel uh, um, from Burma over recent years. To say he was overexcited would be an understatement. He told Jake that he had come to... Uh, that. He had to come to Burma immediately. Uh, Jake's immediate reaction was that foreigners couldn't travel in the Mogok region of Burma. No, said Roshan. The government have lifted the travel ban on foreigners, and I'm sure I can get you um, a permit to travel through the region. Uh, I can even get you a temporary filming permit. Wow. Uh, Jake could not believe what he was hearing. Mogok has been closed for all foreign visitors for many years. Roshan insisted that Mr. Steve and Mr. Dave must come too, um, as it will be one of the most historic and important journeys Jim Poria have made today. And that's so true. And it's, it's, it's journeys and, uh, and adventures, let's say it as it is, like that, that make strands like this possible for our collectors right now. And you might be thinking I'm harping on about this, but it is so rare and so collectible it's really important that I do you are sourcing Jedi Red Spinel the ultimate really in the in the Spinel world and the reality is at 149 that's absolutely amazing plus you get a 20% discount good luck to each and every single one of you because we're not stopping there did I hear that correctly? What you did hear that correctly. And you've got to remember there's 20% off as well. Yes. This is an unmissable well. opportunity, jewellery makers. You get an extra £10 off this show price tag as well. Wow. For what? How many do we have of these then? If you've got, by the way, if you've got type A jade, you need this. It's not a, it's not, you know, it's not a wish list. You need it. You need it because red spinel and Taipei jadeite, can you imagine those two from the same oh, location? Perfect. Perfect. How historic that piece of jewellery will be. Sorry, what did you say, Roscoe? There's 29. 
we're not even going to stop at 49.99 it's an absolute steal already collectors and connoisseurs getting involved use august 20 to get your additional 20 percent discount imagine that popped in between um some of your green uh your green jade and i'm just going to reach for one of the carvings oh, to give you you see what i mean they just go don't they and that's because the reality is they have formed in the same region i would obviously use some of the green jadeite as well but drawing down towards that master oh, carving. Beautiful. Um, so the GIA, here we go. The reason um, is that natural spinel is uh, a scarce commodity and the supply has never been sufficient to supply commercial jewellery manufacturers. The supply of high quality material in particular is very limited and even specialised dealers struggle to find good stones. Spinel occurs in a, uh, occurs in a wide range of colours including red, pink, orange, yellow, green and blue. Pure colours are hard to find in spinel since many spinels have a grey or brown modifier. The most valuable colours are pure reds and pinks. Exactly what is on our screens right now. The clock has ended. We're going lower. Um, I'm going to be snapping up a couple of these if there is any available. Remember, there's never been a better opportunity for you to purchase your spinel than right now. Launched at 49 We've given you an... Hang on. Hang on. So now another eight pounds off there. So you've taken it 18 pounds lower than the original launch. Wow. It's totally natural red spinel. It has that, I know you don't use this terminology with spinel, but it has that pigeon blood color, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely, absolutely, it's beautiful. Here we go. Beautiful. That, yeah, that's what Monica was saying. If you ask most people, they Absolutely. would describe this as a ruby. Well, definitely, definitely. Well, we did. Before yeah. gemology was actually yeah. uh, fully established, established, you know, our own our own ignorance, effectively, we assumed that it was ruby. Especially somewhere like in, in a crown. I mean, yeah. you know, why would you think it's not ruby? <laughs> yeah, precisely. I mean, that, it, genuinely, that is what every ruby wants to look like. Yeah. Cheryl Ann, Christine Maker in Cumbria, Jean Geraldine, hello to you, London, Anne in Pembrokeshire, Merseyside, Swansea, hello to you, Julian Devon, new customers getting involved as well. For me, I'd maybe get, I don't know, six millimeter or eight millimeter type A jadeites. I'd try and find some of the nice apple blossom greens. I'm just th saying what vis I'm visualizing in my head right now. And then I'd have one of the carvings at the bottom. I think that would oh, be absolutely, absolutely magnificent. That would be. That's first dibs worthy. Absolutely, absolutely. Definitely Amazing. Something you want to get insured and you want to keep it in a safe. Definitely, <laughs> you know? definitely. Um, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Remember, you've only got, what is it, 18 minutes left on this hour. Well, let's stick with the ruby, shall we? Well, stick with. I haven't brought you ruby. That was spinel. <laughs> See, look, even I'm making that mistake. What are we like? Um, yeah, let's bring you some beautiful ruby in two millimeter rounds this is totally natural there's no enhancement oh. to it whatsoever look at that glow yeah natural wow it's true it's fair to say 95 percent of the world's ruby is actually fissure filled or heat treated and there's nothing wrong with that at all but the more valuable uh the rarer is the natural variety which is what's on your screen at nine pounds and 99 pence Oh. I mean, Monica, I know you're a seed beader. You're looking at these thinking, oh, I could do Absolutely. this, I could do that. <laughs> I could see your eyes wide well, and ever so slightly. Uh, pretty much everything you can do with seed beads, you can do with those as well. Yeah, yeah. especially ruby, because it's got a fantastic Absolutely. durability. Absolutely, yes. So but Also to sort of, I would, I would put it in between my seed beads, to yeah. be honest, to, to make it stand out a little bit. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So you're looming. You could do that looming, possibly. You could do that, but any of this, any of your seed beading stitches, you could you could uh, put those in there. Wow. Or just as a, as an alter um, alternative to a knot, maybe. I'm not great at oh, knotting, yeah. so that would be a great alternative. Um, amazing. Moving on to oh, the Canadian nephrite jade. Amazing. Oh. So this is the original jade. So when we talk about the history of jade, it's uh, dating back thousands of years. This is the variety that we're actually talking about because jade, um, if you imagine there's a surname, surname, you've got nephrite and then you've got jadeite. Nephrite is the older of the two and it has this lovely spinach green color. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, that deep saturation, totally and utterly natural. Nephrite jade, and I'll be honest, I used to get sort of I used to immediately think nephrite jade was less valuable. It's not. In fact, yeah. the most expensive piece of jade that has ever been sold at auction is not jadeite, it's actually nephrite, um, um, a carving. Um, 
Oh, I like that. Ross yes. is saying I'd use the Red yes. Jedi Spinella spacers. Definitely. Oh, in between beautiful. your beautiful. Canadian Jade. Yeah, lovely. It's so distinctive as well. They're so, you know, initially I probably would have got these confused, but I think now we all know, um, particularly the Canadian Jade, it's got this really, really deep, intense colour. So you yes. can immediately distinguish that it is from that location, can't you? Yes, yes. And also I love that cut. It's, it makes it look quite contemporary, yeah, doesn't I it? Yeah, I agree. And especially spaced out like that with little round um, yeah. spaces, whether that's a gemstone or a seat. Yeah, yeah. just restrand it. Yeah. That'd be lovely. Yeah. Um, if it's good enough for Elsa Peretti, it's absolutely good enough for me. And if you go on Tiffany's & Co, you'll see Elsa Peretti uh, Canadian Jade uh, pieces of jewellery. At £379, that's already an amazing price, it really is. For the oldest jadeite, or sorry, jade, not jadeite. £49.99, pence. the absolute giants individually. I mean, look, let's that's just a, single... That's a big, heavy strand, isn't it? Yeah. Here we go. Come on, come on, don't be shy. Look at how beautiful. Oh, but imagine that as a ring, sort of flat with a... With like a spinner. Yeah. Or would you flip it up, up like that? I would this? flip it like that. Even if you if you just put a head pin through it and then attach it to a ring that way, and then you've got a little gold or, or silver beautiful. dot in the middle, which is the head of the head pin, that would be beautiful. Oh, yeah, we had Diamond still, Day the other day, didn't we? You could put a diamond in the centre. It's still a spinner ring because you can still spin it around. Yeah? Yeah. Loving that. Nice. Well done. $49.99 for it. Nephrite Jade. That's absolutely bananas, isn't it? Um, okay. I don't know where that hour has just gone. Disappeared. It flew by, didn't it? It's time for your early bird. Now, um, we were told we had a whole conversation on the one show and somebody was saying, look, it's as important that we have the essential findings as we do the beautiful gemstones. Um, and we have relayed that message, absolutely. I'm not saying that it's going to happen overnight because obviously we've got to order all of these things, but it's been a long time since we've had an abundance of your bead caps. And yet every single jewellery maker that we speak to or guest designer raves about them. They make such a difference to your creations and they're coming up as your early bird. The trusty bead cap. Oh. Who knew that such a simple idea would make such a difference? It's possibly one of my favourite findings, I yeah. think. Yeah. Because you, you can add it to anything, any kind of gemstone, any kind of bead. Yeah, any shape. Yep. You can flatten them. You can. Now, there's 200 of these available, but a lot of you have shopped ahead. Now, these are sterling silver, and you do get all three designs in five and a half, seven, and eight millimeters. 2.8 grams of sterling silver, um, and it's a pack of, no, 20. Mm. Yeah, I'm fairly sure there's 20. Yeah. Looks like six and six. The graphic said 20. We'll double check now. In the meantime, let me show you each of the designs. So starting with this one, you've got, look at the intricacy, the filigree work on this oh, sterling silver. Good. absolutely beautiful and they're yeah kind of cupped aren't they so you can basically wrap them around it's like a cuddle for your gemstones exactly i mean if you if you have a look at this strand you can put it against the, the bead so you can see how it works beautiful there's more like a like, like kind of like a stargazer or a daffodil isn't it Aww. kind of fluted very beautiful yeah so if i put that one like so and then i'll show you come on this one as well. Oh. Aren't they beautiful? And initially you kind of think, all right, yeah. You're, uh, if you've never seen what the end result is of a bead cap, I, 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 I'd, I'd understand being a little bit underwhelmed. But when you actually see what they do achieve um, alongside your jewellery, um, that's why Monica very kindly has handed me this strand. If you can imagine these are kind of cradling, your necklace is a prime example. They might be different bead caps, but, you know, they frame, don't they? They create exactly. focus. Absolutely. They can do, uh, um, make sort of sections, if you like, within, um, within your jewellery. 
you know, it's like a, that's that that's the middle of the necklace, whatever it might be. They can hide a multitude too. Exactly. And you can use the different size bead caps with different size beads. So I mean, what I mean is you don't have to use an eight millimeter bead cap for it with an eight millimeter bead. Yeah. You can use a six millimeter bead cap with an eight millimeter bead. It just has a slightly different effect how you put them together. But look how beautiful that is. It, it just elevates any junction. It does. And obviously you've got the drill hole running through the center of them. Yeah. So that's how where your threading material exactly. will actually go or wire, whatever exactly. it is that you're using. Now we had 200 of these. So we do learn and realize that, okay, yeah, you, you want bead caps. And every time we bring them to where they absolutely fly. Um, we brought an hour of findings not that long ago and every single is yeah it's about yeah yeah within the last month yeah I agree um, every single sterling silver item that we bought sold out bead caps were right up there on your agenda I can see why but when we first I remember when we first started doing bead caps here at Jewelry Maker and we used to do them in packs of like little packs little packs of six yeah um yeah, uh, yeah, this one here, I, I can show you. So I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, it is twenty. So six and six and eight, basically. Six, six and eight, basically. Yeah, perfect. Eight of the eight of the smaller ones, these ones. Um, and then six and six of these two. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, so I remember the first launch of bead caps and it was like, oh my goodness me, they were usually, I think they were in base metal. Yeah. And it was like, look what they can achieve. Now, just to get the wheels in motion, lots of you have already shopped ahead on these. We're gonna do a massive, massive price crash. And I think a lot of you are gonna assume this is what Ross is stopping at. I'm ready. Are you ready, Ross? You ready, Monica? I'm ready. I'm waiting. Don't doubt yourself, Ross. Holding Go with breath. it. <laughs> Ross isn't ready. He's not ready. Okay, he says. All right. We're ready, Ross. Oh. It's a pound per sterling, sterling, sterling silver. silver bead cap. But we're not stopping there. Now, we have to stagger auctions like this. The reason behind that is because otherwise we'll crash the website, melt the phone lines, and all round, round become not very popular with our, um, with our call centre team. You've got 2.8 grams of solid sterling silver and just a huge amount of intricacy and sort of beading work. You know, one of the things that Van Cleef and Arpels is so celebrated for is their fine beading yes. within their precious metal. That's what we're getting in our bead cap. You've got some which are quite textured, uh, some which are smoother. You've got lots of different shapes. They'll all do their own unique thing. 20 of them as well. Yeah, I remember us launching bead caps. We didn't sell them in packs of 20. Uh, you know, and the sterling silver was very much a later edition. And I can't remember what price tag they were, but... I mean, I know where we're going to on this. Let's just say it's, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Stock up when you see bead caps, though, because, Monica, when was the last yeah. time you saw bead caps on air? I can't remember. I can't remember. It's been ages, ages isn't it? ago, yeah. Um, I could, about a month ago, I yeah. had bead caps, and they all sold out. Yeah. I mean, We're less than a pound per bead cap right now. Especially in the sterling silver, they're really hard to find, and if you do find them elsewhere, they're, they're ridiculous prices, to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah, but I understand that. Look at that detail. That's less than a pound per sterling silver wow. bead cap. That could also be like a bale, couldn't it? So if you haven't yeah. got a bale cap, yeah, and you just maybe glue a head pin in there and yes. have that on top, Absolutely. you know, it's going to create that lovely kind of bale or pendant look. I mean, it's called a bead cap, but there's no reason you can't use it as a, as a sort of like a pendant cap. If you yeah. have like a drop shaped pendant, for example, yeah, uh, you could put that on top and. As you say, it will have the same sort of effect as a, yeah. as a sort of a very detailed uh, bale. I'm also thinking these would be lovely earrings if I put a sterling silver head pin, glued it into place. Yes. Or a gemstone, a little yeah. gemstone, glued it into place. Maybe those lavender jadeites that we had earlier on and then oh, put a butterfly yes. back on the, on the reverse. Yes. Really simple, Absolutely. just simple gluing. Um, the clock has run out. Less than a pound per sterling silver bead cap, but we are not stopping there. 
Well done, everybody. Lots of you multi-buying on this too. I would be doing exactly the same because the reality is we don't see B caps very, very often. When we do, they go straight away. I do get, I do appreciate the challenges that our buying team actually have to overcome because um, it's like, oh goodness me, I've just bought those and they've sold out already, <laughs> which is a good thing, but it must be kind of like, oh, okay, we can't, we get certain products, we actually really, really struggle to actually, uh, to meet the supply. Um, we have taken these sterling silver 925 to less than 75 pence each. Wow. And we're not done. We're going even lower. I mean, in the necklace I made, I used a lot of them. But if you just have a strand and you just use two of the bead caps yeah. on either side of the centre stone, that's automatically going to make your necklace look, uh, well, elevated, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah. It's the fact that it creates sections yes. that we wouldn't be able to do without a bead cap, would yes. we? Because it's not just the colour, it's not just the precious metal that's kind yeah. of section in them, it's the space. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely, um, which yeah. again, there's nothing wrong with using, I don't know, like a little spacer bead. So uh, like if you just had a spacer bead, that would do the same. But yeah. it, it it just, it takes it, it I don't know. I mean, it's literally a frame. It's like putting a picture yes. in a picture frame. Isn't that's a it? really good way of describing it. Yeah. You know, when we look at a work of art, we don't look at it, at, well, some You don't stick it on a wall without a frame. <laughs> not, no, not really. Not really. It looks so much better in a frame, yeah, doesn't it? Of course, yeah. And that's, yeah, that's a perfect analogy. It's framing your gemstones. We are going lower. Well done, everybody. I mean, at a pound per sterling silver spacer bead, I was more than happy. You get 20 of them. We are now at wow. 65p per spacer beads. 2.8 grams and the three different designs you know this is the thing can we just uh, uh, okay so let's just say four pounds oh there is four pounds 33 okay per design yeah per design i'm sure that when we launched them they weren't four pounds 32 per design of three rather they weren't were they not even the base metals i don't think no. well we weren't allowed to bring that price to air so um we know that's true um, you are getting 925 sterling silver. The fact that you have got that little selection of choice. Yeah. You know, so for example, if I'm working with, say, the four millimeter lavender jade outs, I'd go with the smaller ones. If I'm working with a bigger gemstone, I'd go with the bigger ones. Absolutely. Ross has said to me, Elle, make this known. I am going to do one more price crash, but only 60 seconds to make the most of it. And then we're going to dive straight into the break and every other item that we've played thus far this morning will disappear. So here's your last little sneaky peek. The sterling silver heart connectors, the jadeite, the lavender jadeite, the angelites, the jedi red spinels. Um, you've got to be quick, making sure you check out your basket. So as soon as we crash this next, uh, do this next price drop, you have 60 seconds, okay? Remember, I only had 200, only 200. That's an amazing quantity, but there's so many of you there on the call screens. Everybody pays the final low price tag. We are going to take these 925 sterling silver B caps to less than 60p each. Wow. Yeah. There are fours, threes, twos on the website. Probably about 60% of you have chosen to multi-buy. £11.99 pence only for all that intricacy, for all that detail. They, I, I wish I could say that we had a real selection of bead caps in our vault. We don't, because when we bring them to wear, it goes exactly like this auction is, and they sell out. I've got one left of the Olmec, by the way, if you want. In fact, they would be perfect with these bead caps. Oh, you know, absolutely. that's the kind of level of absolutely. gemstone that I'm using my silver. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if, we, if the Olmec comes back to our screens, then it will go back to the 129 price tag. So well done for tuning in this morning. Um, in 30 seconds, we are closing your early bird and the entire hour. Look at those call screens, threes, twos. If you see a certain name on this side, you're one of the people that are need to check out your basket. Um, on the other side of the screens where I see Nicolette's got three, Victoria's got three, Karen's got two, Hampshire's got two, Sue's got three, Jan, you get the idea. Loads of multi-buying. You've got nine seconds left on your early bird and ultimately every item that we have brought you so far this morning. Beautiful kits with Monica coming up after this.
Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Oh, welcome back everybody and congratulations to each and every single one of you. Up and at it, bright and early for your early bird, getting snapping up your wonderful bead caps and some beautiful Olmec. Shh though, shh, because I think I heard Wayne. <laughs> I have, haven't I? Hi Wayne. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, you, nothing to see here. <laughs> nothing. Just smile. <laughs> S smile away, boys, smile away. <laughs> 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 Sorry, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just chuckling now at the penguins. That's got to be one of the best lines in any, in any uh, animation, isn't it? If you have any pool, throw it now. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Sorry. Um, no. Seriously though, Monica, I don't think either of us realised fully, completely what we actually had within one of your kits, did we? Yes. It, to, I mean, we, we adore your Mukite. We love it for your beautiful, uh, the satellite bead cut, which we were 
I thought I thought was not obtainable anymore, but that here we are with some of the most exquisitely faceted uh, mukite. They come with precious spacer beads as well, but it's the blue in the center for me. The one we've been admiring whilst talking about your bead caps, bead caps yeah, yeah, which is an uber rare, uber rare gemstone. No. Um, there's also, have we got some more sterling silver items? Sorry, Ross was just asking me a question. Um, that's on its way out. That would go perfectly with these kits. Well, Monica, before we start talking too much about the actual gemstone itself, talk us through your lovely jewellery. I love these earrings. Such a simple idea, but it's so perfect. And only Mukite would allow us to do Mukite. that. Absolutely. So I, I was playing around with the Mukite a little bit, trying to pick and choose the colours. So we're talking about these ones here. So there's such a wide range of colors that you get in the, in the moo kite uh, that you can, re, you can ombre it, you can, you can pick out all the mustards, you can pick out all the reds, you can do, uh, oh, there's just so many things you can do with a moo kite. I really love it. And that, as you say, it's a really simple idea. And I just use the, the glass spacer beads that come in between the gemstones. Yeah, already on the strand itself. But yeah. you know, when we talk about palettes of colors, moo kite has one of the largest sort of plethoras of colors. Yes. You know, the fact that you've got you've got your your, your ochres, your creams, yeah. your kind of uh, um, soft greys, yeah. your crimson reds. You've got them all in one amazing strand. But those of you that have been with Jewelry Maker for any length of time will certainly remember when we first introduced the satellite bead. And it was this yeah. oh, yes. moment where like, my goodness me, this cut's absolutely amazing. And um, and this was very much a Wayne purchase, wasn't it? The satellite bead. Um, and we brought in all of your favorite gemstones. And then all of a sudden it, it came grinding to a halt because we couldn't get hold of it anymore. Yeah. It became really expensive. Oh, right. Yeah. So I remember that launch. I remember how popular they were. Um, it was kind of like Jadeite is right now to, uh, to us here at Jewelry Maker. Um, and they disappeared. And it was, I remember asking Wayne, gosh, go, is, is he still in the gallery? He's gone. I remember asking Wayne, um, oh, can we get some more satellite beads? He's like, no, they're not, we can't get hold of them anymore. Oh. Um, but they seem to be back. And my goodness Brilliant. me, they're back with a vengeance. They're absolutely beautiful in terms of the quality. Just, it's just the perfect angles that you're seeing with each and every single absolutely. one of these. It's almost like a cross between a, between a bicone and a, and a wheel, I suppose. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Um, now, shall we start with the Mukai? Yeah. It seems right, doesn't it? it? Does. Yes. These strands are beautiful. And we've, we've been very fortunate here at Jewelry Maker to have like a wonderful supply of Mukai over the years. But I reckon the satellite cut has got to be one of the most seldom seen. Yes, absolutely. Has to be. Absolutely. Um, and it just works. You're going to love it. Monica, beautiful necklace. You said when you were displaying these this morning and I was stood next to you, you were like, I love this necklace. I did. I did say that. Yeah. Is that something that you're going to be wearing? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, of course. Of course. It would go lovely with your outfit that you've got on right now, it actually. Would actually. Yes. Now, you don't just get your mukai. You also get um, some lovely rose gold plated 925 sterling silver spacer beads. But I'm going to show you each of these strands. Oh, wait. It's tiger's eye. That one's tiger's eye, yeah. See, because they were... <sighs> Silly me. Sorry. I, I, I don't know. I just assumed they were the two. So you're getting two different gemstones, but look how perfectly they but work together. Exactly. I was going to say, you didn't even realise it was two different gemstones because they're so perfect together. Absolutely. In your satellite bead. And you said you utilise these little glass beads that did, come along yes. with the strand as well. Look at how gorgeously faceted these are. And when it comes to your opaque gemstone, cutting and polish is crucial, isn't it? You know, how precise those angles are, how precision, if you like, you know, uh, um, the cuts and the, uh, and the smoothness of the um, exterior surface, because that ultimately is what gives yes. us the luster. We're not getting brilliance or dispersion or fire or scintillation. It's all about the exterior. So we want to make the most of that. I love this, the choice of these two gemstones alongside oh, one another. They're just perfect together, aren't they? Um, and I mean, you can see in that recording, you can see how the, the sort of the flashes, they, they're almost like they draw your eye yeah. along the necklace because you have a, a rectangular shape and then you have a triangle shape, which is almost pointing along to the next one. Well, have, have we ever seen either tiger's eye or mukai, you know, in fact, scrap that, restart that sentence, to get that level of luster on those gemstones? 
We don't normally see that level of luster no. on those gems, do no. we? And it is all down to the precision facet. I'm loving this kit, Monica, and like oh, you, yes. you know, um, like you, I can see why you really enjoyed it. And those are the first words you said to me this morning. Well, That's apart it. from good morning, how are you? I <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I wasn't I love rude, you know. Yeah, no, she's <laughs> definitely, definitely not rude. But she's, I loved and really enjoyed these kits. Yeah. Now, we're starting with this. The return, let's hope so, of the satellite bead comes alongside your rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. How many do we have, Roscoe? Oh. Oh, not many. There's 50 available. All that chatoyancy within your tiger's eye, the wonderful palette of colours that you get from your beautiful Australian gemstone mookite. Good luck. The return of the satellite, question mark? I hope so. I really do hope so, because it's been a long time, really, since we've seen um, the satellite bead. But particularly with this level of precision, you know, the angles. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not particularly great on angles and anything mathematical, but you can see that there is huge precision within each and every single one of these facets. You don't just get that. You also get 10 of your rose gold plated sterling silver satellite spacer beads. So the spacer beads are even satellite. Yep. Yep. How amazing <laughs> is this kit? The only negative is that I've only got 50 of these available. So be quick, make sure you're checking out like Lincolnshire has done straight away saying, I'll have two of this kit. Thank you very much. Yep. Um, and I'll check out nice and early, safe in the knowledge that jewellery makers got my back and I know that they'll bring this, uh, the best possible prices. Two brand new Premier strands. Ignore that price that's on your screen. You know we're not stopping there. Ignore that. $49.99. Now remember... I can't tell you exactly, but you know when you, the satellite beads were first launched, they were about twenty four ninety nine. These yeah, strands would have yeah. been about twenty four ninety nine. I think some went to about fourteen ninety nine. I think. Yeah. But it, that was the more abundant gemstones, not your tiger's eye and your mukai. I don't think. No. I don't, I don't think, think so. Think anyway. No. Um, so right now, that's a fantastic price for the strands on their own. Yeah. And you're getting your spacer beads for free. Yeah, and they're Pretty quite exciting. substantial as well, those spacer beads. So. Yeah, and precious metal as well. Size, yeah. We've got 50, but we are not stopping there. We need to see you on those uh, those phone lines. Good luck, everybody. They'd work also really nice alongside the golden rutile if you wanted to mix your gemstones yes. together. Um, 50 available. The return of the satellite, but my goodness me. Oh, they're worth the wait. This, these strands are absolutely beautiful. 29, that's 15 pounds each and then your sterling silver for free, isn't it? Oh, that's brilliant. 15 pounds per strand and then all of your rose gold plated 925 sterling silver for free. Good luck, everyone. And of course, as always, if you have any questions for lovely Monica, then do feel free to text us. Um, we are live here in the studio. Simple beading you could do with this. Yeah. You know, the, the design is made up in the cut and the gems. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, talk us I've, through your necklace. All I've done for this necklace is I've just made this little component out of some one millimetre uh, copper wire. Yeah. Um, which I just used my, my uh, ring mandrel essentially to make it. Mm -hmm. And then a, a, um, a wrap loop at the top. And then you can attach however many strands you want onto the bottom of that. And then I've done a little bit of rosary linking with the beads that I had left over mm -hmm. at the back. So it kind of continues around the back. But I think, I think this circle kind of just mirrors the... Um, the beads, I thought. It definitely does. And the fact that you've mixed the tiger's eye in with your uh, with mukai, because they yeah. are that same kind of palette, aren't they? They, they are, they are. But they give you that size variation as well. So, Love it. Adam's just saying, I see a really nice, happy, smiley face. I was just thinking that when I oh. was on the screen like that. Like, oh, I didn't notice it was a happy oh, face. Oh, so it's cute. <laughs> Who doesn't want to see happy faces? Uh, 29 99 Hello to you, Lincolnshire, Multibine. Hello to you, Jacqueline and Pauline and Gail and Wiltshire and Arthur and Patricia and Dee and Judith and Alison and Honor and Gloria. Yes, that's a good point. Ross has just said you could also look at it as £10 per component. Yeah. So those spaces would probably be about £10 on their own. Yeah. But the strands definitely would not be yeah, 10 no. Definitely not. The Mukai... Fourteen ninety nine, I think, would yeah. be fantastic. Tiger's Eye, 
Yeah, 19.99, I think, for the tiger's eye. Um, so you've already got a significant saving, lots of multi-buyers getting involved. I mean, imagine long line necklaces, just literally with a mixture of your mukai and your and your tiger's eye together. Kit. I've made that necklace, I've made a bracelet, and I've made two oh, yeah? earrings, so it's, got, it's gone quite a long way. I love the bracelet. Oh, yeah. That's just a stretchy, the bracelet. Can't with go wrong with the spaces with the stretchy. that came on the, uh, on the strand, so. Beautiful, though. Yeah. Beautiful. We only had 50, though. Already half the stock has gone, jewelry makers, so make sure you are checking out your basket to avoid any disappointment. Um, we're going to step into a very collectible stone um, within Monica's next kit, one that I vividly remember launching, um, and that was when, yeah, my next-door neighbour, Marie, um, was our buyer here at Jewelry Maker. And I remember talking to me about Demortrite, talking about how uh, Quartz as a gemstone family really actually offers two colours really form in, in, in Quartzes. You rarely get red and you rarely ever get blue. Um, now, we're going to introduce the graphics uh, and then I'll talk to you about this gemstone just because I shouldn't, always, I shouldn't assume that everyone knows, you know, why I'm getting excited so hot under the collar about this beautiful gemstone. And it, this, by the way, can you pass me that necklace over, Monica? Because it's absolutely beautiful. The one we were ogling this, um, <laughs> during, the, uh, during the spacer bead or bead cap, rather. Um, the bead cap auction opportunity. That's a beautiful necklace. In fact, very similar to one I'm about to show. Right. Graphics Alive. We have researched. I asked Roscoe during the break. I was like, can you tell me, Ross, is the Demortuarite natural? Because it should be. Um, because then, otherwise, if, if it's dyed, then it's then it's dyed blue quartz. But it's not. It is natural Demortuarite. Wow. So... Uh, astonishingly rare so let me just whilst the graphics are live use this time to secure yours um, and let's talk about it blue demortuarite quartz is usually formed uh, as quartz inclusions this combination formation results in a natural and beautiful blue quartz gemstone the French, uh, sorry, the name de Mortierite is named after uh, French paleontologist Eugene de Mortier. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, blue de Mortierite quartz often exhibits a beautiful blue colour and often uh, is often used as an ornamental stone. It you, it's usually made up of dense fibres which give the stone a tough durability so here's a very uh, right. a, a durable gemstone and the major source for, of gemstone quality blue de mortuarite quartz is in eastern france other important sources of this stone include colorado washington and nevada in the usa oh. and there are those fibres that we were just describing oh, yeah. can you uh, describing can you see well, yeah Firstly, how little of that quartz crystal yeah. actually has the blue. But you know what's interesting? I was just going to say, if you, if you look at this gemstone really closely, it's not a fully, um, sort of fully opaque, solid gemstone like, uh, no. like sodalite, for example. Yeah. Um, or lapis. It's, it's got this little bit of an effect in it. Yeah. And um, that's because it's the little inclusions. Yeah. Rather than it being... Uh, um, yeah, you've got areas of translucency yeah. probably within um, as well. But you can see the perf the little fibres that make up Demortuarite and also yeah. add that durability. It's fascinating, isn't it? Um, but flicking forward, you can oh. see another example of that. I mean, isn't that amazing? Wow. Isn't Mother Nature absolutely <laughs> amazing? They almost look like little sea urchins, yes, don't they? Yes, yes. Um, that occur uh, naturally within these gemstones. It's amazing that we have Demortuarite and it is... Totally. And by the way, your blue is much better. Um, you can find Demortuarite on Wolf and Badger. Very similar. I think you're both getting the same vibe here. Yes. Um, you can buy a men's beaded bracelet with blue Demortuarite and gold. £231. Uh, if you've got those B caps in the last hour, then you could take, definitely take inspiration. And I know Mark did a demonstration on the uh, sliding knot. And that wouldn't use the entirety of the strand, that bracelet. No, but I mean, you could just use the spaces that come in. Oh, of course, make that yes. Exact same they bracelet. come with the gold-plated yeah. spacer beads. Not great quality, but you can see per Peruvian Demorturite statement necklace. Um, and they say a full necklace of Peruvian Demorturite. This is a statement piece featuring a beautiful array of beads, each one measuring approximately 22 millimetres, which is huge, by the way. Uh, the greyish blue beads are wonderfully smooth, with each one very slightly different to the one before. Um, oh yeah, talks about the S class there as well. Uh, inquire about this necklace, which probably uh. tells me that I can't afford it. If I have to ask the question, <laughs> yes. it usually means I can't afford it. Um, but again, we're talking about that same beautiful gem. 
gemstone. Uh, Roscoe said, um, look at this one there now. Chunky Demorturite in the 14 carat yellow gold pendant. Just one pendant, £395. Yeah. It's a lot, isn't it? And there's not much blue in that. Not much there? blue. Not much blue at all. Now, the next one, very similar in colour. Yeah, that one's... It's nice. That one's very nice. Yeah. One stone. £152 uh, with, um, yeah, with the evil eye on that bezel itself, but beautiful in that kind of, what do we describe those? The pencils we describe them here at Jewelry Maker, yes. don't we? Yes, I think so. Um, absolutely beautiful, but again, stunning necklace features a hand-cut demorturite crystal that is elegantly edged uh, into a CZ-adorned sterling silver ring with gold plating. A hand-carved uh, evil eye in the centre of the ring gives this piece a spiritual yet unique touch. Um, absolutely. I mean, this is a rare collector's opportunities. When was the last time that we brought you demorturite? Here at Jewelry Maker. Yeah, I've seen it maybe once or twice. I'm saying handful, uh, yeah. a handful of times. Okay, are you ready? Because we're not stopping at £59.99. We are going lower. Very unique denim blue that um, occurs within the Quartz family. Very rare, definitely a collector stone. Um, and it's about those sort of fibrous uh, particles that occur naturally oh. within the gemstone. My goodness me. <laughs> oh, wow. That's an amazing prize. For the spacer beads on their own, they are gold plated 925 sterling silver, and as you can see, you get 10 of them, four millimeters in the satellite bead cut. But, and that's an incredible price point for your natural blue demorturite. If you see demorturite and it's, and it's, and it's dyed, I wouldn't personally purchase it because true demorturite should be natural, and that's what this is. We're under 20 wow. pounds. But we've actually got another price crash, says Ross in my ear. I'm stunned by this, Ross. So he says, if I can give you a better price, I always will, and we can. There's a hundred of this kit. So I see why you said at the beginning of this auction, this kit's going to go crazy. So again, if you say ten pounds for the space of each, yeah. At the moment, we've got another ten pounds for that strand, and he's still going lower. He's still going lower. Could we do an hour of demorturite? Do you think? In a showcase? No. No chance. Out of how much demorturite strands do we have within our within our vault? Yeah, we've got this one, and then we've got something like that crystal that we showed you on a strand in tumbles, and then we've got a strand of sunset demorturite, and that's it. That's oh. all we have. Yeah. It's one of three. We've got more grand, did you write than that? Mm. We've probably got more jade than that. We've probably got more, more Pareba tourmaline, Alexandrite than we have Demorturite. We've got another price drop on your screens. It's a natural blue, which blue is still one of the most popular, if not the most popular color gemstone in the world. Whether that's sapphires, tanzanite, aquamarine, Demorturite, whatever your choice, blue is often that are, you know, sort of on the radar. 14 what? pounds, that's seven pound 50 per oh component. My gosh. Right. <laughs> you get 10 gold plated sterling silver spacers wow. that aren't just the smooth ones, they're the, you know, they're the faceted ones, if you like. You, that's what, you've just taken the words right in my, out yeah. of my mouth, Ross. That's exactly what I was going to say. Those, I remember us doing the little packs of spacer beads because I used to buy them all the time and make solid bracelets out of them. Um, and they wouldn't be far off that price. Yeah. That's on your screens. Yeah. I remember a time. <laughs> but they didn't look like this. There's a big amount of sterling silver. And you've got a whole strand of natural collectible demorturite here. The beautiful denim blue that is completely natural. No enhancement whatsoever. All Mother Nature's doing. So, yeah, if you see demorturite advertised and it's, it's dyed... Mm, I would probably be like, yeah, well, it's not really true demorturite then. Yes. The colour should yes. come from the beautiful blue fibres that occur naturally. Um, 14 99 Keith's got two. Lincolnshire's got two. Cheryl Ann's got two. Samantha and Margaret and Wiltshire's got two. Sue's got two. Nicolette's got two. Ali and Regine and Angela and Jill and Linda and Cheryl Ann and Lincolnshire and Janice and new customers getting involved. Amazing. Um, incredibly, we had 100 of this kit. Wow. I don't think we've got that quantity now, have we, Roscoe? Okay, yeah. 
over half the stock, less than 40 remaining within the vault. So don't hesitate. It's such a beautiful shade of blue. I mean, you imagine that with a pair of jeans and a white T-shirt. Absolutely, absolutely. I would definitely multiply, multiply this because if you're gifting, if you're selling, I mean, as you say, blue, not just in gemstones, but blue in general is, yeah, true. is the most popular um, favorite color in the yeah. world, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And and I definitely would be inspired by that bracelet that from um, Wolf and Badger that I think could be great yeah, for gents. Yeah, it's a good idea for, for gents, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful, that one. You know, £231 for that bracelet. Yeah. Well, I know that our jewellery makers could make it. You know, side by side, look. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, know, it's, you know, side by side also, ours is better quality to mortuorite. Look how, look how much more vivid the blue is. Yeah. Um, or maybe it's the, I don't know, poor photography from uh, Wolf and Badger. I don't know. But ours looks a better, better quality. Yeah. Um, that's £7.50 per component, natural demortuorite and all those beautiful spacer beads, which are precious metal plated. Now, the quantity that remains within our vault, exactly on the nose, 20. So please, there's a delay on our call screens to what's happening real time. Keep checking out your baskets, everybody, um, and make sure um, you secure your it'll probably be another year or so's time until I see Demorturite once again um, now just before I dive into um, the next kit I want to show you some lovely chains that have just appeared on my oh. desk these are a star buy and they're a complete finished piece of jewellery in my eyes um, do you know what these remind me of Roscoe you know the toggle class presentation that we have where you've got your Ralph Lorenz and things like that where the toggles literally at the front look at these we've got them in all three of the colours as well they are adjustable so you can wear them at different lengths um, but there's less than 50 of each oh okay so um, they are on pre-order right now. They're coming your way. One more kit to bring you, though, lovely jewellery makers. Do you remember, Monica, when we used to do space to be auctions like this? Just go, there you go. There's your space of beads, everybody. And everyone used to go uh, crazy because space of beads can do so much, much like your bead caps. Yes. You know, they, they separate, they create again, punctuation. Again, the punctuation, as you were saying, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You don't it's do like, those auctions very often, though. No, we don't. I mean, the last time I remember doing a pack of um, spacer beads like that was still in, when we were in Ivy House. Yeah, same. Mm. So even if I was to bring those to it, we know it would be busy. Yes. We don't just stop there, though. You've also got the most beautiful strand. <gasps> I've just looked up, Ross. It's golden topaz. So imperial. Is that essentially it's imperial? Wow. The most the most valuable variety of topaz. Wow. With those golden colours within that occur completely and utterly natural. These are some of the biggest topazes I've actually brought as solitaires. I'm going to hold it out actually because I think then you can see the strand against the white background. Look at how beautiful each and every single one of these stones are. Not a single facet. And yet these topaz still seem to offer you the mo most amazing brilliance. I, I looked at these and immediately assumed, and bear in mind they were laid down on a blackboard, immediately assumed that they were golden rutile. And I think I actually said that out loud. You, you said that and I was thinking, hmm, I didn't realise it was golden rutile. I was wrong. Well, I yeah. was wrong. <laughs> Very wrong, it seems. At fifty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence, you've got. I mean, look at look look at them individually. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, they're just beautiful, stunning. You know, they are stunning solitaires. It's like looking at a little little world inside there. It is. It? And every and then, single one is different. It's beautiful. Oh, look at this one. Oh. Every single one. A work of art by Mother Nature. I like this one a lot. Yeah. Can you see how you've got... It's like it's like gold leaf almost in, yes. inside that's all natural. Now we... Hang on. We've just... We're at 19.99. But we are going wow. even lower. <laughs> eh! Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> hang on. Space of beads everywhere. It's okay. Crisis averted. Um... Hang on a minute. We're going even lower than nineteen ninety nine. I mean, that's an absolutely incredible price point for golden, uh, golden topaz. Totally natural in their colour. Each individual solitaires in my eyes. Um, be quick. Have we got quantity on these as well? 
A hundred available. Okay, and Monica, that's absolutely beautiful. Oh, I just wanted to make them stand out. And, and I think the silver against the gold seed beads, the, the silver spacer beads also really pop. Yeah, they do. So. Oh, yeah, you've got them just at the top at there. The top, yeah. Just drawing attention to that. That's lovely. It's like a fabric. It's, as you were saying, it's punctuation. It's like a full stop that shows this is where my gemstones are. Wow. <laughs> yeah, love it. As if you can make that necklace for 19 99 with a few additions granted, but... It's what, a tube? A well, I've only used one. No, no, not even half a tube. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you probably could make yeah. this piece of jewellery for less than £20. Plus, we're going even lower. We had 100 available. This is absolutely incredible for the sterling silver spacer beads. Ooh. Genuinely, if I saw those spacer beads on their own at £14.99, I'd be absolutely over the moon. Because they're not just rounds, are they? They are the satellite bead cuts. So you get some really lovely surface luster on those. Um, plus they're four millimeters in their size. You're getting 10 within a pack. And then the beautiful golden topaz that you also have. These beautiful drop pendants, earrings, whatever you choose. Um, you beautiful necklace pieces like Monica that has been created. Make sure you're checking out. £7.50 per component, lovely jewelry makers. Make sure you're checking out your basket. Um, and really mix them together if I was, you want. I was going to say, imagine if you get all three kits and then use well, the spacer beads to make a stretchy bracelet in your mixed metals. Yeah. And then you can put the um, the topaz with, with the mukrite and the tiger's nice. eye. Nice. And then you still have the demortarite as well. So hang on, how much did we do the the, the tiger's eye and the mukrite kit for? Do we remember? Was it nineteen ninety nine? I think it was nineteen ninety nine. And then both of the kits we've just brought you were fourteen fourteen ninety nine. So we're talking about so, fifty pounds. You can get all three kits, yeah. which features mukite, tiger's eye, natural demortarite, golden topaz, and a huge amount of sterling silver. Absolutely, fifty pounds. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of, a lot of gemstones and precious metal. Um, well done. Make sure you are checking out those baskets, everybody, to guarantee your success. Monica, which one are you going to make? Which one are well, you going to show us? I'm going to show you that little bit of seed beading because the rest of it is really just uh, your... So the golden topaz. Threading, yeah. So I thought I'd show you how to do that because that little bit of seed beading that I, that I did at the top there is a really good base for uh, any gemstone, really. I mean, you could use it for your rounds as well if you mm -hmm. wanted to. Um, and I think it just makes the, especially the drop shape, it makes it stand out really nicely. And it's, it's quite a quick and easy um, thing to make. And I've used 8 seed beads, so it's not very intricate and, and, and tiny. So the 8 seed beads work really well for this. So I've got the, the gold ones here that I used in the actual necklace, which are just uh, a silver lined gold um, seed bead. And then I've just got some green ones here, just so you can see better what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to use those in between as well and then I've got a few of my spacer beads and I've got a few of my uh, of my gemstones as well okay so you can I'm, I used fire line I'm using black here so you can see it a bit better uh, but obviously I used um, white or clear for the for the actual necklace and then just thread on a piece um, you'll probably need quite a lot of thread so just use a, a piece as long as you can um, manage to work with and then you can add in if you need more but if you can use sort of a couple of couple of meters you probably won't need to add in either um, so I've got I've got an eight pound file line here, eight pound, six pound, even ten pound would work because as I say you're using the eight O seed bead, so you're not doing anything very tiny. And then I'm just going to put on a stopper bead. Now when you're making the necklace, just leave quite a long tail, and I'll explain later why. I'm just going to do a small tail here just for the demo, and then put on your stopper bead. So go through your first little bead um, twice, and just use a bead that you're not using in your necklace, just so that you don't get it mixed in with your with your beads. And then the base of this little um, bit of, it almost looks like a little bit of uh, lace at the top of your necklace, is just a right angle weave. So we're just gonna pick up four of our seed beads, okay? And we're gonna bring those together in a circle. So I'm gonna go through the first three of them again, okay? So when you pull that tight, that's gonna create a little square essentially if they just sit right so can you see it's, it's basically a little square and you've got your tail thread coming out of the the one bead here on this end let me just move it up a little bit this end and you've got your working thread coming out of the bead at the opposite end and then we're going to carry on adding these little squares one after the other so now you've already got your first bead out of the four here so now we're just going to pick up another three and then my thread is going through this bead from top to bottom so I want to go through in the same direction again to create my next little circle or square of beads. Okay, just like that. 
And then I'm going to go through the next two beads that I added so that my thread is coming out of the last bead because that's the direction I want to carry on. <coughs> okay, so I'm carrying on at the other end. Okay, now it looks a little bit all over the place at the beginning because there's nothing to sort of hold them uh, in a straight line really. Don't worry about that, that's all going to sort itself out later. So now I'm picking up three beads again. Now my thread is going from the bottom upwards in this last bead. So I want to go through in the same direction again. So creating a circle again. So that becomes my next little circle or square. I suppose it's a square if it's four beads, isn't it? And then you go through the next two again so that you're coming out of the last one. And you just carry on this same technique. So one circle is anti-clockwise, the next one will be clockwise. That's just how it works out every time. So you're always adding three beads. And you're going to carry on with this technique until you've reached more or less the length that you want for your necklace. Now, I say more or less because um, it's really hard to work out how long it's going to be until you've actually done the sort of added the details in the middle. Because when you add in the rest of the beads, I'm just going to carry on with this so that I have a bit of a length to show you the, the rest of it uh, while I'm talking. So. Um, it's going to become a bit shorter when you add in the rest of the beat, but that's why we left the tail thread at the end, the longer tail thread, so that you can add to the length of it afterwards. So just make a length that's about the length that you want your necklace to be. Uh, and as I say, don't worry too much about it being exactly the right length. We're not going to add on uh, your findings at the end, uh, at each end, just yet. You're going to do that at the very end when the whole necklace is finished, just so that you can adjust the length if you need to. Okay, so I've made a few of these squares. Let's just do a couple more, just so that I have a little bit of length to show you how I did the rest of it. Okay, I'll do one more. Okay, because as you can see, on the other end of the tail thread, which is coming out of this last bead here, you can just carry on doing your little circles in that direction if you need to extend your necklace that way. So once you have the length that you need, I'm actually going to bring my necklace over so that I can talk about it a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to find the center of your necklace. So when you've got to the end of your, um, of your length of necklace, um, you can, I suppose the easiest way to do it is just to um, almost like add a stopper bead at that end as well. So pick up another um, size 11 bead, or you can even use a size eight, and just go through it twice, and then push it up close to your work with your thread coming out of the last bead. So just push a stopper bead up close here, so that you've got some thread left on that end as well, so that you can extend your necklace both ways once you know exactly how long the center section is going to be. Okay, and then take a new thread and just tie it onto the middle somewhere, and work through a few beads so that you have a, a thread coming out of the center. Okay, now essentially what you want to do, but I work from the center out and then back to the center again, and then the other way and then back again. But I'm just going to show you from this point onwards here because uh, that's the easiest way to do it in the demo. So basically what you want to do is on the top edge, so my thread is coming out of the, this last bead here. So I'm gonna turn so that my thread is going through the top bead in that last square. Okay, and my thread is now going from right to left. Okay, so what I want to do in the top edge is I want to fill in the gaps between the top beads. So can you see each square has got a little top bead here at the top. So I want to fill in those gaps. Now the way I filled them in at the top is every fourth gap I added a space, uh, one of the, the spaces, and all the other gaps I added a single bead. So for the single beads I'm going to use the green just so you can see it better and I'm going to use my spacer beads in the rest, okay? So for the first one, I'm going to add in a, 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 a spacer bead, so I pick that up, and then I go through the next top bead in my next little square, okay? And then I'm going to add three, well, one at a time, I'm going to add in three of the green ones, so just a single size eight bead. Obviously, in the actual necklace, I used all the same color. You don't have to use all the same color. You could use silver spacer beads, um, silver seed beads here to match the spacer beads, but I just thought the spacer beads stood out really well uh, in the silver against all the gold, so that's why I use gold for, the, for all of them. So you want to add three single um, seed beads there, and then you want to add your next space bead. And 
and it's really just that simple on the top edge because you want to pull the top edge in a little bit so that you get that curve in the necklace. So I'm picking up one again. So you want to add three green ones or if you're making it the same as mine, then three of the gold, one at a time. Okay, and this makes the top edge. Okay. And then after you've done three, then you add one of your space beads again. It doesn't matter actually if you do the top edge or the bottom edge first, so whatever comes easier to you, doesn't matter at all. So that's gonna be the top edge of my necklace here where I've got the little spaces. Then you want to do the bottom edge. So when you get to the end of your spacer beads, then you're going to come around this last square, or it wouldn't be your last square because obviously your necklace would be a bit longer, but by a last square, I mean where you've added your last um, um, spacer bead. But actually, you can go all the way to the end because I've added the spacer beads, I mean the seed beads, all the way up to the end. What I did when I ran out of the spacer beads is I added three single ones and then I've added two seed beads in place of the, uh, the spacer beads. So that's how I carried on to get to the, to the end of the necklace. And then I turned it around. Now, it might not be the actual end of your necklace because as I said before, you can extend it afterwards and then just fill in the top and the bottom later if you need to extend it. But whatever, however much you've already made, so you wanna go to the end of that and then you wanna turn around so you wanna come back through the bottom of that square. So I'm gonna keep it on the table like that so you can see what I mean by top and bottom. Right, so I'm coming around the end, turning around to get to the bottom edge. And then what I did on the bottom edge is quite similar to the top, except you want it to curve like that a little bit. So you want to, you want to add more into the bottom. So at the bottom, I added my drop beads, which are slightly bigger um, across here where your drill hole is than your spacer beads. So that automatically adds in a little bit more at the bottom. So then you go through the next bead that is sticking out of your little square. Okay, then I added one seed bead. So I'm working in the wrong direction here, so it's a little bit harder, but I wanted to keep it steady so you can see what I'm doing. So then I added one green, and then into the next one, I would add two of the greens. Okay, so two of my seed beads at the same time. As I say, just so that you add in a little bit more on the bottom edge than you add at the top edge. And then you want to add one again. And then the next one, you're going to add your next gemstone. So you can see that the gemstones line up with the spacer beads at the top edge. And that kind of accentuates um, where your gemstones are sitting. It's almost like a full stop at the top to say this is where your gemstone is. And then again, you want to add one and then two, and that's all it is really. Um, and again, at the bottom, I carried on, when I ran out of the gemstones, I carried on and I just added a single bead, and then I added a double bead, and then a single bead. So basically I added two of the seed beads in place of the gemstones. So every second one I would add two. Um, so here the next one is a gemstone. And then that's what I did after I ran out of the, of the gemstones. And then once you have that middle section done, there you go, that's pretty much it really. Um, so once you have the middle section done, then you can, because now when you get to the end here, you can add more of your squares, as, as many as you need, and then you can just fill in the edges again on that extra section. And then when you, when you finish and you're happy with the whole thing, the, uh, the length, you should have um, one thread on each end of your necklace. And then all I did was I went through this last bead, once you have the full length, so it wouldn't be this bead, it would be the last bead. And then I went through um, a closed jump ring and I went through that a couple of times just to add a jump ring to the end and then finished off my thread. And then you can add your clasp onto those jump rings. And that was it really. I mean, you can see here how I did the end. Beautiful. There's my little closed jump ring on the end.
I, you know you were saying you use the blue just so that we could see it really works though it does actually it does it really works yeah I but, like I, but i think the uh, i think the silver stands out better yeah it's, well it complements the stones doesn't it yeah it complements the actual topaz it does monica as always absolutely oh. beautiful and perfectly demonstrated i just thought this was a little um really simple sort of a little bit of lace work almost to mm. to to kind of complement the almost like lace work in the gemstones yeah as well, well it think. does it works beautifully yeah. loving that love all your kits love all of your jewelry as always and there is more wonderful demonstrations from uh monica coming up at 12 o'clock with these beautiful adjustable rings um just to give you a heads up these chains we've got 50 of them um being brought to air momentarily we've got them in all three colors and they are so on trend at the moment the toggle class being worn at the front um yeah and I'll, I'll talk about that during the opportunity they're all available on pre-order right now so you can secure yours i mean about you i'm thinking christmas gifts oh yeah i think they'd be a perfect christmas gift absolutely um Prior to that, though, we've been talking about the satellite beat, haven't oh, we? Oh, lovely. And all of a sudden, lovely, beautiful Lauren <laughs> just slides a tea bar. There she is, lovely Lauren. Wearing some very jazzy trousers this morning. Yeah. I'm liking those trousers, Lauren. Um, I have more satellite beads. Lovely. <laughs> These are absolutely incredible. Uh, honestly, it's like... It, you talk about not seeing them and then all of a sudden they appear. Yeah. These are beautiful. Now, your beryl, we know, is a gemstone family, which includes some of the most uh, um, favoured gemstones out there. Emeralds are beryl, aquamarine's a beryl, morganite's a beryl, goshenite's a beryl, which is the uh, sort of the pure white. You've got your heliodores in there as well. So a full palette of your beryls and the lovely pop of red in between in the satellite bead i cannot remember the last time we had a showcase of satellite beads and yet we've almost had a mini one today haven't yeah. we loving the fact that it is back on our screens really wonderful size as well you know um this is something that if you f if you prefer like your six to seven millimeters or your eight millimeter stones then this yeah. is going to be right up your tree absolutely yeah i mean we I mean, saw marlas made out of satellites didn't we yes beautiful isn't it i used to say the bicones were my favorite shape and I guess they still are when I put them in seed beading so the four millimeter bicone yeah but if if you're not talking about seed beading specifically just uh gemstones and, and gemstone jewelry I think the satellite is definitely my favorite it's got a yeah I, I'm not going to yeah. disagree with you on that I think it's no, creates nine. yeah it's I mean I love a plain round but this has got that edge hasn't it nine pounds 99 for your beautiful barrel so that includes wow. your aquamarines I, I think it was guest designer Jan who once upon a time said whenever she gets multicolored barrel strands she separates them all oh, right so <laughs> she'll use the aquamarines with the aquamarines the goshenites the goshenites heliodors heliodors etc well, it's a little bit like the mookite isn't it so you can graduate yeah. the colors and you can go from yes. pinks to the blues or it's the know. pastel mookite yeah, not gemologically well, yeah. but you know what I mean in but terms in the, of palettes yeah yeah Love that. $9.99 for your satellite bead cuts. I absolutely love it. We used to we used to have hours full of them in a multitude of different gemstones. Those days are well and truly gone. Well, never know. Might be seeing them returned. Um, beautiful. I'd be intrigued to know what you're going to do with this. Is it going to be a simple stretchy bracelet? Are you going to knot in your long line malas? Are they going to be maybe the guru in your malas? I quite like it with the red. Uh, yeah, it works, doesn't Imagine it? Imagine with the uh, with the red spinel that we had. Oh, oh yeah, with the Jedi yeah. red spinel, that would be gorgeous. Um, I love this next strand. You're going to love it too, I'm sure. Oh. I mean, look at that oh, perfection it's, it's straight just away, isn't it? You can reinvent the wheel. Well, you can. Can you? Well, they kind of have with this, this cut, haven't they? I suppose. <laughs> I, suppose. Can you, I suppose there's everything's up for reinvention, I guess. But I don't think you need to with this. I think just simple beading, simple oh. restrand. Yeah, absolutely. It's interesting how this one's a pastel tones as well, just like the previous one. And it looks good either with the bright reds in between or the sort of the more muted sort of the, the, the gold in between. And they, it still looks beautiful either just, way. Yeah, I mean, this is the kind of design that I would kind of envisage. You know, I'd be like, okay, yeah, I'm going to put some gold-plated spacer beads, stop them in between just to really sort of separate and showcase each of those aquamarine blues. I knew you'd love this. How many have I got, Roscoe? Ten. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're going to have to be quick checking out your baskets. Jill, Gloria, Maker, Leslie, Helen, Deborah, Karen, and there's people I can't see yet. Um, I only have ten available. 
It's a perfect summer's day blue, wonderful aquamarine, and it's so clearly aquamarine. Do you know, lesser quality, lesser grade aquamarine sometimes can be a little bit white, effectively. Yeah. You know, you really, w I do want it to have that sort of summer's day sky blue. Make sure you are checking out your basket. There's an ever so slight, if I'm not mistaken, ever so slight graduation, or it might just be how I'm looking at it, possibly. Um, you've got the precision of the, oh, it's sold out, yeah. Well done. I knew you'd love that one. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, don't forget those lovely chains that are coming up as well. And don't forget, we've got Dave stepping into the studio at 10 o'clock today for the launch of some brand new jade carvings. Um, about 10 minutes time for that one. Right, ready? Are you ready for this, Dan? <coughs> Bless you. He's not ready. He's all right now. Ready? Oh. We spoke about Sa. <laughs> I know. Did I build that up a little bit too much than what I should have done? But yeah, probably. I it's just, just there's satellite beads and it's been such a long time since we've had satellite beads and all of a sudden we talk about it and the tea bar appears <laughs> gosh you're good ross aren't you <laughs> the best he says oh <gasps> is that what i think it is is that what i think it is bursa jade lapis lazuli Amethyst, is that praiserlite? Clear quartz, scholarsite, and then crazy lace. My goodness me, there's a tea bar of dreams. Now, yesterday, we brought you that strand of emerald. Do you remember in the bicone that absolutely flew out the door and it went nuts? And we were talking about the colour. It was so good, we thought it looked like chrysoprase. Yeah. I'm going to start with the crazy lace. I've got 10 minutes to squeeze in as many of these beautiful bicone strands as I possibly can. Um, crazy lace agate. Yeah, I, uh, it's, it's like, oh, let's just call it crazy. Let's just call it crazy. <laughs> what should we come up with a really nice description from an amazing gemstone that's formed over millions of years? One of the most durable, it is millions of years. Crazy, because looking at the patterning is a bit bonkers, isn't it? So let's call it that. I feel like we could have done better. Go back to the drawing board. Could have done so much better. But you get wonderful patterns, wonderful selections of colours. Yeah, I'm over the moon at 29.99. Crazily, Sargate, a little bit like your Botswana and a bit like yes. your Blue Lace. They command a certain price tag, don't they? Yes. And your Sakura. It's natural. Ooh. Totally and utterly natural. Do you think I would bring a Sakura Agate strand for £14.99? Highly no, unlikely. Not likely. No. <laughs> Highly, highly oh. unlikely. Fourteen ninety nine for your crazy lace agate. Yeah, it's, it, it is. It's like a work of art. Mother Nature's work of art. Similar to... Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it would look nice with your kits, actually. Oh, We're alongside yes. your uh, mukai. Yes. And I was just saying about how bicones were my favourite shape, except maybe for the satellite bead. But mm. if I'm putting it in seed beading, then definitely the bicone. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But it kind of has a, a similar feel to the satellite beads, doesn't it? It's, absolutely. It's, it's that, that yeah. pointy faceting, I think. Definitely. Ends, oh, um, absolutely. In fact, I think some some traders would set, would describe this as the satellite and vice versa. Mm. Um, okay. Now, I know this is a gemstone we rarely ever see in this cut. Pristine, eye clean, clear quartz. Oh. Not to be in, misinterpreted for... Um, your mineral. So quartz is a mineral. I say this so many times. Quartz is a mineral, is abundant, and it looks like compact snow. Quartz is a gemstone, is ice white, crystal clear, and looks like this. That's the difference. It's often favoured by the finest lepidus because it can showcase facets beautifully. You can sometimes see uh, rainbows within uh, clear quartz where basically it's water that's been trapped over thousands upon thousands of years. Um, and you get brilliance. When do we ever oh. see... Oh, look at that. Seriously. Get, I'd be getting this for Christmas. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, you could make sort of icicle drops to go in your Christmas lovely. tree with these. Oh, genuine gemstone icicle drops. Gosh. Earrings, <laughs> teaming it with some lovely pearls. I think that would be yes. quite uh, beautiful. £14.99 pence only. Now, they're hematite spacer beads in between as well, oh, so don't discard nice. those. 
Um, I like the fact we're introducing hematite spacer beads. Yes. Yes. Because normally you just kind of throw them away, don't yes. you? Well, not always, but yeah. um, but these are genuine gemstone spacer beads. Um, good morning, Dawn. Hello. I hope you're well in Rhonda Cullentaff. Um, hi. I had three sterling silver bee caps in my basket, but can't check out as your website wouldn't let me. Can you advise, please? Oh, it's because it... Oh, Dawn. Oh. That's because they were in the lounge hour. And the time run out, so you only you have to check them out in that hour. That's why, lovely. Only in the eight o'clock hour do we do that. So when I say like you've got to check out before the end of the hour, I tell you what, I tell you what, he's a good egg, is our Roscoe, because you've messaged in Ross um, at dawn. Sorry, Ross has Ross has said. You're going to get a second chance. He's such a soft touch. He is. Normally, we're not meant to do this. You're, you are a soft touch, aren't you, Roscoe? Uh, here we go, Dawn. Here we go. We're going to bring the graphics on. Just, we're not meant to do this. That's why they go so low. <laughs> so basically what it is, in the, in, it's, we call it a lounge hour. So it's a time restraint on the, on the items um, um, in a lounge hour. So as soon as we close that hour, not every hour is the same, but in the 8 o'clock hour, when we close that hour, all items become inaccessible effectively. That's why we drop them to such low prices. So now you have to check out your baskets. This is getting, giving everybody else a second opportunity as well, which is fantastic. 14.99, believe it or not, Dawn, was not where we closed. Um, you're getting 20, uh, 20 925 sterling silver bead caps. They flew. Dawn? Dawn, I can't see your name. I mean, obviously, everyone else can still shop as well. Dawn, if it's in your basket, you need to check them out. There's about 60 of them left. So it's stop permitting. And it's obviously, if it's a lounge hour, we close that hour and that's it. All uh, accessibility to those items normally disappear. But because you've messaged in, Dawn, Ross has brought them again. But that does mean everybody else as well gets that same opportunity, which is fantastic. We go in even lower. Liz... Hello, Gloria. Hello, lovely. Glad you miss it, miss, uh, messaged Dawn. I miss them too. There you go. So you've helped Gloria out as well. And, um, and I'm always messaging because, to be honest, yeah. if we can, we always will. We will. Hi, Gloria. £12.99. We will always do it if you message in. If we can, that is, of course. If there's any left. If there's any left. <laughs> yeah. We will always do it. I say it. I'm saying it whispered because we shouldn't. But we're amongst friends. What have you just realised? Did we not? I don't know, did we? Yeah. Okay, we went even lower than 12 99 apparently. Look, it was only about an hour or so ago, and I can't remember. So that's right, yeah. 60p per, yeah. uh, per B cap. We're going to match that early bird price tag for you, lovely jewellery makers, giving you that second window of opportunity. So well done to Dawn for messaging in. Giving us all an opportunity. I don't know if... I haven't seen you, Dawn, though. I hope you're there. Thanks, me too, says Christine. <laughs> you missed out on them as well. So amazing. But I've only got 60. You've got to remember, Dawn, there's going to be lots of people that want that opportunity as well. Eleven ninety nine. That's under 60p. 60p per sterling silver bead cap. I don't have, I mean, you can brilliant. see from the photograph, they are different sizes. Uh, oh, they are there. Sorry. Thank you, gorgeous Dan. Thank you. I've got them here. Gloria, I can see Gloria. In fact, I can see two Glorias. And I can see Christine. Is Dawn there? I'm starting to worry for Dawn. Oh, yes, Dawn. There's a Dawn. <laughs> Is that you, Dawn, on the phone lines? Is that you? Where was Dawn? No, she was in Wales, wasn't she? Rhonda Cunn and Taff, so that's not the same Dawn. It's a new Dawn. <laughs> oh, I hope you get them, Dawn, because they're about to sell out, lovely. I like this idea. So the boys have just been saying in the gallery, they're like, I tell you what we need to do, we need to do an early bird and then a not so early bird. <laughs> 
Have you seen that? Have you seen that video where there's two chihuahuas, long-haired chihuahuas, and there's one up, up at the window like this? You know, he's looking all alert and everything. And then it says there's two types of people in the world. But then there's the, there's the sibling <laughs> one who comes up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That. So we could have we could have like an early bird and have that chihuahua and then we yeah, can have the not so early bird yeah. and have the other chihuahua who I absolutely <laughs> love. He's amazing. Um, <laughs> incredible. Well done, folks. I'll leave that with you now. I hope you managed to get it dawn. Um, I hope you managed to secure yours. Absolutely fantastic. Now it's time for those beautiful selections of chains. How many of us, I always get somebody roll their eyes at me when I, when I do this, but how many of us have been shopping for Christmas throughout the course of the year and summer? Is it just me? I haven't yet. <laughs> I might start today, though. <laughs> well, how perfect are these? If you get a nice presentation box... Oh, absolutely. ...which we bring you, don't you? Yeah. These will be perfect... A perfect gift at Christmas Day. Yeah, and you can wear them on their own. You can put a pendant on it. There's so many things you can do with it. Yeah, because they're adjustable, so you can wear them at different lengths. And obviously, we've got them in the three colours. Now, you get the opportunity... Do you want me to slide them over? So you can wear these shorter or longer, whichever you wish. But I quite like the fact that you've got that feature. You can wear it the other way around if you want. I like the fact that you've got that extra loop feature something that yeah. you could maybe wrap loop onto or cluster yeah. and i'm going to ask roscoe roscoe you know my um toggle presentation we don't have to go into the whole history of the toggle and all that but just those designers that use the toggle as the sort of front and center the star of the show of their piece of jewelry it's, it's very popular at the moment isn't it very much so in front yeah and, and there was one, I think it was £168, where they used the toggle, obviously as the class, but they also um, put charms on there. Yes. Um, you know which one. I'm, here we go. Well, let's go through them. Wolf and Badger. Look at that, £125. But you could make that, couldn't you? You could make that. Or be inspired yes. by something like that. Look at this. Very simple. Love mm -hmm. it. It's got pearls, granted, but it's all about the toggle. The toggle's at the front, £135. Um, Tiffany's and Co. I know officially it's a lariat, but still same concept. Yep. The toggle is kind of like a lariat well, yeah, as well. Yeah, but this is kind of like a lariat. You could put something in the bottom there. Too. Exactly. Yeah. Loving that. Mulberry using the toggle at the front with a big yeah. culture pill. And then you've got Ralph Lauren. See, oh. little char a few little charms. Oh, see, that's a good idea as well to put the charm on the uh, on the actual ring. Christian mm. Dior. But this is the one I'm referencing. Ah, oh, yes. Now, I know they're with pearls, but it's using the toggle, but alongside some charms at the front. That's £168. Oh, that's beautiful. beautiful. We're £20. On our screens right now is the silver, but you can shop ahead on the yellow gold and also the road gold silver. We're going to do a mega deal. Now, there's 50 of these available. I think the perfect Christmas gift or birthday gift or just because gift, whatever it is, and gift for yourself, don't forget. Um, we always need chains, don't we, as jewellery makers? Yeah. But this isn't just a chain. For me, this is a necklace. It is, absolutely. And the other way you could do it is if you use the, the other loop as your um, uh -huh. we do as it? your toggle, then you've got the ring hanging down. You can add charms and or a tassel even or anything onto the ring that hangs down at the bottom. I see what you mean. So the adjustable feature, so you'd so wear... If you wear it short, <gasps> oh, like look. that. Yeah. Hand that down a little bit. Yeah, and then you can hang anything you like onto the ring at the bottom. So then all of a sudden... Yeah. Oh, that's a lovely idea. Yeah. Oh, there's, oh, there's so many things you can do with so it. So many things, so many ways of wearing it. If I, hold, if I pull it straight as well, yeah, you can see like that. there's that different... You can wear it as a shorter necklace. Obviously, you can wear it this way around if you wanted to, like a traditional chain. But for me, it's all about the toggle at the moment. Um, and why not wear it at the front? You know, sometimes it was Alison that said this yesterday. You know, when you wear a necklace and, it, and, and, and like the lobster claw or the trigger clasp sort of makes its way around or the bolt ring clasp, and it's not ideal, is it? Because that's not yeah. a clasp that you want to see, especially. Whereas the toggle, I think you definitely, definitely can. I think that's what it's. That's why so many of the designers are doing so. You know, that Ralph Lauren piece that with the faux pearls and sterling silver. In fact, it wasn't even precious metal, was it? And that was what about. I think the best part of £100, um, that uh, costume jewellery. We're at yeah. 99 It's an absolute giveaway deal. You know, even if you deconstructed it and you thought, OK, well, I'd use the toggle separately and I'd be using the lengths of chain for something else. A wraparound style bracelet. Beautiful. Yeah. We had, did you say quantity? 
50 of each of these do shop ahead on the yellow gold and also the rose gold, rose gold jewelry makers loving that i mean you think on 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 christmas day opening something like i know i'm talking about christmas i i know people roll their eyes at me sorry but um it's just i'm i'm i could hear adam's eyes rolling in the in, in the gallery yeah he's like for goodness sake really um but yeah i i plan ahead it means then i'm gonna stress about it in the month of uh, in the month of december look just can you shop ahead on the rose gold and the yellow gold? We'll pop those on the um, on the website. So I'll put this on in the break. Um, on the website, so you can shop ahead. The yellow gold and also the rose gold are going to be fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Well done to those of you that have multi ball. And do not go anywhere because the time has come uh, for the wonderful Dave Trost to step into the studio to bring you those ut utterly exquisite carvings. Brand new premiering in a few moments' time. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Oh, 
always a pleasure to welcome the wonderful Dave Troth into the studio, especially when you bring pieces like this. Oh, My thank goodness you. me. Yeah, I mean, look, we are very, very excited to, to be bringing you these very unique carvings. We have, you've just seen them, we've only got a very limited amount of them. Uh, five very different, very unique master carvings. Uh, and the, the reason we refer to them as master carvings, and you're about to see, we are operating right now at a kind of grade that we may not have experienced before. We may have done a little bit. This is what we, we deem ice grade jadeite. So we're talking about the top crystallization, the top transparency. And there are four old mine carvings. And what we mean by old mine is we're talking about jadeite that comes from much deeper in the earth. And okay. so it's, an, it's been forming for a longer time. There's two different types of jadeite that come from Myanmar. Mm -hmm. There's old jadeite and young jadeite. Mm -hmm. And the old jadeite, because it's been crystallizing for a longer period of time, tends to be a much higher grade. And people bid on those boulders a lot. lot they're a lot more expensive. Mm -hmm. The only kind of large boulders that are currently um, in the marketplace that, that can even produce pieces like this is the younger jadeite. The younger jadeite, although they can do the same intricacy, the same kind of meticulous detail, it simply doesn't have the same transparency. And then we have one of the most epic boulders of Olmec jadeite that we have been fortunate to work with in recent times. So Olmec jadeite has always had a reputation that it trades at a lower price than Burmese jadeite. Yep. Um, it is still jadeite, but it, it is usually, or it has been for the past you know, 30, 40 years, uh, a lower grade. Okay, so it's been more of an ornamental offering. Um, you know, they use it a lot in Guatemala and Central America as like a uh, tourist stone. You know, mm -hmm. they, they carve it in a similar way to the, the, the Aztecs and the Olmecs would have done. But ever since the closure of the, the Burmese jade out mines, the, the, the Kachin Hills jade out mines, mm -hmm. a lot of these uh, uh, Chinese kind of uh, uh, mining outfits, you know, that have spent hundreds of years, generations of mining jade out in Myanmar, well, they've moved to Central America, they've moved to Guatemala. They've bought up huge swathes of land um, and they along the Montagu Valley where we know it has tectonically taken place where there is jadeite or could be jadeite. And because of their experience with jadeite, they know how to find it, they know where to find it. And so what they are doing is they are, they've spent the last two years, three years, mining, putting places down, core sampling, and some of the jadeite that is coming out now is on par with some of the finest Burmese jadeite that has ever been mined. And um, our good friend, uh, Bernard, Bernard Liu, who is a jadeite merchant, I guess, or a jadeite dealer, um, messaged me about uh, almost a year ago now. Um, and there was a small but incredible Olmec boulder that wow. appeared in the Chinese marketplace. Um, and it almost kind of went unnoticed at the Jade Emporium where they do sealed bids on the jadeite. And Bernard said he'd bid on it, he didn't expect to win it, but he did. Wow. And he showed me pictures, he showed me pictures of the, the jadeite rough. And the skin was so thin that when you sh shined a light on it, you could see the crystallization. It wasn't large though. Um, and he, the reason he showed it me is because he said, would you be interested? I said, absolutely. Um, we identified that we wanted to do something really exciting with it. We wanted to, to carve you know, one of those exquisite motifs out of this material. And I'm gonna let you know, we, we carved two different uh, 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 master carvings out of it. One of them is the dragon, one of them is the phoenix. Today wow. we bring you the phoenix, the dragon is still being carved. It'll be with us in a few months. But you're about to see, and I'm just gonna say it, in terms of Olmec, the finest jadeite you will ever see. So this is top crystallization. I mean, if this was Burmese, it would be imperial. Yeah. We're talking about the most supreme jadeite that I've ever seen come from Guatemala. Um, and like I said, the boulder was extremely small. It's almost an imperial green color. It has the sharpest and most insane transparency, and it has this wet look finish. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let you know right now, I've only got 50 of these. Mm. Um, essentially from this boulder, we managed to carve uh, 70 master carvings. Well, we don't know how many we'll get of the dragon, but at the minute we're at about 20. We don't know if we'll be able to get more. We got 50 of the phoenix. And you'll see the intricacy of the, 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 the tail feathers, um, the, the phoenix or the feng hang or the peacock, which is the embodiment of the, 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 the phoenix on earth in, in Chinese folklore, in their, their, their mythology. And if this isn't the finest jadeite you've ever seen, thank you, Adam. If this isn't the finest jadeite you've ever seen, I don't know what is. And just to kind of show you this, I was offered uh, some imperial jade landscapes, imperial jade. Wow. And remember, this isn't the same color, but what I'm gonna share with you right now is, let me show you. 
So these are tens of thousands of pounds. Okay? These are tens of thousands of pounds each. Wow. Okay? They're landscapes of Imperial Jada from Myanmar. Okay. That, I mean, and not that big. I no, mean, no, no, no. But I mean, you're talking probably forty thousand dollars for wow. for one of those. And then when you mix in this incredible Burmese uh, Olmec material that we're about to bring to you, this is what I mean. This is like unlocking imperial jade for the first time but also from the Guatemala. Of yeah, the, the intricacy. Like I said, yeah, these are revered in the Far East. Here's a, a selection of incredible carvings uh, in in the Far East. You've got the classic ones like the Buddha, the leaf. But look how this is the, on a plinth. Yeah. This is how they treat them. This incredible uh, material, the landscape carving, the round medallion type carving is on its own stand. Now we have had these drilled because we've, we've essentially produced these. So you will have uh, a hole for, for you know, essentially a bale at the top of ours. Mm -hmm. But you're talking about this level of intricacy. Wow. You're talking about this. And look at the crystallization of that jade. Look at yeah. the transparency. We're about to bring you that level of jadeite today. But I wanted to cover this straight off by saying this is the only Olmec in this show, the only Guatemalan jadeite in this show. And the reason we're putting it alongside old mine ice jadeite is because this is quite possibly one of the finest, not the largest, certainly not the most expensive, but I, to my mind, from everything that I've ever seen, I think we're dealing with the finest jadeite to have come from Guatemala at this point. It might get better, they might find more, but Bernard was so excited about this boulder and of course we worked with him on producing this. I'm going to show you the transparency as well, if I may, uh, yep. Elle, because you're going to see it and I want you to see it, the, the, the way the light just penetrates through this material. It's, it's, it's another leaf. Wow. You yeah, almost neck. have to turn the light away so you can see it because it's so bright, it just comes straight through. Ross has just said that's the finest translucency I've ever seen. Yeah. Like tracing paper. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I can And even when I turn it so that you just see the back. Wow. Look at the light. There is no fault lines, no, uh, no imperfections, no patches of, you know, semi-opaque or semi-translucent material. It's just the best of the best. Now, I just want to remind you, I've got 50 of these. And then we, we, at the moment, we have 20 dragons that are still being carved. Um, they'll be with us in a few months' time from this one unique and incredible boulder. Ice Imperial wow. Jadeite from uh, Guatemala. And I want you to know, this is a much larger uh, piece of jade that I'm sharing with you that comes from Myanmar. Now, you never get boulders, obviously, this size out of... Um, out of Guatemala, That's they just don't appear. Yeah, but I want you to, you know, th you're about to see years and years of work. The, first of all, they have the boulder, they polish the face, these, these start off life as, as polished medallions, and then they, the artists will depict, they'll draw onto it, mm. right? They, they're drawing onto this material, and then they spend, in this instance, years mm. literally carving into the material. And that's why on this template, this kind of, I guess it's almost like a, a balsa wood template, there's holes. That's where you're trying to go into the jade. And that's how you create that raised moment. Do you know, just the, the level of patience oh God. as well to be able to create something mm -hmm. like this. Yeah, so they go through in stage after stage after stage. So they, they, they draw it out onto these templates and then they bring the next stage of the template, the next stage, and different parts are being pointed out and cut out so you can get into the body of it. Here's another, there's three uh, blocks of jade here. You can see the colors, wow. the lavenders and the greens. And they, first of all, they draw it. And then they That's work on it. amazing drawing. Yeah, exactly. And then they've got to pick out all these moments. Um, and, you know, this is like an unfinished version of it. You can see it from the side, how they're starting to attack into the jade. And, and as they get into it, it gets gemmier and gemmier. Yeah. And then they start polishing it. This is one of the most revered, one of the most celebrated master carvers in China right now. And that piece there, I think it took him nearly 10 years. Wow. Yeah, working on it. It's all he did. Um, and, and, you know, when I talk about these carvings, these were, I guess, as part of a closeout. This is Bernard's wife, Sandy. And she's saying, look, the middle shot there is her looking at, as I said, that's how the medallions start. Yeah. Just polished on both sides. 
And then the same approach is taken where they draw onto that. Mm -hmm. They have the little templates and they carve into it. But this is just the raw template. But she said these carvings are becoming very expensive in the marketplace. The selection is ice grade. So everything you're about to see is ice grade wow. jade, yeah. uh, which is the highest transparency available where the jade has crystallized to the highest degree. The skill of the masters is on display in the most meticulous attention to detail on these five carvings today. These are very unique and are often only offered as, as one of a kind offerings, as we know. You just saw one in the display case there, mm -hmm. just on a plinth. We can provide you with a closeout of this old mine jade, but the carvings being done now do not have the same crystal as this is the younger jade that is available in the sizes needed to do these pieces of art. So in the market right now, although we might still be able to bring you the intricacy, the detail, yeah. the older jade, which is what can produce this crystallization, just isn't available. Or if it is, it's not available to Sandy and Bernard because it's far too expensive. So it goes to a step on the ladder way above them. Yeah. Because it becomes Private just cost prohibitive. Absolutely. Or, you know, one of these incredible masters. Mm -hmm. I am going to give you a 30 second clock and I'm going to offer probably my favorite ever medallion carving. I followed this from the rough stage to this moment. It will be an instant seller. We're talking, like I said, imperial grade Olme. That's amazing. Jada. It's just, I don't even need to talk about it. When you see that, yeah. that's what it's all about. Yeah, plus, plus, you know, the meanings behind the... Oh, yeah, you know, the, the Fang Hang embodies all of the, 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 the kind of female essence of the yin and yang principles. Yeah. So the, the, the dragon is power and uh, the masculine side. The Fang Hang is, is you know, the, the reasoning, uh, the feminine side. And that's why we wanted to do the dragon and the I was the going phoenix. to say that's why those two, the, the two most meaningful yep. uh, figures that yep. are used within this carving. It's absolutely astonishing, Dave. Yes. So we are obviously going to provide you with one of the most sensational deals. Um, I don't even think Bernard paid market value for this wow. in the Jade Emporium. It's a sealed lot. He got extremely lucky to receive it. Um, the, the Jadeite boulder had a very thin skin on it. And when he put his torch through it, the light just went through the other side. That's how crystallized the whole boulder was. And you're about to secure your legacy piece today. The epic, incredible Phoenix. With all those floral moments, with that wet look finish, with that highly polished top crystallization of the old mine material. This comes from Guatemala. And I don't know if there has been a better Mm -mm. carving done in Guatemalan material. I think this I is agree, the future. Yeah. I think yeah, I Guatemalan jade is the future. You're not finding that from Man Mar Money, you're finding it in, in Burma. But how interesting as well to see that turning point, Dave, because you yeah. were saying about, you know, the Chinese uh, jade market have quite literally relocated yeah. to Olmec. So how exciting to see that sort of pivotal point. And also, in the so, uh, absolutely, and it's so exciting as well to, to be able to for them to find the actual amazing jade that's yeah. been there for millions of years that we've struggled to find over the last 30 years because yeah. no one understands jade or jade mining like the Chinese. Yeah. They've gone over there and they're starting to find material that is on par with some of the finest jade mm. out of, you know, out of Myanmar. Yeah, um, absolutely. I'm going to give you a 30 second clock and we're going to start getting this price down, but you have to be quick. We only had 53 to be exact. Of wow. Them. 53 opportunities, all of this impeccable grade. Um, I should say as well, it is drill. You have got a drill yeah, hole yeah, at yeah. the top there, but very always very cleverly, discreetly absolutely. positioned so that it doesn't uh, interfere, um, to interfere with the work of art. It's absolutely amazing, and I totally agree. This is the finest Olmec I've ever seen. Yes. Both in translucency, but also or in, in artistry. Yeah, absolutely. And you know that's why we were talking about that meticulous level look, of look detail. Look at the feet, the claws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The feathers. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take this down. You know, usually I'd go, oh, let's go beneath a thousand pounds. But realistically, even at, even at Jewel Maker, when we think of the carvings that we have bought previously, when we, yeah. or on Gemporia, when we think of the quality, when we think of the detail, when we think of the carat weights, a piece like this, even by our own standards that we set, we should be at two and a half thousand pounds. Can we go there? We're going to go to two and a half thousand pounds. We're not going to be anywhere near that today. Yeah. Should we be yet? Yeah. Will it sell out? I'm pretty confident that it will, but everyone's going to pay the final low price. And I don't think anyone is ready for how good that price is going to be. I hope you are, the people that are getting this are the collectors that maybe own, you know, 30 or 40 jade art carvings. Because when you see this, when you get to see how different it is, mm. how it feels, that, yeah, that, it does, that, yeah. that incredible polish, the transparency, 
Um, what a honey of uh, a carving, superb. Just when we think that's the top you reach under the pinnacle, thank you so much. No problem, uh, Caroline, it's wow. wonderful to have you joining us this morning and messaging in. Um, we really do appreciate you, know, you saying that we thought we'd seen the best and then this comes along. These, these opportunities are few and far between. Congratulations to Hazel and Maker and Valerie. We've got Swansea, um, Hampshire, Somerset already in. For me, that's where we finish. That's it. What an epic deal. Yeah. But that's not what we're about. If it's not about the market value, it's not even about our own value that we set. This is going to be a lower price than carvings you've seen on the channel before. I, I don't understand that because we are talking about, and every single yeah. one of us recognized this this morning, Dave. It's like, my goodness me, have you ever seen translucency like that yeah. in Olmec? Well, the, the reality is we don't look at it and go, hey, this is the best carving, so therefore it should be the most expensive. Yeah. Which is true. what anyone else should do. We look at, we got an incredible deal on this. We actually paid less for this than some of the other carvings we bought to you. And so we are going to do what we always do and oh, pass amazing. on that saving. So a 30 second clock now for anyone who wants to get involved. And remember, we only were able to bring you 53. There isn't yeah. like 50 in, in China. There isn't more that exists. This is it. The 53 from the boulder to this moment are on your screen right now. And we, Bernard got an incredible deal. It's sealed bids. He didn't even think he'd win on this one. And he did. And with, we have exclusivity of this, this you know, unique boulder. And we said, look, we're with Bernard, we said, let's do the Phoenix and let's do the Dragon. Amazing. Yeah. Um, a lot of the time, Ross is just saying, a lot of the time the Olmec Jadeite carvings are significantly smaller in carat weight yeah. than this. The, the, yeah, because the boulders are smaller and it's, it's never crystallized like this. Yes, we've seen translucency. Yes, we can put the light <laughs> through it, but the light, makes the carving disappear. Yeah. That's how, how uh, transparent these are. We're at two and a half thousand pounds. We already have a lot of you on the phone lines. I'm gonna take this below a thousand right now. We're going into three wow. figures. And not just 999, let's go to 799. Wow. And we're nowhere Big near done. Job. Nowhere near done. Hundreds and hundreds of pounds away from being finished. I told you, we, I'm not scared to say it. We got an incredible deal on this, which means every single one of you is going to get that same incredible deal. And we're so often asked that question. Well, you know, you start at two and a half or, or 20,000, which is not unrealistic. That's the thing. And that's not pie in the sky. That's oh, God, no. I've seen air. it with my own eyes. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it's so important that our customers know the only reason that Dave brings them to the prices that, they, uh, that, that we see unable to purchase is because we work with the right people. We've we work with the right, right people, but also we have a very different business model to anyone else. Yeah. You know, I know some of the biggest Jade uh, um, kind of retail outlets in the Far East, and they'll sell you know one carving like this maybe a month. Yeah. Right. We're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make fifty three disappear yeah. in minutes today, and then we have you know four others. Yeah. Um, incredible old mine carvings from Myanmar, and you know it's it's a position. The only reason we can move that many that quick is because we take the tiniest tiniest margins. Absolutely. That's it. You know, if we were a, a jewelry store on the high street, yeah, we probably would be into the thousands for this. Well, yeah, um, we have sold. Uh, half the carrot weight. In fact, I remember even here on the channel because we paid different prices mm -hmm. for the rough. We paid a f for a 50 carat. I remember bringing a 50 carat incredible Olmec flower carving yeah. to our incredible collectors here. And we sold it for 299. Yeah. 50 carats, Olmec jade out flower. This is Olmec. This is over 100 carats. So it's over double. And because we got an incredible deal, I'm not doubling the price. I'm, go I'm actually going lower than the flower that we did. So That's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go lower than the flower which was half the carat weight and didn't have the same crystallization because we got the most sensational deal. Wow. And we got in early. Thekla, you're there in Somerset. Marion, Middlesex, Hazel in Hampshire, Maker in Swansea, Valerie in Somerset. We've got um, American bidders on the phone lines as well. A lot of you with it in your basket. Every millimeter. Yeah. So much detail. Absolutely. Jackie, you're on the phone lines. You can do this, but it is starting to get very competitive now. In fact, if everyone checks out with it in their baskets, it's gone. Cumbria, you can join too. Yeah. Um, I see you on the phone lines, but like I said, there is more in baskets than we even have available. You're all waiting for that final price. I get it. Well, let's give you a 30-second clock. There's only 53, so don't hesitate. Yeah. Here's your call to action. That's why we bring the clock onto your screen. It makes it fair for absolutely everyone. Call to action, to source. What we're all sort of discussing is possibly the finest Olmec 
carving we have ever brought to air. Do you agree? The beautiful level, look at the layers of the feathers. That's why I keep kind of rocking it back and forth. So you can see that wonderful, wonderful detail. The folds, the crest of the phoenix, all the meaning, the, flor uh, the floral detailing. The 30 seconds is up. Good luck, everyone. At 799, that's a mad deal. For, the, for, for that level of crystallization, for that level of artistry, yeah. Uh, Ross, let's take £500 off. Let's match the Olmec flower, okay. which is half the carat weight. And that's, like we said, this isn't pie in the sky. We sold it on this channel. Yeah. You know, months ago. Sold out. 50 carat, incredible carved flower. But we got a crazy, crazy deal on this piece. And I'm telling you now, I'm still nowhere near done. But this is where, if this is the only Olmec in the show, it is that sensational incredibly intricate carving. It is that tight crystallization, that imperial grade, that wet look finish. Allison, you're there, Maker in Cumbria, uh, Somerset, Middlesex, Hampshire, Swansea, Somerset, California, Cornwall. Someone's got nine in their basket, Hampshire, Kent, East Sussex, Greater Manchester, Merseyside, Warwickshire. There's, loads, there's lots of you there. In fact, there's more of you there than we even had available. Dorothy, you've just jumped on the phone lines. Yeah. I, I am going lower. Like I could stop here and I'm pretty confident it will sell out. People just check out their baskets. But we've got an incredible, I told you this from the very start. You know, I remember the boulder. Um, I remember Bernard telling me this about a year ago. We decided to carve the phoenix. We decided to carve the dragon mm. in the Olmec material. That unique crystallization. Valerie, you're there. You can do it too. You're all the way in Aberdeen. Plus, Dave, so few people can actually say that they know the complete journey of mm -hmm. it. Oh, God, You yeah. know the entire journey yeah. of these, and that's what's wonderful. You can share that story with the Absolutely. people that are purchasing this. So, look. look. Uh, all I'm going to say, though, is to every... Because, like I said, I think there's twice as many people on the phone lines as we even have yeah. available or on the internet, whatever it is, within your baskets. Yeah. I'm going to ask you to trust me right now, and I'm just going to say it's time to check out because we are going to one more price. It's going to shock a lot of you. But when we say we're going to do an incredible deal, we absolutely mean it. Yes, we have multi-buyers. I'm going to give you a minute this time. And I'm going to call one final price. There won't be a price after this. There can't be a price after this. 299 that's a realistic price. Yeah, In fact, absolutely. we did the Olmec Jadeite Carl Flower, which was 50 carats, which is half the carat weight of this, for the price on your screen. Yep. This is brand new. It's never been seen. It's only just arrived. It is one of the most auspicious um, symbols in Chinese folklore in history. Um, carved into the best Olmec jade art I've ever seen. We have shown you that transparency. We've shown you the, the, the incredible surface polish on this mm, material. It's amazing, it truly is. Half a minute. I'm asking you to trust me, like I said, one in two of you is gonna miss out on this. Yeah. At least. But you don't have to be the one that misses out. You can do it, absolutely. 20 seconds, Isabel, Maker, Catherine, Valentina, Valerie, Dorothy, Alison, Tina, Maker, Thecla, Marion, Hazel, Valerie, Maker, Isabel. We've got someone multi-buying, you've got 14 in your basket. We've got Jackie and Kent, Carol and Cornwall. We're at 299. But for anyone who wants this piece today, we're gonna half that price. What? We're gonna half it. Hang on. Yeah, hey. for 105 carats of Guatemalan jadeite with Everything we've talked about, you know, the, one of the most celebrated boulders to come out of Olmec in uh, to come out of Guatemala in recent years, is on your screens right now. It's at one four nine with four split payments. Which what, what are the split payments on that? One four nine. Um, is it 30, thirty-seven pounds and twenty-five pounds? And 25 yes, multi buy if you can. I don't know <laughs> if you'll be able to now. Jeanette, Leslie, Thank Valentina, you. Carol, Maker, Jackie. There's loads of you trying to check out from all over the world right now. Yeah, tap the app. There's never any cues there. And good luck to every single one of you. It's not yours if it's just sat in a basket. No. It'll be guaranteed, uh, uh, well, on confirmation solely. It's I said, look, one in two of you are going to miss out, at yeah. least. More than that now. But if you've got it and you know how to do it really quick, then do that. Just check it out. Mm -hmm. If you're on the phone lines, please speak to someone really soon and tell them that you want this. It's a free phone number, but I'm just saying, we are on our way to a sellout. We only had 53. We're at the most ludicrous price on this um, yeah, Tuesday Ross, morning. Ross has just said, I can, we understand now why Dave said one price, we will not go any lower. We can't. That's 149. My yeah. goodness me. Absolutely.
at, uh, Ross said it's £100 lower than where he thought this was going to yeah, be. Yeah, I can get that. The can I just grab it a second? I want to show, um, and I can just show it on the, the wide shot. I just want to show you the presence of it, the size, the transparency. Mm. Just even here, just across the studio, you see the light. Look at that. Yeah, amazing. You know, when we talk about that imperial grade, there it is. Just the light just passing, and oh. there's the close-up as well, which is sensational. That's unbelievable. Shall we, shall we, can I borrow that torch for yeah, one for second? Yeah, for sure. Just press that top bit and then that. Okay. Um, here we go. All these people need to check out their baskets, so good luck to each and every single one of you. Maurice, Valerie, Maker, Jay, Anne, Karen, make sure you are checking out yours, otherwise you're going to miss out on this opportunity. Good luck. Oh, my word. It's absolutely beautiful. The level of artistry and detail. There was just 53 available in the world ever commissioned. And the fact that we, you now know the entire journey of this work of art. And it is a work of art. You know, every single one of these, I don't know, I'm just showing the, um, every single one of these has this wonderful, wonderful detailing, this level of, look at that, Dave. It really is. And we've got uh, Marion's got two, Jeanette's got two, Valerie's got two. Yeah, you've got two for the price of one there. And like, you know, quadruple the caraway if you're getting two than the one we're referring to. So Claire, Maker, Paul, Vesna. Um, we've got Paul, you've multi bought, Marion's multi bought, Jeanette's multi bought, Valerie's multi bought. How incredible that we even can offer something like this. To get to see something like this is a privilege, it's an honor. To get to own it, to get to... We've only got 14 left, you know what we'll do? I know it's extraordinarily busy. Let's do a minute clock to close this one out. I don't want to oversell it. I don't want to disappoint more people. There is um, more of you right now trying to get it than we mm -hmm. even have available. But you know, the, the, the one thing you can do to, to you know, make sure you win with the best chance is try and complete that checkout process. Wow, Appro rapidly approaching single figure quantities. Amazing day. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Uh, and Caroline hit the nail on the proverbial head just when you think that you've seen the you, pinnacle, you know, yeah. seen it all. It and, and, and I do make comparisons with that one that was on a photograph. Oh, yeah, for that sure. you took. Is yeah, that a photograph yeah, yeah. you took? No, that's from the GIA. That's a GIA really? article um, you know, in, in China. You can see these. And this is ice jade eye, like Guan Yin's ice jade eye. The leaf back right is mm. uh, ice jade eye. The pixu in between those two that uh, lay on the, the two oh, yeah, traditional yeah. coins, that's ice jade eye. And then you've got this sensational, almost imperial green uh, landscape yeah. sort of carving on its own plinth, on amazing. its own stand. Absolutely and amazing. this wouldn't look out of place in that, in that uh, countertop. The final four, good luck three, and three, huge two, congratulations. One. Well done, stay holding, see if you're successful. We honestly wish you the very best of luck. And we do have four further carvings. Now these are different, these are from Myanmar. It's what we call the old mine jade eye. That, not, that doesn't necessarily talk to when they were mined, but it talks to the type of jade that we're acquiring. The old mine material is the material that's deeper in the ground, it's been crystallizing for far longer and tends to have a far better crystal. This is, Probably one of my favorite Burmese pieces. This landscape is absolutely phenomenal. There's so much going on here. You know, the, the, the bridge in the foreground with the two figures. You've got the traditional Chinese fishing boat. You've got the, the, the temples or the, the, the tiny little shacks, I guess it is. You've got the foliage. You've oh, got the wow. trees. You've got the full moon. It reminds me of that vast boulder. You yeah, know, yeah, absolutely. But there's so the much going on yeah. in this beautiful portrait. And even with the phone light, because this is, again, highly crystallized, it's old mine jade eye, it appears to be wet, and it is, there you go, that's with the phone light. Yeah, now, exactly. this is so clean that if it didn't have the carving administered to it, you'd be able to read newsprint through it. Yeah. That's yeah. how transparent this is. There you go. Look at that. That's some of the finest jade eye you'll ever encounter. You know, nice. regardless if you're not even a fan of the depiction, if I just go um, to, to the piece that this... This is the kind of transparency we're dealing with, like for like, when you go to that GIA article. That's highly crystallized ice jade eye with color. Can I, is, is it just me that seeing within this carving that I'm holding, Dave, mm -hmm. right by my, my finger at the bottom, yeah. the reflection in the water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's They've carved yeah. the reflection of that figure in the water. Yeah. It's, it truly is um, a sight to behold, something like this. We, again, only have 50 of these. You can't realistically mass produce these. 50 is mass producing these. Yeah. There's depth, the, the perception, you, you get it all in this incredible frame. 
And there's that transparency. Beautiful. They're 50. Okay. Let's, let's do a 30 second clock to bring this one live. I know it's going to be popular. It, it is um, absolutely it's the world class. overhanging trees. Yeah, yeah. The figure stood, well, I imagine, on like a little wooden bridge. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, sorry. sorry. Um, you've got the floral, the oh, absolutely stunningly beautiful, Dave. Again, wow. the wide shot, the, the close up. Wow. Look, again, I'm sure pass the light. Look at that. So when you, that, that, that video of you reading a newspaper yeah, yeah, through this Ice is, Jade, this is that, that, it's that material? This is Ice Jade. Wow. You know we're going to be nowhere near that price. We have to almost turn the light away. Look, mm -hmm. so you can begin to see everything that's going on. Don't get complacent. You are viewing Type A, completely natural Jade. Well, update, in my ear, these are absolutely flying. Oh, I knew um, they would. I knew yeah. they would. This is, you know, from Myanmar. This is absolutely Cherilan, Hazel, uh, Surrey, Rosemary. Tons of you on the phone lines. Well done to those of you checking out, you know, straight away. And just when you think you've seen, you know, you've absorbed it all, you find something else yeah, to admire, for sure, don't you? For sure. Um, Ross, I'm not even going to ask for a clock. Look how quick everyone's on the phone lines. Let's take you straight down to £1,000. Okay. Straight down. Let's, I know these prices are figured out in a certain way, but let's take it down to below you know, 999 or whatever, £1,000. Going to be nowhere near that as well. A third of the stock has already gone. Well done um, to the collectors who are all, not even waiting this time. You know, on the previous piece, I know people put it in their baskets and they waited. This piece, people are just checking out. It's one after the other after the other. We've got multi buyers already, like Rosemary. You've got two of these. We are going to look after you. We are not going to let you down. No, I, I, it, it looks like this should be physically wet, doesn't it? Oh yeah, and you know, when we talk about ice jadeite. You know, we're talking about top water. Mm -hmm. You know, jade is discussed in kind of uh, almost units of water mm. in China. You know, you have snow, which is the opaque material. You have ice oh, okay. and you have, you know, top water jade which should look like a still body of water. And then it gets certified as aqua this by the Chinese really labs, wow. which is exactly what we're talking about. Allison, Valerie, Cheryl, Anne, Maker, Hazel, Rosemary, Rupal, you're there. Valerie, you're there. Amazing. That's just with a phone light. Don't even need a specialist jade torch for this. In fact, a specialist jade torch, you can't see anything because yeah. it passes directly through it. Yeah. Okay, I'll take a 30 second clock, please, Adam. And we'll, um, we'll, we'll look, this is a day of deals. Absolutely. If you're after a, a special carving for your collection, it's in this show. And we're going to make it as affordable as we can, as accessible as we can. I just can't understand, like, to draw, to sketch a reflection in water. Oh, God, yeah. Let alone to actually carve it into mm -hmm. something that is as... Dense. Dense. It's hard. Yeah. It's difficult to do with jade eye and as it's valuable. And, you know, there's so much going on. You know, the top left, there's some in the, in the, the background there or the foreground is those tiny little temples on top of the hill. You've got the, 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 the fishing boat in the centre of the frame. You've got the full moon. You've got the, the tree. Um, straight the down. just here? Yeah, yeah, the pearl or the full moon. Or the full moon. And it's like a moonlit scene, isn't it, with that kind of Love ethereal it. glow. Okay, straight down, straight down to 199, and I'm not done. Pardon? Yeah, straight down to 199, and we're nowhere near done. 95 carats. Of icy, minimum. natural, mm -hmm. type A. Absolutely. Incredible, Dave. You're not done. No, nowhere near done. And, and that's why we already have the, the multi buyers on the phone lines that are after this specialist piece. Um, Middlesex, Bristol, Somerset, Merseyside, Swansea, Hampshire, Surrey, Hertfordshire, Warwickshire, Aberdeen. We've got Belfast. We've got California. Um, a lot of you multi or trying to multi buy, a lot of you with it, uh, you know, more than one in your baskets. I'll give, I'll give another 30 second clock and we'll do something really special on this piece this is incredible it's going to affect the rest of the show yeah i love the shape the fact it's all beautifully framed isn't it with like a bezel uh, almost like a bezel edge um good luck everyone the reality is you know and, and dave said earlier on didn't, let's not let's not get complacent with what we're achieving you are sourcing something that is type a grade one of the rarest special materials in the world and it is of you know, the finest quality. And you can get hold of it for less than £50 today on split payment. And I said I was going to do something special. Uh, I've got multi buyers in Swansea, multi buyers in Surrey. On this piece, take £100 off, £99. But you're going to have to be 
uh, really fast on this piece. This is, like I said, it's gonna have a knock-on effect for the rest of the show, 99 pounds. Look at the color there, you know, in the studio it gets washed out. Behind L, you can see those wonderful saturated colors coming to the fore. Um, and there are so many of our regular collectors joining us on the, on the phone lines that I can see and on the, the website. Don't miss out on this opportunity because we are now in double figures and you've got split payments of £24.75. They're interest free. This is why you guys tuned in today. This is why a lot of you trusted us early on and said, right, I'm going to multi-buy. May I just say, long may the ethos of this company continue mm. because, you know, uh, there's no way on earth if that ethos changed overnight there's no way on earth these pieces would be double figures no, or, no or, way. i mean these pieces wouldn't even be triple figures they would be yeah. into the four sometimes five absolutely caroline who's a jade collector and a steam jade collector been collecting jade for 50 years mm -hmm. says these pieces are like ice so wet looking lustrous i tried um carving ice it was so difficult so this worksmanship is outstanding yeah absolutely i completely agree with you it is like uh, carved ice, except this is the ice that will never melt. You know, it's going to be there for generations and generations. I'm with you, Valerie. I love the scenic carvings as well. Um, you know, I just love the fact that there's so much going on. You know, so many different yeah. moments to focus on. You're more than welcome, Rosemary. Uh, I know you were the first person on the finance and you, well, you trusted us and you said, I'm going to buy two of these. Yeah. But well, you can visualize it, can't you? We've all seen sort of the bustling rivers. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. You know, Absolutely, yeah. It's like... Buildings on the side yeah. and the... I don't know what they call those, uh, the, the kind of boats, those yeah, shaped yeah. boats. We've all seen it. Absolutely. You can and it's here, it. you know, uh, encapsulated in Jedi. Wow. Uh, Jeanette, Brian, Maker, Leslie, Valentina, Marion, Maker, Rupal, Alison, Valerie, another Valerie... Cheryl, Anne, Hazel, Rosemary, who's just messaged in. We've got Vesna, Janice, Margaret, Alexis, Brian, Paul, Lee. Someone's got four in their basket. Susan in Hertfordshire, you're there. 99 pounds on this That's epic, madness. very unique. 75. Yeah. On not percent interest split payment, I don't know anywhere else, anyone that can no. do uh, deals like that, Dave. So I, on, on behalf of everybody, oh, no problem. huge, huge, huge thank you. Stunning, I can even see the little bun. Yes, this, absolutely. The bun on mm -hmm. the, in the yeah, hair, yeah. just amazing. All carved out of something that's physically but The, the world's steel. most expensive canvas. Yeah, just you know, amazing. That's the reality. This isn't you know, parchment paper. This isn't you know, a fabric canvas. This is jadeite. Well, it's not clay. It's yeah. not soft. It's not nope. something like, ooh, uh, yeah, ooh malleable. There. Yeah. I can put a little bit back in. Mm -hmm. You can't do that, can no, you? you can't. Amazing, Dave. Truly, well truly incredible. Right, we'll do a minute clock to close this one out. Again, we don't want to oversell it. There's only nine left anyway. Um, make sure if you're, certainly if you're looking to multi-buy, you're checking out, you know, it's a matter of urgency because they won't be there come the end of this auction. No, and I can see in many, many, many years time, if, if you could choose to part with it, that being on somewhere like First Dibs. Oh, for sure. And who knows absolutely. what it's going to yeah. be, or Sotheby's. Or, or Antiques Roadshow. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, um, we, we, you know, we spoke to Joanna Hardy just this week, and we're hoping that oh, she's really? going to come on the show at some ah. point, which would be amazing. But you didn't hear that from me. I know okay. there's going to be a big that's announcement. But that's just amongst us friends. But, you know, this is it. Jedi, the world of Jedi on your screens right now. Janet, uh, Maker, Vesna, uh, Lancashire, Norfolk, uh, Hertfordshire, Merseyside. Uh, Greater Manchester, Greater London, good luck, 15 seconds. Again, I mean, that's exciting, isn't it, when you talk about names like that, yeah. financial times, and it's all down to... Yeah, Jade. It's it? down to the, the access of the... The Jade story, Dan. Yes, absolutely, yeah. You know, certainly one of our uh, the, the, the greatest successes of the Gemporia partnership, Absolutely. without doubt. Yeah. Um, and your collection, ultimately. Does the Omex have a hole for a bale? Many thanks from Yes. Hassan. Yes, it does. Um, all of these uh, um, incredible kind of pendants, if you want to refer to them as that. If I flip those. them around, if I flip them around, they all do, but they're very discreet, so as not to not not to. Can you see it there? Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's better to show it from the back, so you can really yeah. see. it. Very um, discreet. They're at a 45 degree angle so that when you actually turn it round, it doesn't interfere with the artistry. Can you see it just yeah. about just there? Um, there you go. Wow. Now there's less than three of the Olmec. We've oh, just yeah. brought the graphics onto your screen for that one. Um, yeah, all of these do have a drill hole on there. Amazing. Well done. Well done. Now... There are three further incredible Burmese ice jadeite carvings that we're about to bring to you. This one everything encapsulated in this open work carving uh, the circle of heaven the the, the wonderful uh, um, symbolism as well this one uh, means which one does this one mean uh, uh, happiness happiness 
there you go. And there is another one that means good fortune that is coming up as well. But this one is happiness. Wow. Again, look at the, the, the transparency. Look at the plumes and the clouds of colour within the body of the jade act. It's amazing, isn't yeah. it? It's a double circle of heaven. Mm -hmm. Sorry, beg your pardon, this is good fortune. Okay, sorry, this is the good fortune one. We'll do we a 30 Susie. second, yeah, we did our Susie. It's been verified by our Susie. I'm sure you tuned in. Uh, we're going to do a, yeah, there you go. So these are the two carvings that are coming up. So this one is the good fortune one. Wow. See the size of it. See how beautiful these look just in the office environment. You know, you can really see the colors when it's not washed out. Adam's done a great job of getting it there in the daylight, showcasing that. Yeah. We'll do a 30 second clock to bring this one live. Again, all of these carvings are very, very limited. Do you know, this one as well, I don't think I've ever actually seen it before, where the carvings are on ever so slight slope, like yeah. a lovely angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's sort of fuller at the, fuller at the yeah. bottom. I love that. Mm -hmm. It's like weighted, isn't it? Yeah. 20 seconds. Yeah, Ross is just saying, you can almost imagine this in an ancient temple. Yeah, and um, you can imagine this as a pair of earrings, for me. Oh, yeah. Because of the weight being yeah. pulled towards the bottom there. And we're going to do Two it. Two dragons at, at the top, yeah, back to wow. back. Oh, yeah, look at that. This is absolutely phenomenal. A symbol of good fortune. The, the, the two incredible serpentine dragons coming together at the top. Yeah. Um, and that, that circle of heaven. I mean, this is everything that we love about Jada. Well, good Jada. fortune, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that's not just financial, is it? No. That's, no, no. that's everything. Uh -huh. That's health, mm -hmm. luck. Yeah. The meanings behind this and the level of artistry. First person on the phone lines is multiple. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's two dragons. How amazing would this be? And never if it wasn't for uh, for jewelry maker would, or, or yourself, Dave, would I be able to say these, say these words. Can you imagine gifting this to someone? Maybe they've just got married. I know, imagine that. And we're, we're going to do it at those kind of price points today for our collectors. Wow. We want you to be able to, you know, put jade into to, you know, a loved one's life. The, the stone that none of us should really be able to own. And you can see again, oh, wow. My word. Yeah, this is what we talk about ice jade. Right? It's not like a, a, a hint of the light passing through, which is exciting. The light is uninterrupted as yeah. it, you know, yeah. permeates the jade. Right? Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Very difficult to do. You know, it looks easy because we get, we've got it on your screen and we're saying, no, we've got, you know, 50 of these. I'm telling you right now, that is no easy feat to be able to carve this. I've just seen the court, the reflection, that good fortune oh, wow. reflection. I wonder if you can capture it but on the piece. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, Valerie, you're there. Maker in Swansea, you're there. Uh, another maker, you're there. Well done. Multi buyers as well. Look at how amazing this is. Yeah. It's absolutely incredible, Dave. Yeah, I mean, that just showcases the open work detailing of this jade act. Yeah. Very special. Well done uh, to everyone who's already trusted us on this one. We're going to take it straight down to, just to show you how good this deal is going to be, and I can already see how popular this is becoming. I'm going to take it straight down to 499 straight away. Four yep. nine. Straight down from this ludicrous price, which, you know, in actual fact, anywhere else maybe in the Far East, maybe in Hong Kong, maybe, but we're on Jewelry Maker. So yep. let's take this down to 499. 70 carats minimum. Pretty sure if we weighed that, it's going to be more than that. But, you know, we always like to under promise and over deliver. At this price, it's incredible. I don't think you find this anywhere else or anywhere no. close to this price point. And Can you've got your interest-free split payment. Um, just to avoid any confusion, it is good fortune. I know our graphics say happiness. This is definitely the good fortune. Yeah. Happiness is the other one. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, you can see. The one that's on your screen is 100% good fortune. Yeah. Ignore the graphics if you like. So, um, Swansea, you've multiple. If anyone else wants to multiple, I'd do it right now. I'll give you a 30-second clock. Okay. 30 seconds coming your way. And we're going to deliver the most insane deals for you. The, the clock has started. Make sure you're checking this out. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, don't hesitate. These are utterly, utterly exquisite. It's that ice jadeite that we were saying. You, 
just for, for me, it's knowing the, the whole story from the beginning of the boldest discovery, even prior to it being cut into slices um, or carved or sketched. It's knowing that whole process, knowing the journey, know who sourced it for you as well. Um, and knowing the meaning, you know, if this were a piece of jade, say, in the jewellers that I once worked at 24 years ago, which, by the way, there was nothing like this, I wouldn't have known what that was. Nobody would have known what that meant. So actually knowing the whole story behind pieces like this, just absolutely. Do you know what? That's something like the, the, uh, the Financial Times said, look, you, this is what. They want to so do a story on us now. They want to do a story on us. I mean, that is crazy, isn't it? Yeah. The fact that, you know, us here at Little Old Jewelry Maker, you know, we're shaking up the world. And we're like a, you know, a secret, really, in the eyes of the world. We don't have these big promotional campaigns like the big jewelry houses do. No. You see them on the billboards and you see yeah. these big adverts and whatever else. We're bringing, we're quietly bringing Jadeite to the Western world at the most phenomenal deals, the most phenomenal prices. And do you know what? I'll show you how phenomenal these are going to be. This is, we've got two other carvings after this, haven't we? Yeah. Okay, Ross, you might not want to hear this, but you definitely will. Everything under 100 now. What? Everything. So this is the good fortune. There is a happiness one. That's under 100. Um, and we also have another sensational carving coming your way, which is like this floral you know, you can get circle of heaven. The good fortune and the happiness. Oh, yeah. We're going to take £400 off the price right now. £400 coming off already. By the way, at this price on your screen at 499 there is no one that does deals like that. And we're not going, we'll go a little bit better. We'll go we'll take £400 off. Uh, Ross has just said. Yes, uh, it our, makes... uh, yeah, he has. He Head of accounts. Across. He always walks past when I'm on the screen, which the is... perfect time. Yeah, so... Slowly. There he is, waving. Yeah. Um, through gritted teeth, begrudgingly. <laughs> um, um, Dave, so for under £200, I can get the happiness and the good fortune. Absolutely. I, I mean, go ahead and do it. I'm going to take £400 of this. All of this is it ice. Makes no sense, Jade it's Ross. Go. It does make no sense, but I want... Because oh, it's so busy this morning and so many people have trusted us so early on. I want to know, anytime you see a carving what? now in this show... It's going to, if, you, if you've got £100, you can get it. You are, t apparently, yes, Ross, you are taking it to £99. We've said it, Ross, we've said it. Paul's got two, Swansea's oh got two. Uh, Valerie, Maker, Rupal, Angela, Catherine, another Valerie. We've got Leslie, we've got Anne, Teresa, Paul, Maker, Maker, another Maker, um, international bidders. We're at £99, £24.75 on, on your split payments as well. That's which are completely crazy. completely interest free. Everything's crazy this morning, but it's also crazy busy. Um, I would I'd recommend using the app or the web to avoid the queues on the phone lines. It is very, very busy. And you can see why jadeite, brand new, master carvings, big carrot weights, ice grade, and under a hundred pounds. Unbelievable! It truly is. I, it's just, I, I, I've never seen anything like this quality no. before. It is that translucency, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that surface luster. So this is old jadeite. Yeah, old jadeite. And I don't want anyone to. I used to think as well when we talked about old mine jadeite that it came out of the ground. You know, oh, in the 60s, in the 1920s, okay, in the 18th yeah, yeah. century. That's not the case. There is two distinct f forms of jadeite. And there is the older jadeite, which has been crystallizing longer. And then there's what they called the younger jadeite. They're both jadeite gemologically, but, and the, you know, chemically. But the reality is the older jadeite has a better crystal structure. It has a better... That's um, why they call it old jadeite. Yeah. Right. Okay, nothing to no, nothing to do with the you know when it actually physically was mined. Came, came from the yeah. ground itself. Uh, multi buying, a lot of multi buying going on. Yeah. I don't blame you. We are in double figures oh, for this. Absolutely beautiful, good fortune. Incredible piece. I mean, it's good fortune right now, and especially yeah. when you made that statement. Did you mean that statement for this? Not 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 for all of them. All of them. Anything available that is coming up is going to be under a hundred pounds. And I want you to know that, that makes no sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> It, it, I, I get that, it really doesn't. But when we see you guys trusting us, when we see so, so many of our you know, collectors yeah, joining absolutely. us on the phone line so early, I, want, I think it's only fair to let you know, mm -hmm. you know what, what you're going to be spending. Um, we're super over allocated on that one. Well done, everybody. It's absolutely beautiful. So now yeah. we're going to bring you the happiness one. So we've just done the good fortune. Now you're going to get the, the one above it, this happiness uh, carving. Um, for, well, you already know the price. Which one? The, the top one there. The happiness? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> I love the colours within this one too. You're very, oh, very well amazing. saturated. Can I use your... This is bicoloured jade. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, I have messed up here. We should have priced this at a different price point. Happiness and long life. Yeah. 
Um, 30 second clock before we bring this one live. I want to let everyone know, I will honor what I said, but this should be the most expensive piece of today. Is this so? Maybe other than the old Met. Is this floating flower, Dave? This, yeah, this is floating flower. You can see why it gets that name. So it's a bicolor. And you get, it, floating flower is when you get threads of the deeper saturated green through ice jadeite. Other than that, it'd be moss and snow. So this is, you know, that incredible material. It's so beautiful, this one. Yeah. So happiness uh -uh. and long life. Wow. What a gift that would be. Yeah, amazing. I love this one. Just this be one as I'm, fast as you can. I've said where I'm going. One of my favorites. Yeah, I can <coughs> I really see like why. This one. You know, I think for those of us that collect jadeite, sometimes we want those different yeah. uh, 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 types, those different varieties. And this is one of the most coveted in the Far East because it's so difficult to find. Well, it's a conversation starter, isn't mm -hmm. it? Straight away, if you're wearing this, people are going to go, oh, okay, that's This is different, yeah, absolutely. That's different. Oh, it's, it means happiness, it means mm -hmm. long, uh, long life. It's type A jadeite. It's also got the floating flower. I mean, imagine that. Plus, we all know where this is going to. Yeah, that's the crazy thing. In fact, let's give everyone a minute clock. Good, we'll give everyone a, a minute clock on this one because there's no point going to 499, 799, no. 299. I've said it. I said I'm wrong as well. I shouldn't be doing this, but I am going to honor it. So should this have been more because of the colors? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because of the variety of the jade. We're talking about, oh God, there's so many of you already got it. Well uh -huh. done, thank you. Uh, this is why I wanted to let the cat out the bag to let everyone know what I was about to do, but I forgot that we're dealing with uh, a very different type of jade. By the way, we didn't just come to where we're 16. There was 50 of these as well. There's 15 left. Because you all know what we're about to do. Yeah. Swansea's got two, Surrey's got two, Somerset's got two. Um, you know, a lot of you are, are taking the chance to multiply while you've got the opportunity, while you can get through on the phone lines. This is going to sell out, maybe even before we call the price. Yeah, possibly. That, yeah, because there's rows and rows and rows. I love it too. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's different as well. It's so Very different, different yeah. to what we've actually seen before in our Type A mm -hmm. carvings. Yes. It's like a script, isn't it? Yeah. A message. Yeah. Well, it is, isn't it? You know, a lot of happiness and long life. Okay, £99. We are going to honour it. There's only eight left now. We started with 50. Apologies if you do miss out. I just love the fact that, Dave, we, you know, we know the, the entire story. Yeah. You know, I think we, that's we, we, so unique. Mm -hmm. I, I, I completely agree, you know, and I think the one thing about jadeite, understanding jadeite, is you know, the reason we go to the lengths that we do um, to, to find out what these symbolisms mean mm -hmm. is because it helps you appreciate your jadeite. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, once you understand where it's come from, you know, we know about the pixu, we know about the dragon, yeah. we know about the, the, the phoenix or the feng hang, and we know about these, these kind of sentiments that are carved in there, poetry and jadeite. Double-sided as well. Oh, so yeah. It's carved front and reverse. And the, the bale hole as well, the drill yeah. hole. At the base there. Oh, yes, I'm holding That's it. There okay. you go. Um, amazing. Yeah, just here. So you can literally thread it directly on. Down to the final four. You said it was going to be a sellout. This is the penultimate piece. Yeah. There is a really special piece coming up in a moment's time as well, which will be the final piece. Um, it's a floral carving um, in the center, like a, a lotus flower. Um, and it is brand new again. It's a big, big carrot weight and it is ice grade jade. Amazing. Well done and very good luck. We're super over allocated on this one. You can see why I love it too. This has got to be one of my favourites. Yeah. It's just interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. so those lovely curves and sways and scrolls. Yeah. It is difficult to pencil something like that, let alone carve. Yeah, absolutely. Things. Okay, one left. Make sure you're the lucky collector. And you know it's done well by the fact that you can say, okay, what does that mean, Susie? Exactly. Oh, yeah. it means this. Yeah. It, it is amazing. straight away. Yeah, because it's, you know, as clear as anything. Yeah. Because of how meticulous these carvings are. Next piece, final piece. I've already told you. So be as fast as you can. <coughs> Very different to anything we've seen <gasps> this morning. Oh, this is stunning. Oh, you've got the... Um, yeah. You've got the money pots. Yeah. So we're going to do a 30 second clock before we even open up the graphics for this piece because you already know where the price is going to be. You already know the, the, the incredible deal you're about to get on this. Yes. So floating flower. And, you know, all the detail here. Look at the green. Look how vibrant the green is. The carving, again, front and reverse. All the way. Are we sure this should be? Well, no, never mind that. Dave said it, hasn't he? Oh, my goodness me. 
Circle of Heaven, Lotus Flower, and I'm seeing the vases, which are very auspicious, aren't they? Huge meaning um, within vases and child. Look at the detailing on this. Wow, Dave. Yep. Absolutely amazing. So again, this is you know all about good fortunes and prosperity. Yeah, because essentially, look at everything. This is essentially the story of um, the 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 dragon and the pearl in many ways. You know, yeah. The pearl of prosperity when when they put it in the rice sack. Yes. And you know it, it oh, just gives wow. you you know endless amounts. You can see all of this incredible. Uh, uh, well, foliage growing out of these pots, like it doesn't stop, it comes it full grass, circle. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. All of a sudden became really lush and abundant. So it is wow. you know, the, the story of abundance. It's this is beautiful. Look at the phone lines. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, 30 second clock, please, Adam. Um, the final piece <laughs> for you today. Nottinghamshire, Somerset, West Midlands. You know what we're good doing. You know what we're going to do. I've never seen a carving like this. You've got the circle of heaven in the centre as well. Yeah. You've got the, the message of abundance. You know? you know, may all your dreams come true. May all your fortunes come true. Love and that. The, the floral detailing as Love well. That. So much meaning wrapped up in this sensational piece. This 1,000%, says producer Ross, yeah. should not be going under £100. Nope. However, this is the finale one. We promised it. People already bought it on the basis of what I said, so we're going to do it at £99. You said it. Um, we did. You said it. We did. Is, there, is, there, is there lots of these then, maybe? No, only 50. I wish I had <laughs> two, 300, because I don't want to let anyone that down. That ship has sailed, hasn't Yes, it? absolutely. It's gone. Gone of those days. So this is the opportunity, the final carving that we've got for you. We have taken it to £99. It is brand new. I love everything spilling out of these yeah, beautiful... Yeah, I love that too. And at the top, they almost look... You, you know the story of the dragon, but I almost imagine him breathing fire at the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see yeah, those kind yeah, of smoky yeah. kind of scrolls. I, I just think there's so much meaning in this. The more you look at it, the more you're going to get out of it. Yeah. Um, again, the, the, the high degree of crystallisation evident in that central circle of heaven as well, yeah. the, the peripheral kind of flower is, is carved into Amazing. It. And it is front and reverse. I mean, All they could carved quite from a single piece gone, as well. Could have gone, oh yeah, I've done there. Yeah, exactly, for sure. Side. Yeah. How many artists go, I'll pick the same on the reverse. Yeah. Just in case somebody's looking at it that way around. And, and this is the, the level of detail that these teams go to. £99, £24.75. Oh, Susan? yes. Here we go, I'll flip them over, no problem. One. Look at that transparency. Wow. Amazing, aren't they? Here we go. All right, let's do a minute clock to close this one out. We can't take any more off the price. If, if you're with it in your basket, it's time to check out on this piece. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, 150, wow. there's the drill hole at the top there. 115 carats of type A ice jadeite. Good luck, folks. It's amazing, isn't it? Just that, like you said, this... You can almost imagine bamboo shoots mm -hmm. or something like that coming out of the top oh, of the vase yeah. itself. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. And again, that conversation starter where people can kind of go, um, you know, I love you, I love your jade, uh, I love your jade necklace, even if they recognize that it is that, and you can teach them about the floating flower, the different colours, but Absolutely. the meaning in the in the actual artistry. Mm -hmm. Good luck, everyone. Down to the final 17 seconds. I can't believe we took it as low as we did, Dave. £24.75 on split payment. It's a takeaway. Yeah. Um, eight seconds, and this will be gone. You won't see us again. There's five chances remaining and five seconds to do it. If, if this is the piece you're falling in love with, if you're looking at this and going, how is that £99? Just you, you take us up on it. Now, Ross, I want to do something crazy. Okay. We talked about the, 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 the story of the Olmec Jade Boulder at the very start. We've brought you uh, the Burmese material since. Oh, hang on. But I Ross, told you... Ross, is say, Ross is saying, stop, Dave, get him off. No, 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 no. I want to do something crazy. So that Olmec Jadeite that we brought to you at the very start, we still have um, some remaining. Not many. We still have some remaining. We carved that from the boulder. And I'm going to do... I'm going to do something crazy for you. We do have at least one left, right? We, we have a few of these left. It was the you imperial said, grade. Three. Yeah. There's actually 12. Right, there's 12 of these left. I'm going to... No, he says. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. Okay. I'm get, I am actually going to reduce the price on this, okay? I am. But I'm going to say to every single one of you, we can't get this material again. It was from one boulder. There is some dragons coming in in a couple of months. 
Everyone's going to pay the final load deal. So every single one of you that got involved, we have 12 left, I'm told. Um, Adam, can we make this a star buy or something? Do yeah. we have a star buy clip Although, of film? Can I just say, Ross is livid. Okay, all I'm going to say, guys, get yourself primed, get yourself ready, get the phone in your hands, get the web, everyone who's already got it, everyone who's already got this, the, the 38 of you or whatever it was that already have this, mm. money coming back in your account. Amazing. Anyone who's thinking about it, time to... Get yourself ready because this is going to be an impromptu final deal from me, a star by good luck. Okay, this is it. Uh, no fanfare, no nothing. This huge 105 carat Olmec Jadeite Taipei Imperial Grade carving. I he's am right, going okay. to reduce the price, but he is right. He's he absolutely is, he's right. Absolutely Should never right. do this, but what do we always say? You know, we're, we're, certainly when I, when I like to leave the show, I like to leave you with, you know, a massive deal. We've just done a massive deal, sold out. I know so many of us are disappointed. I hope you're ready, guys. I am, I'm, there's not even going to be a clock. I'm going to do a clock to the graphics. And this will then come live. We've, pr we've pretty much sold this out at £149 yeah. this morning, which is already half the price of where we should be, or £100 lower than where we should be. I am telling you, in 30 seconds time, this will be 99 pound. Wait, in 30 wait. seconds time, just like with the other carvings that have sold out this morning, this will be 99 pounds. How about that? We did miss in that. In 20 seconds. Good luck to any, there's only 12 available now. Anyone who's already bought this from me uh, an hour ago, you've got to do nothing, don't worry. The money that we will not be, t yeah, everyone will pay the final low deal. Um, um, that means, the wait, huge wait. Olmec, the best Olmec we've ever seen. The incredible Feng Hang, the Phoenix carving. In no particular order, Dave. Yeah. I don't know if you, you, you're cotton enough. 99 pounds. Good luck, everyone. 99 pounds. Time to call, time to do whatever you can to get these. Maker, Maker, Irene, Angela, Cody, Lorraine, Bernadette, Alexis. Multi buy if you can. We only have 12. Four split pays. This won't be live for very long at all, but this is your moment. This is your time to do it. We only came to air with 53. We, we had 12 a second ago. We don't even have 12 now. Time to check this out. Um, so that 50 carat Olmec Jadeite flower. Yeah, we sold that for 299. 299. Yeah. Three times the price. Uh, Double that carrot weight, no, so that's what, 600? Yeah. You can get, Dave, mm -hmm. all five of yes. these yeah. today for less than that. Yeah. With change. Yeah. Um, look, I don't know how many we have left. Maybe three now. Oh, but it is time. Them. Okay, apologies, apologies. But thank you, Ross, for letting me do that. Um, I that's don't your think deal. he let you. No, no. But he, <laughs> he, you know, he, he could have just, we could have just... True. Yeah, got security to drag me out, so... We went along with it. We did it. Well done to anyone who capitalized on that. If there's anything available, ch check on the web or the app because you know the price. You know the deals we've done this morning. Um, and, and well done and congratulations to every single one of you. Oh, genuinely amazing. Yeah, day. what a fun, always, incredible show. Always a privilege, thank truly. You. And thank you so much. Thank you, El. Thank you very for, much. For, for sharing um, these wonderful works of art. Congratulations, Dave. Yeah, Until congratulations. next time. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, I hope you have a wonderful show. I know you've got an amazing masterclass uh, coming up. I'll be back with you sh soon, uh, I'm sure. Saturday, I think. Saturday, yeah. Is it Saturday? And Friday, I think, as well. On Friday. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, me too. I'll be with you on the weekend. Um, but check our website, see if any of those master carvings are available. And good luck to everyone who was successful in those auctions. Ah, truly, truly wonderful. Congratulations, everyone. Coming up after the break, we have got some brand new Bronca Onyx to bring you, which I'm very excited about. So absolutely beautiful shapes, rondelles. We've got some uh, almost rice bead shapes, shapes that we haven't actually, we don't see a huge amount of. And as Dave just mentioned, a wonderful masterclass with the lovely Monica. So I'm going to make my way over there. Don't go anywhere, lovely jewelry makers. Join us after this. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. 
Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, everybody, and I'm back with the lovely Monica. Yay! Yay! <laughs> you love a bit of jade? Yes. Oh, those are so beautiful. So they? beautiful. And I love how the edges were carved as well. It wasn't yeah. just round. Yeah, kind of like lace work, yes. isn't it? Amazing. Level of artistry is just mind blowing. But it doesn't end there. As we said at 12 o'clock, we've got a masterclass coming up with your adjustable rings and gemstone setting, um, all in sterling silver. In fact, should we put them on pre order? Because they are yeah. brand new. We've got new designs. You've got kind of themes to them. So you've got the lion and the elephant. There's about 100 of each, and that gets you two rings and the two gemstones that are calibrated to go within. Um, if you've never done gem setting before, this does not exclude you because actually <laughs> it is a simple technique, isn't it? It is. I'm going to show you you don't need any special tools or anything. You, you don't need a gem setting your, your, tool. No, just your ordinary tools because I'm not a gem setter. I don't have the specialist tools mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to show you that you can do it without them. There you go. So you can shop ahead and pre-order on those and you'll really like the animals that we've got. Um, brand new. But first, between now and then, shall we bring you some clearance, close-out deals on one of our most exciting launches of 2023, was it? Or was it in 2022? 
I think it was 2022. Okay. Um, and that is Broncoronic. So let me just quickly tell you the story of this. Well, we've got lots of different cuts, lots of different shapes. We've got cabochons. We've got strands. Um, let me just tell you the story of where it began. So um, in Brazil, and you've got to remember our gem buyers travel all over the world. We've got people that approach Gemporia and jewellery makers saying, look, I've got a parcel of this. Would you be interested? You know, our founder owns mines around the world as well. So um, we are very much a go-to. And that's not me blowing um, Gemporia's trumpet. It is because they know that we will buy quantity effectively. So that's how we negotiate the deals that you've just seen, for example, with Dave. Now, um, in Brazil, new discovery it is very, very new um, in the world of Onyx. Now, Onyx is a gemstone that, yes, has got this immense history, but the majority of Onyx that's actually on the market will be treated. And I haven't got a problem with that. I don't think most people have got a problem with that. It does mean that you can get that level of beauty at a much more affordable price tag. But gemologically, natural is the more sought after. Um, but it's rare to get naturally coloured onyx. Naturally perfect coloured onyx, let's word it that way. Um, and I'm going to show you a photograph because I think it's a lovely photograph. And you can imagine in the dense Brazilian forest, almost carved into the landscape, you wow. see this uh, um, white onyx mine. And you can see... Oh almost where it's progressed as well, can't yes. you? Yes. Fascinating. And when you think about the vast diamond pits, you know, comparatively speaking, this is actually quite small. Yes. But also, yeah, those, a bit like the White Cliffs of Dover where you see the chalk, you can yes. see the white onyx wow, isn't um, actually in that landscape. And it's all totally natural. Now, um, here was that discovery. And what was really exciting about this location, it wasn't just any other onyx uh, um, mine, was that the best quality was found straight away with the purest white colour, with no blemishes of different tones. So pure white and also the most amazing translucency. Now, most onyx out there or white onyx out there will be quite opaque. And it's still lovely opaque, don't get me wrong, still very beautiful. But when you have onyx which has a, a translucency to it, it just brings on this amazing ethereal-like glow, which is super sought after. Um, and we can go to lots of luxury design. Well, I say lots, there's not a huge amount, actually. But we can go to a few of your uh, luxury designers that actually bring you natural white onyx. The first and foremost we always discuss is Bleeker and Prince, um, who you see them here being photographed or at the JCK in Las Vegas. Um, again, that's the level of jewellery that we're actually talking at, uh, about here. Um, and their pieces, uh, their pieces are quite cutting edge, quite designer. Yes. You know, very, um, not your sort of traditional like designs. Let's flick through those. Pieces like this. Um, the bubble ring. Inlaid with diamonds and, of course, 18 karat gold, all set into natural white um, white onyx, which is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, but it says there, this ring is made, is made from large natural white onyx, hand-carved in New York to a smooth round surface, then inlaid with 14 karat gold bezels and diamonds. Um, but it's very opaque. Yes. Very, very, yes. very opaque. Still beautiful, Definitely. don't get me wrong. Four figures opaque mm -hmm. i don't I, I think to actually make a piece like this in the translucent can you imagine how beautiful that would oh, be oh goodness me yeah oh, yes um i can show you a couple more of their amazing designs pieces like oh. their enchanted donut i also think they've got quirky names <laughs> uh, 1290 this is a uh, um again natural natural white onyx set with five stunning uh, natural white diamonds rubies and black diamonds all in 14 karat gold love it four figures amazing you've got some uh, their constellation necklace which I think is really lovely uh, 1780 pounds again natural white onyx you've got their cornflake earrings I love those I think they're amazing yeah. yeah I love those uh, 1350 pounds and I think they've got sapphires and diamonds within them um, but again very very opaque you know you they're not big diamonds it's not the 14 karat gold gram weight has got very little in there it's not the sapphires you're paying for the the white onyx yes 
and it's not even translucent. Yeah. Um, these are beautiful. So uh, your cocktail attire, um, they look like the citrine and diamonds. Yeah, citrine are the big rounds, and then you've got diamonds, I think, underneath. And then, of course, the bulk of it is that white onyx, natural white onyx. But that almost £7,000 price tag, oof, yeah, it's significant. What about this lovely necklace, which sold out, by the way. We can't get hold of this anymore was actually found at a very competitive establishment. All right. <laughs> 300 carats, bronca white onyx necklace. And for what we know, is a great price at 214 yeah, pounds. That is a great But price. I'm going to ask you as jewellery makers, it's a different audience to our wonderful Gemporia family. You could make that, couldn't you? Yes. You just need the ingredients to make that and the time, effectively. So if I was to bring you the strands, and you had the spacer beads earlier on, the bead caps maybe yeah. that we brought you as your early bird would be lovely with your bronchoronyx. You could make your own one-of-a-kind bronchoronyx piece of jewellery. You just need the perfect ingredients. Now, we can bring you more bronchoronyx, and we will. But what we can't bring you moving forward is the translucent we can bring you the opaque variety. Mm -hmm. uh, Ross says, look, I've just found a jeweler. That might be one of our customers, you know. A couple of pieces that we've found may well be one of our customers. And if it is, Could it's actually really difficult to find white onyx, natural white onyx. Because we sell those earrings. Yeah, things, or we've and we sell before. those pearls. Yeah. So I think this might well be one of our customers. Um, and you know what? You're not wrong. Please know, please know you are pricing this right. 100% right. We're the ones pricing it wrong. So we just want to admire your jewellery, basically, if that's okay. <laughs> um, but we found it's hard to get to see any pieces of jewellery, um, any pieces of jewellery in natural white onyx, because it's really difficult to get hold of. Unless you want to go to somewhere like Tiffany's & Co., where who knows what the price is going to be there. Astronomically expensive, I should imagine. Um, but uh, yeah, to actually find natural white onyx um, in jewellery, it comes with a fairly significant price tag ordinarily. Now, if this is your jewellery, then message in, because we are crediting you here. We're basically saying, oh my goodness, look at this, amazing jewellery, priced perfectly, very affordably in actual fact, um, for the level of the quality. So we're giving you that recognition. Teamed alongside, well, a mixture of gems, actually. So we've got a few of your pieces. First one, white onyx, large, natural, purple, baroque, fireball, pearl earrings in rose gold. Look at how beautiful they are. Pearls, isn't it? Looks unbelievable. Wow. Absolutely unbelievable. And they say luxe, uh, luxe earrings with rare, unusual, natural, untreated gemstones, white bronchoronics, and purple baroque fireballs. These are amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. And I think that's a fair price, don't you? Absolutely. absolutely. I think that's an amazing yeah. price at uh, £198. Um, next one, teamed alongside Jadeite. Oh, oh, the high goo in the centre. Wow. That's beautiful. Oh, what a clever way to use the high goos as well. Love that idea. Yeah. So using the high goo, £60. Ross thinks you could uh, increase that price point. I think so. I think so too, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, again, lovely. White onyx, Trilogy oh. diamonds, pendant necklace, um, £150. That's absolutely amazing. Loving each and every single one of these. Um, ah, Yes. Black tourmaline and um, white onyx beaded bracelet in gold, eighty pounds, and it's uh, do you know perfection, absolutely gorgeous. Natural, untreated black tourmaline and white bronchoronyx gemstones, alternated with real twenty-four karat gold Mayuki glass sea beads, amazing. Um, love the, I love it. I absolutely love it, and I do genuinely think you've priced that. You could probably ask more, but, you know, we don't want to just sort of sit there. You don't want to sell them. So amazing. Now, let me explain to you why we're doing closeout deals. On the gemstone, we've said, look, we can get more and we are getting more. But what we can't get is the translucent variety. Um, but we do need to bring our stock levels down. Every so often we have like um, our warehouse manager who goes into a bit of a hissy fit. 
Um, we have the MD also has a little bit of a hissy fit. Wayne, stop buying so much, amazing. And we asked to look at the gemstones, the different stock levels. And at the moment we've highlighted that maybe our Broncoronic stock levels are just a little bit too high. So how does that benefit you guys at home? We'll do close out deals basically and we just reduce it all in one show. So it's that simple. So expect to be bombarded with unbeatable deals on Broncoronix today. Let me show you how, just how unbeatable, um, how unbeatable we mean. Right, I'm gonna start with, and I'm gonna need a white piece of paper. They do come cased like this as well. Um, can you see that there? Put the white piece of paper behind so you can see how perfectly pure. Oh, sorry, like a two, that's this one. There you go. Oh, 14.99 for two pure translucent Broncoronix. You've got the measurements there as well, 16 by 12 millimeters. Um, and 15 carats, that's seven and, a half, uh, seven and a half carats just over. Wow, you can make amazing rings with those, oh, can't you? Would. When you Got think back earrings. to those earrings on Bleaker and Prince. Yes. Well, it was like one teardrop effectively, and then they had those sort of citrine and diamonds in between, yes. that were like, what, almost 7,000 pounds. We're at 15 pounds. I know there's additional gemstones, but my point is the bulk of it was in, uh, um, was in the uh, um, Broncoronics. Close out deals, never been seen before deals. Lovely jewelry makers on your beautiful, hauntingly beautiful, natural Broncoronix. Good luck, everyone. It's just, it has this ability, if I just put that down for a second, to just pool light, can you see? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It really is. Even if you haven't got a Scooby-Doo clue, what are you going to do with them as of yet? As you were saying earlier, it's quite ethereal, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Mm. You know, all the reasons, many of the reasons I'm not comparing the two, but you know, like we talk about angelite in that same yes. kind of way. Jadeite, actually, in that same kind of way. Yeah, and selenite as well. Selenite, selenite yeah. absolutely. It has that, yeah, I don't know, heavenly appearance yes. to it. Close out deals, folks. Oh. <laughs> it's £2.50 oh, no, £2. £2. Per, per You know, and we've shown you the photograph directly from the mine itself in Brazil. It was only launched last year, so we're not trying to sell out of our Broncoronics. We just need to reduce the stock levels ever so slightly. And here we are bringing it to you at £2.50. When we first wow. launched Broncoronics, it was nowhere near any, this price point. If you do gemstone setting, fantastic. If you don't, CB bezel, all of those, Absolutely. shibori silk. I'm going to leave it with you because it's going to be quite fast and pricey. Um, okay, let's do the pack of three ovals that I showed you a few moments ago. Again, it comes displayed like so. I was just going to ask, does it come with the box? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yep. Um, now, what we're actually going to take these two, we're already at 9.99, Ross. It's actually too low for the box. Never mind the gemstones <laughs> yeah. that are in the box. You know, if you buy a piece of jewellery from a um, from a high street, oh my gosh! <laughs> or you want to buy a jewellery box from the high street, it's going to cost you more than a tenner. It's definitely going to cost you. Well, I would imagine it would anyway, depending on where you're shopping. I suppose two ninety nine. That's a pound per Broncoronix and the box as well. Um, yeah, Ross has just said it's not really worth the airtime, so we're going to have to work quite quickly on these clearance deals, though close out deals on your beautiful, magical, ethereal, heavenly, natural Broncoronix. Make sure you're checking out those baskets, though, folks. Have we got quantity of these, then? We've got quantity, so, yeah, if you want to multiply, absolutely do. We've got no restrictions on the amount that you buy. If you want to buy them and sell them on without even doing anything to them, why not? Absolutely. Um, amazing. Congratulations. I do have another pair, so maybe you're thinking about beautiful earrings. Mm, yes. They are huge. Lovely shape, these. I know they're an oval, but you'll see where I'm coming from. They're really... To me, they look, look a bit more elongated. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's a little bit, yeah. <sighs> like little eggs, says Ross. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Two ninety nine. Oh. We've got strands. We've got lots of different shapes to bring you as well. But two pounds and ninety nine pence only. I mean, if you seed bead bezel these with a size fifteen seed beads, and then you hang them as a drop earring, you you you'll see the light shining through. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. They can, like selenite does. You yes. know, you can actually yes. see. 
Um, selenite, you kind of get these silvery, because it forms in layers. But white onyx, natural white onyx, should look more opaque, or, or rather, usually is more opaque. It's so sought after when it has this level of translucency. Um, goodness me, that's a pound per item, isn't it? Let's say it as it is. It's a pound per cabochon and a pound for the case. <laughs> Crazy. When we brought, when we sold these cases, I'm fairly sure they were more than I don't know. I can't remember. Well done. Um, I have got a pack of four. Yes, I've done that one. Now that one. Sorry. Let me get this little light, little guy in line. Come on. Shall we cause a frenzy on the phone line, Monica? Do you fancy? Oh yes. And that's, Ross says I mean melt. That's two pairs of earrings right there. Then. They're, we're not making. This is zero profit in this. It is all about clearing the locations. We need to reduce the amount of Bronchronix that we have currently within our vault. But this has given you an opportunity, you an opportunity to get Bronchronix into your collection. Look, look how are the other cabochons reflecting in the bottom. I was just looking at that, yeah. Pardon, say that again. This is the most ashamed he's ever been at work, <laughs> says Ross. One night did I, oh, okay. outside, outside of work, not so much, but inside of work, this is the most ashamed producer Ross has ever been. I, I, Ross. Look at that, though, seriously. I think One you, night I, night. I, Ross. It really is buy the box and get the gemstones for free. Totally, <laughs> but, but I don't know if Ross knows this. There are, there are the, the, the big, big, big dogs in the building today. Mm. I've seen, I've seen... <laughs> I've seen the big, big dogs. Well, let, let's move on, shall we then? <laughs> Ross. <laughs> Ross. There's the big, big dogs in today. He ain't scared. Oh, dear. He says, I'm, I ain't scared. Well, you said you were ashamed. I'm ashamed, but not scared. <laughs> Amazing. One ninety nine. Exactly. You couldn't get a little paper box. Yeah. And it certainly wouldn't have the rare gemstones in, inside. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Ooh, where are they? Donuts. A single... I don't have that. No. A donut. Oh, I love oh, it. A high goo, effectively. It's a high goo. Taipei J... Yeah. Uh, sorry, I see. Habit. Um, Bronca Onyx, hi Goo, thank you, Lauren. Um, look at this translucency. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't oh. it? We're at forty-five ninety-nine, and that's absolutely amazing. Forget that though. Hang on, you know what I've got to do. One sec. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Imagine. Wow. But isn't it amazing how you can go very high end with this and make something like that? Oh, you can put it on a piece of leather cord and make uh, men's jewellery for yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. £14.99, says wow. uh, Roscoe, for natural bronchoronics, full of translucency. You know, th it fascinates me, especially when you see like the, the, the actual mining location, that something that has formed within the ground yeah. over however many thousands upon thousands of years, you know, under oh. underground yeah. can it's come up amazing. so pure and clean in oh. its in in its colour and clarity. It fascinates me. You know, my little two year old can't set foot outside and comes back in rubby. <laughs> Yet this gemstone over thousands of years has let has maintained that level of purity. I just find it amazing. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. So the instruction is from the powers that be: we need to reduce our stock levels on our Bronchoronix, which means that today you are getting some of the most unbelievable, amazing, amazing deals. I just think it's crying out to have a gemstone set in the middle, don't you? Yes, it's beautiful. If you have that ability, or a round, you could just drop a little round in there. That would yeah. work too. I'll leave that with you. Well done. They can be quite fast and pricey auctions. Fast and pricey. Uh, moving on to the four millimetre faceted rounds. This is stunning, this oh, Isn't that beautiful? Is there quantity of these, Roscoe? Oh, okay. There's 27. Mm. Be quick on this one. It's stunning. Absolutely oh. stunning. Imagine a tassel out of this. It's got a proper glow from inside, doesn't yeah. it? How about the lowest price it's ever been to? I'm going to show you on screen. Up until today, lowest price this strand has ever been to was twenty nine ninety nine, which yeah, is seems very reasonable. Yeah. It's natural bronchoronics. 
Yeah. I'm happy. Or Ross, to quote you, I am happy pappy. <laughs> For the final 27 that we have within the vault, we're going to get a brand new low. It is a lovely strand. I think tassels, spacers. Um, I think you could do that kind of oh weave bracelet that Debbie Kershaw's created. Nine ninety nine. <sighs> yeah, you need to be quick, though. Speedy Gonzalez, quick. Nicolette, Chantal, Gillian, Susan, Julia, Maker, Helen, James. Uh, Gillian, Nikki, hello to you, Kent. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. We love a four mil, don't we? Absolutely, absolutely. And then if, you, if you've got a few of the shapes, oh, you can make some amazing jewellery with that. Oh, there's some lovely shapes. Rice beads in two different sizes. Faceted rounds in a larger size. We've got rondelles. Oh, there's lots of lovely shapes. Oh. Yeah, mix them all together. Close out deals. If ever there was an opportunity for you to purchase Broncoronix, the most affordable price tag, it's happening right now. Right now. Well done, Lorna, Cheshire, Susan, Kaz, Lisa, Julia. Hello to you, Maker. Uh, Margo, hello to you, lovely. Tracy and Patricia and Candy and Amanda. Lovely to be with you all this morning. I hope you're all well. Love it. I love it in, this, in the same way. That it, I have the same fondness to your bronchronics that I do to your, to your pills. I just think they've got that lovely gentleness. Um, Shall we stick with the faceted rounds and maybe bring your faceted eight millimeters? Just see where I'm coming from. Yes. Oh, look at that. We did just do something absolutely ridiculous on the four millimeters. Shall we do something ridiculous on the last 20 faceted eight mils? Okay. I would definitely be using your early bird caps with this bundle. Oh, absolutely. Look how beautiful it is with the silver. <gasps> Ross, 19.99. So I know that one that we showed on Gemporia, that lovely necklace that sold out. And I know they're not faceted rounds, but... Um, and I know it's a big carrot weight, potentially double the carrot weight, but that was 200 and something, is that right? 214 pounds. So let's just say you buy two of these. So yes. you've got an equivalent carrot weight. You could make that necklace. Absolutely. At, for 40 pounds. <laughs> yeah. I mean, absolutely you still amazing. Have, you still have enough left over for a bracelet and a pair of earrings yeah, as well. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Wow. And it's on split payment, Ross. That just shows we've gone too low, but we are under instruction here. Clear, reduce the quantity of our Bronchronics. Not sell it out. You know, we want to bring more to you effectively, or I don't know, they're managing stock levels of diff various different gemstones, whichever it might be. We follow the rule. We, we, we follow instruction today. Um, well done. If you want to stick with the faceted, I've also got the six mil, so maybe you're looking at that perfect graduation. So that means I can bring you faceted eight mil. Faceted six mil. Yes, I definitely get those three. Yeah, me too. Absolutely. What would you do with yours? Well, I'm thinking. Faceted four. I'll, I'll put it sort of the eight millimeter in the middle, and then the six millimeter, and then the four millimeter, <coughs> and then maybe around the eight millimeter, I'll put some of the bead caps. Lovely. Oh, and then yeah. some spaces in between each of those sections. Oh, beautiful. Look at look again. Look how pure, and it's oh. all totally natural. Now we have never done. The faceted six millimeters any lower than 40 pounds wow what <laughs> never been any lower than 40 pounds and today we've just taken it to 14.99 goodness me like we said it's never been a better opportunity for you to get hold of your broncoronic six mils like the it's the, it's the holy grail isn't it in terms of size of your round absolutely it's yep. the most sought after and i guess that's because it transitions doesn't it you it can does wear, it, it does. I mean, it, you can wear it as a bracelet, as a necklace. It's just, it's just an, an, an all-rounder, really, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It works on everything. And yeah. lots of different techniques as well. Did we have quantity of these? Because that price drop is huge. Um, we had 22. Well done to you, Michelle, Nicolette, Linda, Valerie, Gillian, Candy, Suzanne, Kent, Karen. Hello to you, Chantal, Anne, Erica. Keep on dialing through, everyone. I also have 12 millimetres in your faceted rounds and also two. Oh. So I can literally lay them all out. Gosh, Amazing. I'd have, to, I'd have to get the whole lot. <laughs> yeah, actually. I think so too. So should we do? Should we do that just for kicks? So here's the twelve. Is that right? Ten. Let's bring the. So basically, eight back. we've got two, three, four, six, eight, and ten. Yeah, we've got all the sizes. Oh. Especially if, you, if you're a beginner, you get all those sizes. It's so easy to make interesting jewellery. 
just because you have the different sizes. Yeah. And normally, you'd be lucky to see all of these in one show. Oh, yeah. So we're going to bring you the 12, sorry, 10, which is this one just here, the larger size. Something ridiculous, actually. We're going to match the, the price point of the 8 mils, which, I don't, again, there's no logic in this. Doesn't make any sense. We never said it was going to make any sense, but we need to uh, we need to reduce the stock levels um, within our vault. One bead on those lovely earrings that we found with some love, uh, some beautiful fireball pearls. One hundred ninety-eight pounds using two of your Brancaronics. Wow. And you've still got Perfect. the two millimeter there as well. Still got end. oh yeah yeah yeah. I've still got another yeah. strand. Wow 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 wow! Please make sure that you are checking out oh, to get hold of the whole parcel oh, of your faceted okay. rounds. It's a rare opportunity. Um, right now we're talking about the twelve millimeters and the fact that the fact that they're on split pay. Sorry, ten millimeters. I beg your pardon. Um, the fact that they're on split payments hi highlights the fact that we shouldn't be going as low as we uh, as we are. That's meant to be for us above fifty pounds, isn't it? Split payments. God. <laughs> yeah. Not nineteen ninety nine. I'm adding up in my head how much all of that in your hand uh, would be. I'm, I'm waiting for the last two prices. <laughs> uh, well, Roscoe, I'm sure, can keep a tally of it. Shall we do the three mils now? So you brought make, that one. You could make a lot mil. of jewellery from all of that. Brought the four yeah. mil. Completely sold out the four mils. Now the three. Now, we've never taken this strand any lower than £20. It's so pretty. I love this strand. So pretty. Never been lower than twenty pounds. Wow. Nine ninety nine for you today. Look at that. It's angelic, isn't it? I can almost imagine. You know, like if you saw, um, if you go into like a bridal boutique, you know, they sew Swarovski crystals, don't they, onto yes. veils and bodices of wedding oh, gowns. Nice. Whereas this, Good oh. Me. Give me Bronca Imagine White that. Onyx Imagine actually that. sewn onto a wedding gown genuine over gemstones. a genuine gemstone. <laughs> a genuine wedding gown, wow. Especially for a winter wedding, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes. And then a, a, a nice long necklace with a tassel at the oh, bottom. Oh, beautiful, absolutely oh, beautiful. beautiful. You know, beady beads, you could do the techniques. Hang on, at this price point, I, I always forget, what's the bracelet that Debbie Kershaw created on the back of that of that rose quartz yeah. bracelet? You know the one with I'm the on tassel. about, don't you? Yep. With the tassel. This, if you multi-bought, you could recreate that beautiful bracelet. Absolutely. We're not even stopping here. Look, we said reduce, we've been told reduce the lines. We need to bring down the quantity that we actually oh. have, the stock quantity that we have. We've got Broncoronix available. I'm not running out of it. We're not, you know, and we're not stopping buying it or anything like that. But we need to reduce the stock quantity within the uh, within uh, um, the web. It might just be that we haven't done enough showcases of it. Um, so we're, it's, that's going to change after today, of course. Seven ninety nine, um, and I'm no expert, but I think if you wanted to create that heavily beaded, you'd probably need, I don't know, about three or four of these. Yes, I would say so. Probably. Yeah. Well done. If you want to get hold of the ten, the eight, the six, they're still available. The four's completely sold out. I'm on the three, and then we're bringing you the two millimeters. Hello, Nicolette, Patricia, Anne, Gloria, uh, Gillian, Leslie, Lorna, Jean. Lots of you there. Um, let's bring you the two mils now. Getting silly, says Ross. I've done it. Are you still ashamed? <laughs> Hang your head down, Ross. <laughs> oh, now I just want to give you a cuddle. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay, Ross. You're only following instruction. <laughs> you're doing as you were told, really. But you're right, six ninety nine for a Broncoronix. Wow. But, you know, from that mine that we showed you, look at that. They're all kind of bunched wow. together. Look how beautiful that is. What other gemstone do you know would create that look? That haunting white. Yes. It's beautiful. It should be called Ghost oh, yeah, Onyx. That would, be, that, that would be spot on, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's got that slightly bluish. Yes. It's almost like a... Like a white smoke. Yes. Doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. Do you remember the fact, right, I can't believe I'm about to say this on la out loud, but bear with me. In fact, I know that it's going to be one of those statements that if any of the powers that be that are watching, they'd be rolling their eyes, but I'm going to go with it anyway. You know, <laughs> show me age two. You know Ghostbusters? Mm -hmm. you, know the, you know Ghostbusters when you see that, um, 
<laughs> no, not not slime. You know, <laughs> you know the white little girl ghost. Yeah. She's really pretty, and then she goes a bit scary, doesn't she? But at the beginning, when she's really pretty, but it's that haunting white colour, yes. isn't it? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I told you it was a bit weird. Let's do the what? Drops. Oh, the big drop. <laughs> I appreciate that was not probably my best finest moment. Sorry. <laughs> not my finest moment. We'll just edit that bit out, okay? <laughs> just edit that bit out. Um, <laughs> thank you, saved by producer Russ. Um, what is white onyx stone good for? Well, white onyx has properties for making one's mind positive. Um, it will purify negative energy, will clear sadness or anxiety. This stone is beneficial for releasing any types of fear or worries. White onyx has solid energy inside. So it is said, uh, uh, sorry, it has been believed that it can increase the owner's stamina. Amazing. Oh, it's always nice to know the metaphysical interest yes. in this. Whether you go with it or whether you don't. And they are beliefs, aren't they, essentially? Absolutely. But it's always nice to read about it. I definitely can see the negative, you know, dispelling um, or purifying negative energies. I can see that about it because it has this really lovely... It is angelic, isn't it? In the same way that we look at angel light and straight away we think about the heavens above. Yeah. Love this drop. It is half drilled, so you could use all of your peg bales with these. Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And you can use one of your peg bales, but also put a bead cap on top. Bead cap? Oh, that, 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 that right there. And your, your peg bale will still work. It'll just go through the bead cap as well. Shall I try and do it? Yeah. Come on. I like to put myself on the spot like this, <laughs> Monica, considering I'm not a designer. There you go. Come on, do as you're told now. Oh. And the fact I'm doing it with tweezers that don't open far enough. Right, one sec. I need a head pin, don't I? Um, Can I? There we are. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Adam has just said, Ross has just said, are you going to do anything over the next couple of days? I'll probably be here trying to watch Elle put this big cap on the drop. Oh yeah, God. sorry. Um, not, don't use your tweezers. Make sure you use some proper tools. But yeah, that's a great idea, Monica, that, before I sabotaged it. Um, there you go. It's not the wrong you. colour, but still. We get the idea. <laughs> we can we can visualise it, can't we? So yeah, there we are, Adam. <laughs> 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 oh, but look how beautiful. Yeah, but is. you get the idea. Oh. They do create that really beautiful bale. Oh, look at that. See? Who there? Adam. <laughs> um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Oh. Moving on. Now, we do have the 12 mils in faceted. Yeah, we do. There's your head pin back. Thank you. Oh. Um, they're massive. I've been knocking those. Oh, wow. Those. That for me. That's the necklace. So wait a minute, this is like the necklace that was sold on Gemporia then, wasn't it? It's slightly bigger in terms of its carrot weight, but that theirs was, you know, all about the rounds, wasn't it? Wasn't it? So um, if you were, if you love the Gemporia Broncoronyx necklace that just had some simple rondelles, I think, dotted in between, yes. Um, mm -hmm. Then this is uh, um, this is the perfect strand for you. Close out deals, though, we've been told to reduce the quantity of our bron the stock levels, basically, of our Broncoronyx within our vault. So you're getting some of the best savings. £99 for one of the big... It is the biggest carrot weight, isn't it, that I've brought you thus far? By a long, by a long, a long stretch. So, um, again, rounds we know are still one of the most popular, if not the most popular. We've brought you the 10. Sorry, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2. Yep. All in faceted rounds. Now, we launched the faceted 12 millimetres at £99. Amazing. That bluish ethereal glow, believed to dispel fears and worries, sadness and anxiety. Oh, we launched it at £99. <laughs> You've taken £75 off that price tag, Ross. I know, I know that you are reducing the stock levels of Broncoronics, but you've just taken 70. So from what, from the one that you could buy on the launch, you can now get four. There are only 30 of them though. Um, and it's still on split payments. You know it's so, categorically wrong. What was it? What was the launch price of this? Was it 99? 99. So for that price for the 99 pounds, 
add on another five pounds and you can get all of the strands we just had. Have you been adding these I up? I have, and it comes to less than 105 pounds for all of the strands. So I can get the 12, the 10, the eight, the six, six. the four, the three, three the, two, and the two, all in faceted rounds. Yes. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> 24 pounds and 99 pence only. Make sure that you are checking out your baskets. Um, pure white, love that. You're good at maths as yeah. well, aren't you, Monica? So you buy this one and you get all the others free. An additional five, <laughs> that's not too five. bad. Yeah, yeah you get all the, the whole selection, the mm. entire selection. Well done, everyone. Keep on checking out those baskets. We've got a few different shapes to bring you. Wow. I love it. I love that you know, I always get some a, a bit of Chanel vibes about this. Absolutely. Team it, a bit like we saw on those uh, lovely pieces of jewellery that we were admiring, you know, alongside something like your black tourmaline oh, or yes. your spinels yes. or your pearls. You can go a completely opposite direction. Um, £75 off that price tag. Amazing. Um, OK. Oh, and there they all are. Should we just see them all together? Because they do look lovely. Look. All that for the price of the one strand. I know I haven't displayed them. And an extra fibre. <laughs> all of those. Wow. Sorry, Adam, but I just kind of scooped them all up. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, tubes. Tubes. Ah, beautiful columns, aren't they? Look at that. If you love your linear designs, kind of like Heshies, a little bit like Heshies, but a little bit longer. Now, these are brand new. They've never been on your screen. So why are we reducing oh. something that's brand new? OK, it does mean that we're in charge of the price tag. We can dictate where they go. Have we got quantity then? 50. I'm, and I'm trying to cast my mind back to when we launched your uh, Bronca Onyx. I don't remember having cuts and shapes like this. Yeah. Um, even though with that sort of elongated, narrower, because obviously they'll be much more slender than around, um, narrower and cylindrical uh, shape, again, look, it really allows us to appreciate the translucency of your Bronca Onyx. Again, we can bring you more white Onyx, we can, but what we will struggle to bring you is this level of almost um, um, complete transparency where you can see right the way into the heart of the gemstone. Wow, we're at 29.99. There's only 50 of these available. They're premieres. Um, and there's a clock ticking, which tells me that yeah, we've had authority, we've had permission. Let's reduce the stock quantities of our Bronchoronics. Maybe they weren't saying that with our brand new premiere items, but hey ho. Um, in 42 seconds, we're going to take it even lower. There was 50 available at the beginning. And I'm fairly sure, I'm having a moment with my, with my uh, call screens at the moment. I'm fairly sure, yeah, as expected, there's people already adding it to their baskets. Yeah. Um, tubes, does that kind of change how you look at jewellery? It does, because first of all, it works really well for men's jewellery. Yeah, great. But second of all, if you pair it with, for example, the four millimetre faceted rounds, or even the six millimetre or the three millimetre, or you can use some uh, sort of faceted round spaces, it, straight away it gives you the contrast and the shapes and the, and the, and the faceting versus the, uh, the smooth. So all you need is those two strands or with these with the spaces and straight away you've got an interesting piece of jewellery yeah absolutely even if you're a complete beginner all you have to do is thread them on well they're going to sell out at 14 pounds and 99 pence wow. yeah i love them i agree with you i think they can be um they make real statements don't they you could do th something like your morse code jewellery i think absolutely. as well with these yeah. um first time ever actually bringing your tubes well don't you wiltshire nicolette linda leslie hello to you mary sorry you've got yours uh leslie sharon kent allison hello to you Jeannie, james karen stephanie i can't keep up with you now folks um just looking across this is the only tubes that i've actually got available out of this uh, uh this showcase that i can see anyway um, and again, totally natural, first time ever to air, brand new. Well done to those of you that are stocking up. We don't see many gemstones actually in the tubular no, shape. No, we don't. So I guess it must be no. quite. It must be quite hard to actually. Um, yes. Hard to actually sort of facet, I suppose. And and if you were to put something like a fine leather through, look, you'd see oh, that, yes. wouldn't you? It'd Absolutely. Be quite yeah. nice, wouldn't it? Mm. See the colours. We had leather yesterday with Azatazza, didn't we? Uh, Patricia, well done. Paula, well done. Leslie getting four. Amazing. Kent, hello to you. Teresa and Eunice and Candy. Um, how many of us love the Bronchoronics? I look, I, the moment I saw it, 
and we've all we, we, it genuinely was one of the biggest launches of last year um, still very much one of our biggest gemstones here at, at jewelry maker and it's easy to understand why you know that translucency is just magical 14.99 a premier opportunity from the 50 that we had i don't have anywhere near that quantity now um half the stock Ah, way over in actual fact. 30 of these are gone, so leave that with you. Well done. Should we do coins? Again, I've never seen these before. Oh, they're brand oh. new, that's why. And coins, again, we don't see very often. No. The only thing I can remember having coins like this in was, was the blue angel light. Yeah, yes, that's a good point. Yeah. Yes, it was actually. This would look lovely it, with the blue angel light. I was just going to say. <laughs> if you've got one of those strands in your stash. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and they're lovely cut. You could also use things like your gallery wire, your wire Absolutely. wrapping. Absolutely. You don't have to use that drill hole, even though it's there. You don't have to actually use it. Now, we're at $39.99, premiering today for the very first time. So, clearly, it doesn't exclude um, your premiere strands. Yeah. When they say reduce the stock levels... Mm. Doesn't doesn't exclude the brand new ones that we've never seen before. We're still going to put those at a, at a clearance deal. Have I got the same quantity? Fifty, fifty available. Good luck. Even here at thirty nine ninety nine, absolutely amazing. I mean, they're big individual solitaires, especially when we make comparisons to what they are. You know, say at the JCK with Bleaker and Prince, or at Tiffany's and Co. I think we've seen with Natural White Onyx. They're not a double figure price tag, are they? Love coins. They're a little bit like an old school cut. I get quite nostalgic yes. about a coin. They remind me of Jewelry Maker back in, you know, yes. a decade ago. Not the gemstone. We didn't have the gemstone then. Well, we had gone onyx, but not bronca onyx, not white onyx. But a decade ago, we used to see coins, didn't we? Don't see it very often now. And that's probably because they're quite gem heavy, you know, carrot weight heavy. £14.99 only. Tracy, Derbyshire, hello to you, Jen. Uh, sorry, Jean, hello to you, Leslie, Mary, London, new customers getting involved. Uh, we had 40, did you say? 50. Sorry, Ross. One, at one point, I'll ask you the quantity and I'll retain the answer that you give me. You're not hopeful, sorry. <laughs> you just go, sometimes I say to you, Mel, this is a one of a kind, there's no others, and you're like, I've got a hundred. I'm not that bad, am I? That's okay, that's all right. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not that bad, oh. sorry. Um, not going fast enough, says Ross. Reduce the, reduce. We've got to reduce the Broncoronic stock levels. <laughs> so Ross says, I tell you what, I'll do something stupid. Even though this is a premiere, we do, you do have the ability, though, to control the price, don't you? But it should never be anywhere near what you're about to see. It's oh, not gosh. natural. It's not dyed. It's not bleached. It's not resin impregnated. It's not polymer. It's a natural gemstone that you've seen the mine, the photograph of the mine carved into the landscape of the, uh, sort of the, the Brazilian forest. Again, absolutely beautiful. Well done, everybody. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Um, I've got the rondelles. I've got two sizes of rondelles. I can show you them both. Eight before. The big ones. The bigger one, yeah. <gasps> Brand new. I like rondelles. Smooth rondelles in particular. Smooth rondelles rondel are probably my favourite. See, this again, these in between the tubes would be amazing. Yeah, lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Ah, uh, they've never been on your screens before, lovely jewellery makers, so do make sure you're checking out. If you love a smooth rondelle, have you noticed lots of the big designers are working with smooth rondelles? Yes, now? yes. Um, yeah, I mean, that start price is not unrealistic in certain places. Yeah. To be truthful, you can bet your bottom dollar that's not where we're stopping, though. Ross, have we got quantity? We've got a thousand, you said? <laughs> 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 no, we haven't. He didn't say that. We've got a hundred. We've got. This just me being optimistic, isn't it? 
We've got a hundred of these available, premiering today. Certified Bronca Brazilian Onyx. Um, let's do one of the biggest closeout deals, shall we? We're oh. opening this auction up at 19.99. For me, a smooth rondelle, when they're faceted to perfection like these, they create linear designs. They're a little bit heshy, absolutely, but softer. Yes, and as I say, combining it with the other shapes, especially yeah. some of the more angular shapes, it, it makes a really nice contrast. And it's a bit more interesting than just the rounds, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I also think this is great, you know, perfect for, for, for gents' jewellery as well. Absolutely. A rondelle could be a little bit more masculine if you wanted that piece. Yeah. Um, could be, but at the same time, I would wear this as well. Absolutely, yeah. Um, we're going to do something bonkers, bananas, crazy. Um, because we are following instruction. Look at the carrot weight, 170 carats of natural, beautiful, smooth bronchoronics, rondelles. Mega closeout deal. We've got 100. This could be a star buy. It could be a deal of the day. We could have been promoing this for days and days and days in advance. And had we have done that, then look, they'd probably be sold out already. Um, but Wayne said, look, I need you to do a favour. I need you to reduce some of the Bronca Onyx. It's on split pay at $19.99, for goodness sake, though. Roscoe. Split, the rule is split payment. Split payment is for £50 and above. Mm. That's the rule. Sorry, it's, it's gone up. It's actually £69.99. In quite clearly, clearly we don't always pay attention to that rule. A one-off says says Roscoe. Oh my god! <laughs> An opportunity for everybody to own Brazilian Bronca Onyx, but Roscoe, you know this. I've done quartzes at that price tag, or yeah. quartzites at that price tag, or. You know, I've done acrylic at that kind of price tag. This isn't acrylic or glass. It's natural bronchoronics. It's true. It's true. It's true. Ross is just saying it's like us bringing a strand of type A jadeite to air for under a tenner. It's just, it just should not happen because of the rarity. Onyx, you know, if you look at onyx as a whole, you can get onyx that's dyed or bleached yes. or uh, treated in some way, shape or form. That's affordable. Fantastic. That you can get for a tenner. Yeah. But this is not that variety of onyx. This is that variety of onyx that comes from the ground with this flawless, beautiful, magic, ethereal pureness. Um, and it is rare to get natural onyx. That's why you pay a price point for it. It's a what? Look at split payment. <laughs> <laughs> It's five pounds on split payment, four ninety nine. Mm. Amazing! There was a hundred. It is an opportunity, and that's the way we need to look at it today. It's a window of opportunity for you, maybe, to introduce Bronchoronics to your portfolio, to your stash for the very first time at the most affordable price tag. Amazing! Well done. And I mean, at, at these prices, it's, it's basically your stash builder, isn't it? Mm. We of, always need white gemstones. Exactly. Don't we? It's just like with the black gemstones. It's, it's the same sort of thing because you can put these with any color, and that. Yep colour is going to be reflected in them. Yep. Mm. So in the same way that we say tubes, we say cubes. <laughs> First price crash, I'm going to show you where it closed and sold on launch. 69.99, I am happy pappy. Absolutely. It's not just cubes, they are diagonally drilled cubes, which makes them almost diamonds, don't they? Yes. I love it. Ah, oh, look at that recording. That's lovely, isn't it? They almost take this bluish oh. colour. All natural. Reduce those stock levels. Oh, my goodness. Goodness me. <laughs> I, 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 I'm ecstatic at 1999. Look at the precision in those. Yeah. Perfect cubes, mathematically precise cubes, diagonally drilled, so through what is potentially the highest risk area, yeah. um, to, cre to create this lovely kind of tessellation. Monica, I, I mean, I understand that there will be people watching right now thinking, I, I don't know how I'd use those, because they are that little bit different, but this is an ideal strand to kind of push ourselves outside our comfort zone. Oh, well, 
Absolutely. But having said that, I would just restrand it and use it as it is, to be honest the with you. The design's done for you. Exactly. Yeah. Because it's so, it's so interesting in itself. I think you don't need to have a complicated... Of course, you can if you want to, but... <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah. I, yeah. I really like it just like it is. Yeah, to me honest. too. Just yeah. knot it or space yeah. feed in between. Perfect. Well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out. Now, this is clearly a brand new low at $19.99. Like I said, launched and sold at $69.99. And the only strand they have remotely like it now, drums or rice beads, right. as I've been describing yeah. them. This is such an elegant shape. This is actually one of my favourite shapes. I'm going to say it. I love the rondelles, the smooth rondelles, and I love the drums. Yes. Have we got a hundred? Can I also show you this? Oh. Sorry, Russ. <laughs> We've got a hundred of these. I tell you what. Look at where we're starting from, $24.99. Oh. I've got a hundred available. They just create these really lovely, elegant, like shapes. They could be drops, they could be earrings. I mean, the, the, rice, the rice bead shape is quite a classic shape, isn't it? Well, it's borderline um, marquise without the facets, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. So it kind of draws your eye along the necklace, which I think is really beautiful as well. And just if you just put a few of them on the end of a little bit of chain and hang, let's say, three of them on an earring, mm. that's beautiful, just like that on its own. You don't have to use a lot of them. Very Mason and Kay designs. I was just thinking this would work really well with a jadeite. Yes. Because you do quite often actually get those rice bead-like shapes, don't you? Absolutely, yeah. Um, sort of knotted with macrame, yes. something yes. like that. Some of your little, uh, little carvings. Straight away, this is brand new. It's never been on your screens before. We've got 100 available. Every single one of these are going to fly out the door today. 85 carats of your natural bronchoronyx. Good luck. Very elegant shape, this one. I love it. And you've got generous drill holes in there, too. So they would feed onto some of your thicker cords or wires. £9.99 oh. only. I know. It's amazing, oh isn't it? It is genuinely one of our, you know, well, we just, what we would describe as one of our greatest success stories of 2022, Bronchoronics. The fact that we managed to get it, the fact that we managed to bring it to you at such an amazing price point, and that was on launch. Now we're talking something that is, well, ridiculous, to be truthful. Um, we're not stopping selling Bronchoronics, by the way. It's just we need to reduce those stock levels. So literally an hour showcase like this does that. Yeah. It does that very easily just by uh, dropping the prices, cutting our losses, if you like, um, so that we can manage uh, the volume that's within uh, um, our vault. Good luck and well done, everybody. Again, make sure you're checking out those baskets, folks. Um, absolutely beautiful, magical, ethereal glow. Zero enhancement, not dying, not reconstituted, not polymer impregnated. How Mother Nature intended. And one of the few natural white gemstones out there, actually. Yes. Because you think about it, white selenite, we've spoken about that. Yes. Moonstone? Yes. It's white, but it's got a colour on it, hasn't it? So, pearls, maybe? Hmm. There's not many. Certainly the translucent ones, there, there aren't a lot of them, are there? No. No. Very, very, very few. Nine ninety nine, amazing. Congratulations, folks. And you still have so much to see between now and the top of the show. We've got a stunning masterclass. Lots of you've been shopping ahead and pre-ordering on those as well. Um, yeah, so uh, they've been available, the adjustable rings with your gemstone setting. Even if you've never done gem setting, you don't need to be an expert, um, an expert to actually achieve that. We had a hundred of these. Keep on dialing through. Amazing. Now, after the break, we've run out of time. So after the break, we've got those amazing kits. Um, so we've got pairs, different themes, if you like, within all of the kits. Also, your fabulous creations in the Wall of Fame and Monica's amazing demonstrations. So do not go any Anywhere, lovely jewelry makers Monica and I will turn after this. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. 
If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price and there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Uh, welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. I don't know where time goes. I don't know. You, you know you've had fun, don't you? Yeah. If time has flown by like that. Um, and onto your masterclass. I mean, just take yeah. a little look. I know you've got your wall of fame first, but just take a little look. That beautiful display. And Monica, you've said this. You're like, look, it, it's, it, this is simple jewellery. It is, it is. But that doesn't but make it any less, less but luxurious. It's, it's so effective. And I really love how you can wear it sort of at the, at the end of your finger. It doesn't have to be at the, at the top where you traditionally wear it. Well, they're one because size fits adjustable. all. Yeah. Adjustable rings in sterling silver, all available on pre-order right now. And they come in pairs. And you also have um, the calibrations uh, to go alongside um, the design, effectively. So you can choose your favourite, secure yours and guarantee your success. Now, the Wall of Fame starting us off this afternoon is Bronwyn. Hello to you, Bronwyn. Um, and Bronwyn says, hello to all at Jewelry Maker this week. My make is a button-shaped freshwater cultured pearl and German cut saucer spaces, uh, sorry, German cut saucer shaped lapis lazuli. That's lovely, isn't it? it? Is you were admiring that during the break. Earlier, yeah. 
I made a flat, uh, I made flat swirls with a 0.8 millimeter gold plated wire to use as spaces between some of the lapis lazuli and the clasp is made with 1.25 gold plated wire using 80C beads as spacer beads for the rest of the necklace. All components were purchased from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all in the drawer. It's beautiful That's from really beautiful. Yes. Very nice. Number 336 is from Trisha. Hello to you, Trisha. Oh. Are very pretty. Oh, very nice. um, dear jewelry maker, please find attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame a fancy Jasper nugget link bracelet. Um, I hope you'll like it. It's absolutely beautiful, as always. Trisha, I always like to see that you, she puts a little bit of uh, chain mail in there every yes. time. So it's become your signature to me, Trisha. Number 337 is from Beryl. Hello to you, Beryl. Lovely. Um, beet chips and nuggets. Ah, oh, look at the little dragon it's oh, on as well. <laughs> what do we think that gemstone is? What do we think? Like iolite? Iolite, maybe, or amethyst, possibly. Uh, let's read the message. Hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Please find attached my entry to this Wall of Fame. This necklace is made with amethyst chips and tiny gold, uh, gold spacer beads. Finished with a gold bolt ring clasp and a bracelet is memory wire. Um, the first time I wrote, um, I wore it, my friend, whose birthday is in February, saw it and asked me to make her one. He is hoping for a win. Good luck, everybody. Well, Beryl, I'm not surprised, and it's gorgeous. Aww. And happy birthday to your friend. Uh, number 338 is from Debs. Hello to you, Debs. Beautiful abalone. Oh, amazing. Beautiful. Love it. Oh, very pretty. Very nice um, pearls. Works, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, too. Um, hi, all. Please find and close my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. I haven't entered for a while, but I hope you like this necklace made from abalone and culture pearl that I've had in my stash for a few years. Uh, all from Jewelry Maker, obviously, she says. Uh, good luck, all. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Number 339 is from Gillian. Oh. Beautiful. Gillian says, hi, team jewelry maker. I hope you're well. Here is my entry to the Wall of Fame. A pair of sterling silver, rose quartz and tassel earrings. Good luck to everybody in the drawer. I'm wishing all the team a great week ahead. How kind of you. Oh. That's wonderful. Uh, good luck. Um, I have number 340 from Kate. Oh, beautiful. Very pretty. Are they, are they cashies? I think oh. so. Uh, hi, here is my birthday present made with a 15 loop charm bracelet decorated with um, disc pearls and peridot. I've had these pearls for some time now and it was a bit of a, a, a eureka moment to wrap loop them onto a bracelet with a birthstone. It looks so pretty and delicate uh, and there is so much movement and luster. I might make one for myself. All items are jewellery maker. Good luck to all in the drawer. And over to you. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so number 341 is from Karen Hawksley. Oh, very nice. Oh, I like the colours. Hi, all at JM. Here's my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. Two bracelets, one made from blue ombre shell pearls with silver spaces, and one from peach freshwater pearls and tiny star spaces, all from JM. Good luck, everyone. Amazing. Oh, Love that. Number 342 is from Deborah Davies. Here with this week's offering for the Wall of Fame. I think Jasper and Agate and a simple stretchy, uh, but I could be wrong. I bought these gemstones donkeys years ago from JM. Good luck to my fellow Whoppers. Oh, I like Isn't that. Isn't that amazing? Is it me that's getting like haunted scene vibes yes. from that cabochon? Oh, very nice. Very, very cool. Nice. Number 343 is from Kate Jackson. Hi, JM. This is my entry for the Wall of Fame. Jadeite bracelet and vase charm with red spacer beads. Very simple, but feels... Lovely to wear. I never take it off, even in the shower. Best of luck to all entrants. Oh, that's beautiful. Very pretty, Jade yeah. Red. Love that, Perfect. Kate. Amazing. Number 344 is from Neil Jenkinson. This week's Wall of Fame is a selection of bracelets made using silver shell pearl, fancy jasper, and leopard skin jasper. As, as ever, all products are from JM. Displayed on a piece of deer antler, I have polished, wrapped with paracord. I use this item when working with paracord to help tighten knots. Good luck to everyone and best wishes. Oh, that's very clever. Beautiful, Beautiful. selection of bracelets. Amazing, Neil. Um, and nice. well done, everybody. Yes, and good luck. Good luck in the draw that happens tomorrow. Tomorrow. So um, with our lovely Carol. So fingers crossed, hoping for a win. Now, are you ready? Last time I had the privilege of bringing a version of these rings and they weren't the same. Um, they had different patterns, but they were the adjustable one size fits all. These sold out. Um, there are lots of perks to adjustable rings. 
in that, you know, if you've got have swollen joints or Absolutely. maybe it's uh, painful for you to push a ring over your knuckles or maybe they are sort of larger than maybe the actual finger itself. Yeah. They become loose and then they just spin and it's really frustrating. Yeah. Whereas these, you can squeeze almost you to on fit, can't you? Exactly, yeah. As a retailer as well, the fact that you haven't got to do one per size, does that make sense? It's one size fits all. Absolutely. Amazing. Now, these are... Four separate kits, of which you get two of. So let me just double check. Let me just see. So I'm going to start with one which I think is going to be the most popular. Did you say oh, the turtle yeah. and the seahorse? Oh, so there's the turtle. I really like the seahorse one. I think that's one of is my this, favorites. I, I, I just have this. I think a seahorse is my spirit animal. <laughs> I don't know. They just. I, I love. I love how... And beautifully weird they are. Um, the male does give birth, absolutely. I love that. And I think it is that documentary that I watched about seahorses, which make me love them so much. Um, but look at that. So they've all got themes. This is all about sort of your marine, your beautiful turtles, yes. which again, most of us have a fondness for um, turtles. Um, and then you, have, then you have the seahorse itself. So these are, if I can just show you, there's the turtle, and you can team it with the pearl or the aquamarine if you wish. Turtle is very cute as well. Very it? sweet. And there's the seahorse. Yes. Monica, these are beautiful. They are. They are. I mean, even if you if you don't um, consider the fact that they are adjustable, just the design of them, I think, is really pretty to have that sort of that it's open because sometimes your adjustable rings are adjustable underneath. Yeah, that's true. So the fact that these are open at the top, I think, makes them really look. Um, well, it's like a it's like a cuddle, isn't it? Of precious yeah. metal. I love them, and you can separate them even more. You can put them closer together if you wanted to, much like they're pictured yeah. here. Um, I love these. I absolutely love these. Great for gifts. The seahorse and the turtle. Oh. Beautiful, and then you get your natural gemstones alongside those too. Now we've got a hundred of each of these. We could have easily separated, going right. This is the seahorse one. This is the turtle one. This is a the lion one. We could have separated them. We we haven't done that, and they are nine two five sterling silver. We are not talking about base metals here. Straight away, we're under twenty pounds. Wow, <laughs> that's ten pounds per adjustable ring. Which look at the gram weight, three point nine grams. You're talking three oh, grams, two grams in each, pretty much. Yeah. So if you've never done any gemstone setting before, you know, and maybe maybe it's something you think oh, I haven't got the gemstone uh, setting toolkit. Um, you don't need, you don't need to. Mm. Are these easy to do? They are. I'm going to show you how easy they are. Well, let's get your kits. We'll dive into the demo. Any questions, of course, message us. We are live here in the studio. So even, even I could do these. Absolutely. Absolutely. Are you serious? Yeah. You can do one along with me if you want. Okay. <laughs> Why not? That sounds fun. Do you know, sterling silver, precious, a beautiful ring. I bought, do you know the other thing? I bought, I bought the, the first time we had the adjustable rings, I bought one of those kits because I gave them to my little girl. Yeah because it can grow with her, though, exactly. can't it? Exactly, Which, yeah. As she grows a little bit like the sort of christening bang bangles expand, the ring can expand with her. We're at fourteen yeah. ninety nine. That's for two oh nine two five sterling, wow. £7.50 each, and genuine gemstones. So if you look at it, because it's four components, isn't it? £3.75. Because yeah. you've got the aquamarine, you've got the cultured pearl yeah. you've got the seahorse uh, silver ring uh, which is almost two grams and you've got the turtle seahorse ring which is almost two grams yeah two of the most fondly associated creatures i think that exist on the planet especially if you love the ocean absolutely but also as you were saying earlier if you sell rings and then you don't have to worry about the size but also if you've got um all four sets then you have eight different gemstones so you could you could present your eight different rings and the eight different gemstones and your your customers can pick and choose which gemstone they want to because they're all the same size the gemstones. yeah so we'll display them like gemstone. you've done exactly yeah but then they can choose which stone they want to go in That's which a nice ring idea. 
so yeah, I think that's really, uh, really. Were you expecting these to be seven pound fifty per? No, I wasn't. <laughs> no, um, I know. Well, the phone lines have gone crazy. A lot of multi buyers. Nikki, hello to you, Merseyside. Uh, t County Tyrone's bought five of them. Kate, yep. Sarah, Faye, Donna, hello to you, Christine, getting three, mm -hmm. and Deborah, and Susan, Nikki, Maureen, Ma uh, Marie. We're not talking about base metals here. They are nine two five sterling silver, fully adjustable as well. So they just kind of very gently because remember nothing's indestructible, but very gently. Sterling silver is malleable, so um, encourage it round to sort of secure to your hand. You can use your mandrel if you wanted. Yeah. That would work as well, um, but you don't need to. You can actually wrap it around your finger. If you wanted oh, yeah. to open it slightly, so they're kind of, I don't know, maybe the pearl is chasing the, pertle, uh, the turtle, if you see where yeah. I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you could do that as well. We had a hundred of each of these. Um, we've got very different themes to each of these. Um, you can shop ahead on all of the others. Now you kind of, we kind of set our st uh, stall out, haven't we, really? I'm not guaranteed that each of these kits will be going to exactly the same price tag, but they will be amazing. Um, shop ahead and secure yours. And maybe, uh, maybe Monica, now is an ideal time for us to learn how we do it. Okay, well, should I use the one that we've already done? I'm going to give it back to you afterwards, okay. but I, I forgot to leave some. Unplayed. So this one? So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no props. So you still have the others. Do you want to make one as well? Or? Yeah, why not? I'll have a go. Okay, which Always one? willing. You do the seahorse then. Okay. So now the only only thing um, I can show you other than obviously gluing the gemstone in place is when you get your rings in the post, obviously um, you've got these little, um, almost like little prongs sticking up on the side. Yeah. Okay, which help to hold the gemstone in place. So when you first position your um, your gemstone on top of the, the ring setting, it doesn't quite, um, you're going to think it doesn't fit, basically. But it does fit, but it looks like it doesn't pop into place. It kind of sits on top because some of these little prongs, um, they sometimes get pushed in a little bit, okay? Because obviously it would still work if you had a slightly smaller gemstone as well. So the prongs are kind of, um, they're kind of facing inwards a little bit. So what you want to do is you need to open those prongs, but those prongs are quite strong. So this is where um, it comes in that you don't need your specialist tools. So the only tool I used, and I'll give Elle one as well, if she wants to do it as well. I've only got these small ones, but you should be That's okay. okay with that as well. So all I used was my normal jewelry making uh, flat nose pliers. Okay, just the ones that come in the kit. Um, now, at first I was worried that I would damage the ring, but actually they're really well made. The silver is really well uh, made and it's pretty strong. So all you have to be is a little bit gentle with it uh, and you're not going to damage it at all. So all I did was I wanted to open the prongs and the easiest way to do that is just take your pliers and put it vertically onto the prongs like that. Now, you don't want to sort of slide your pliers along the ring because that is what's going to scratch it. So you just position your pliers in one spot and then you squeeze, okay? Now you need to squeeze quite hard because the prongs are quite strong. And you just keep going all the way around, open your pliers before you move. So as I say, you don't slide your pliers um, on the actual ring because you don't want to scratch it. So you just keep going like that. And every time you squeeze, those little prongs are gonna open a little tiny bit more each time. When you get to the ring, um, sort of the shank of the ring, you do the same thing as well, okay? You, you, there's still enough room there for your pliers to fit around sort of the setting. You just, so you just go gently, gently all around, okay? And at first when you do it, you'll probably not do it uh, sort of hard enough and it's not going to make much of a difference, but you'll see that because then once you've made it all the way around, then you see if your gemstone will fit in. And when you've done it enough, you will see that your gemstone actually sort of it kind of snaps into position. So when I put it on there, can you see how on the one side, this one's actually already gone in, so this was, this was quite open, but if it didn't go in, it would kind of, there would be a little bit of a gap on one side, which you can actually see better if you look at it from underneath. You can see how much of a space there is underneath between the setting and the gemstone. So you can tell quite easily if your gemstone has actually popped into position properly. How are you getting on now? Do you need the bigger pliers? No, no, this is good. 
So if you try it an, another, uh, if you try it after you've gone all the way around and you still feel, well, maybe it's not quite fitting in yet. Actually, this one I think could use a little bit more opening as well. Then you just do the same thing again. You just go around again gently. And I mean, I did this on all eight rings and I, I can't see any damage on any of them. I mean, I mean, I didn't look with the magnifying. I've squashed the shank a little bit though, so I think I'll probably need a mandrel. Uh, yeah, possibly. Well, you want to hold it gently, obviously. You want to hold the actual ring uh, gently. So the only pressure I'm applying is actually onto the onto the pliers that are holding uh, there. I'm not I'm not pushing this uh, with my left hand or anything like that. I'm only just pushing on the pliers just like that and not sliding uh, the pliers along the setting. So just keep going like that until you can see that your gemstone fits into place. Okay. And then that's it really. Once your gemstone can sit in there nice and comfortably, mm -hmm. this one I can probably still do a little bit more. So just keep going again, going a little bit again. And it's kind of, you can't, I mean, the, the prongs are really small, so it's kind of hard to tell which prong is the one that is kind of holding up your gemstone. But because the prongs are quite small, they're not the one, they're not what's going to be holding your gemstone because you're going to glue your gemstone in. So the prongs are just there, they're really just for decorative purposes, really. Um, it kind of makes it look like a finished proper setting, okay? So you put your gemstone on top, and then once it can actually pop into place, Okay, then you know that you're ready to glue it in. So then you're going to take it out, and I'm not going to actually glue this one because uh, I want to give it back to Elle, but you just need to put the tiniest amount of glue into the corners there. Now don't worry if your glue isn't evenly distributed. You don't want to put lots and lots of glue in because you don't want the glue to sort of ooze out the back and the sides and everywhere. And really, all you need is for the glue to catch your gemstone in just mm. a couple of spots because the glue is so strong. It doesn't have to be a perfect seal of glue all the way around. If it's touching your gemstone in a couple of spots, it's going to hold it there. So put your glue on there and then put your gemstone in position. And then, I mean, if, you're, if you were a proper jeweler and you had all the jewelry making tools, you could push the prongs in closer to the gemstone, but you don't really need to. I mean, with your naked eye, you can't actually tell that you've opened those prongs out at all. It's really close to the gemstone, even like this, because the, the depth of the gemstone is quite high, so the gemstone doesn't start to dome straight away. There's a, there's a, a section which, is, which is, uh, sort of has got straight sides, so when you pop it in, the prongs are still essentially touching the edge of your gemstone, if you know what I mean. So, you, so there isn't a visible gap if you look at the finished rings. I mean, I can show you the one that is finished. Um, that one, sorry. So you can see this one I've glued in. And you can't really see a gap between the gemstone no, not at all. And, the, and, the, and the prongs. So you don't have to worry too much about um, using specialist tools or anything to push the prongs back in. And then that's it. And you just want to let it sit for 24 hours uh, or at least overnight for the gemstones to, for the glue to dry. And that's it. And obviously you want to use your hypo cement. Yes. Glue for that, because especially because of the applicator nozzle to get it in the corner there. Yeah, E6000 might yeah. be a bit messy. It's Unless you use yes. a cocktail stick, and I suppose. Uh, you could, yeah. But also it's quite thick. Okay. Uh, whereas this is a bit more runny. So as I say, you just need the tiniest amount. If it just catches your gemstone in a couple of places, uh -huh. maybe three little spots, uh, it's going to hold it in there. I mean, this gemstone is not heavy. I mean, it's, it's a small-ish gemstone, you know, there's no weight that working yeah. against your glue. Um, so that's all you need to do, really. So it's just Amazing. opening those prongs that you, um, that you want to do. I love these. I love them and I like the fact that it's really, you know, it's a simple technique, yeah, but really you're getting professional jewellery at the end of I it. I really like that you can wear them like that. Yeah, like midi rings. Yeah. Lovely. Monica, absolutely gorgeous. Well done. If you do have any more questions for Monica, do message us. We are live here in the studio currently um, up until one o'clock this afternoon. So we still have got three more themes. Shall we do, I think one of the most popular is going to be the lion and the elephant. Ah, oh, he's a he's a happy elephant. The elephant is really cute. Oh, it was so hard to decide which is my favourite. I love them all. Yeah, I can't choose. The lion's pretty cool too. Oh. 
Oh, amazing. Now, alongside these, I'll just bring, oh, where's that gone? Thank you. Um, yes, please. Alongside these, I always like my little piece of paper to show you the gemstones as well. Um, you have amethyst and citrine, amazing. So perfectly calibrated, we've got my tweezers. Uh, perfectly calibrated to go within um, the sterling silver adjustable ring. So here's the lion. And here's the elephant. Amazing, sterling silver, in both of these as well fully adjustable great if you retail your jewelry absolutely because it's one size fits all and we, that's the first question that customers would usually ask or well, from my yeah. experience anyway oh what sizes have you got in that oh it's what yeah it's it's adjustable so um but yeah and you haven't got that kind of part which sometimes pinches you underneath the hand you know well that's the other thing i was going to say it's really comfortable because when you put it on um obviously normally in and just in a just in an adjustable ring that's hard to say isn't it mm. <laughs> usually the adjusting section is underneath yeah but with this one because the adjusting as i said before is on top oh, let's look when you look at the bottom you've only got that little thin band underneath so it's really comfortable it doesn't sort of get in the way and pinch you no like, absolutely like some, or catch some, on your clothes as well exactly like uh, some of the adjustable rings that you, you know we're not stopping there so might this might be for a leo for example oh yes great if you're a leo um or you love your elephants too seven pound fifty do you think we would get an amethyst or citrine sterling silver ring oh. at seven pound fifty anywhere else i thought it might be 14.99 each would each be yeah would be fabulous wouldn't yeah. it is it i mean unbelievable um and it doesn't matter if you're if you've never made a single piece of jewelry in your entire lifetime if you've got yeah. the correct ingredients and the know-how it's simple construction effectively you're making that professional jewelry we had a hundred of each of these this one has been particularly popular on pre-order please do make sure you check out so mary maker catherine julie hampshire jay helen amazing um nikki's multi-bought rachel michelle's multi-bought well don't you jackie derbyshire's multi-bought nicolette and jane and sharon and anne and isle of man and marie Helen, Julie, Julian Beverter, Julian Durham, Sarah, well done. We had a hundred of each of these um, and we pivot it towards you a little bit. There you go. Amazing. And as I said, I mean, the only thing you need in terms of tools is a pair of pliers. Basically, and, yeah. And then, of course, your glue. I mean, uh, I can't remember what price the glue was that we had, something like five pounds for a tube. Yeah, it's not a great deal. But even if you buy it somewhere for 20 pounds a tube, this tube is going to be enough to make probably a hundred of those rings. So yeah. then you're talking 20p per ring for the glue. And and I mean, you'd be pretty crazy to get it for 20 pounds a tube, but yeah. That's, yeah, <laughs> you, we bring it to you at great prices and it does last for sure. Um, wow, uh, absolutely unbelievable price points on these. Uh, on these. Now this kit is proving to be very, very popular. Um, um, also, you know, we said about some of the meanings. Elephants, we talk about lots of meanings behind yeah. elephants. But the lion, I mean, it's courage, isn't it? You know, it's courage. Maybe you know someone and you're thinking about gifting that little little, little symbol of, of courage. Then Absolutely. that's where the lion takes me yeah. to. Or they're a Leo. Yeah, an elephant is my favourite. Well, one of my favourite animals. And, of course, the purple amethyst. So ah, perfect it's perfect for, <laughs> for you. They are beautiful, aren't they? They really are, yeah. There's, there's a lot of detail on them as well, which is really nice. We were talking about this the other day. Would you ever do a safari? Me, yes. Probably have done a safari, haven't Oh, I've yeah. done several. Several. <laughs> See, I'd like to be, I feel like I'd be a bit chicken to All do right. a safari. Oh, last time we went on, we went on a safari drive on a, on a jeep that was a bit higher than a normal jeep, but the sides were open and there were lions walking along. So if we stretched our arm out, we could have touched them. <laughs> I bet they don't encourage that, though, do they? No, they don't. <laughs> no. Keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle. Absolutely. At all times. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you want to be able to jump? <laughs> um, oh, wow. 14. No, I'd love to. I'd love to, but I do find it. I also watched the uh, Idris Elba film with uh, lions. Oh, yeah. So that's going to put me off a little bit. Just a little bit. It's a bucket list thing, though, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah, another one where we were driving ourselves, we came to a T-junction on the road, and this enormous African elephant just came out of the bush in front of us, right towards us, and we were just sitting there. Oh, my gosh. But then it kind of just walked past, and it was amazing. I mean, the, the elephants that you see here, the Indian elephants in the zoos, are yeah. like babies compared to those African elephants. Really? Oh, absolutely. 
Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, okay, let's move on to... I could talk... I could literally listen to that. I think this thing is amazing. Wildlife is amazing, isn't it? Um, okay, let's move on to the next of your kits, which is the birds. Here it is. You've got... Oh, so sweet. There's a lot of silver in these. Yeah. And then you have... Oh, the hummingbird as well. Hummingbird, yeah. Very beautiful. Yeah, that looks like a little little swallow or a swift yeah. or... Very pretty. What do you think? I'm sure Mark would be able to tell us exactly what kind Probably. of bird it is. <laughs> Probably. Then you have the most beautiful red garnet. Look at that. Oh, it's pretty. Now, no surprises. Straight under £20. This features amethyst and... Is that a clear court? Sorry, not amethyst, garnet and sky blue oh. topaz. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight away, as soon as you put it on white, that white background. How amazing are these? I love the hummingbirds. They're only about an inch, aren't they, in, ter in terms of height? Yeah, they're very tiny. Tiny, yeah. tiny, tiny, tiny. Uh, 14 dollars no surprises here. So, wait a minute. I mean, I'm, I'm being presumptuous, but... Let's just say you can get two lots of the kits for £30. That's four sterling silver gem genuine gemstone set rings. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, just give yourself, I don't know, an hour, half an hour maybe. Sit down. Nice zen moment. You know, you can, and you can literally say that you've made yeah. all of these. Yeah. So you might, one of your nearest and dearest might particularly like birds, might particularly like turtles, yeah. might particularly like hummingbirds, might like elephants, might like lions, uh, yeah, might like, what's the other ones? Swans. Swan, yeah. Or flying fish. And then, of course, you've got the, the birthstone gemstones as well, so you could pair them together that True. way. True, well. yeah, it's a great idea. You can personalise it also. Um, amazing, make sure that you are checking out those baskets. Very, very cute. We had 100 of each of these kits. Yeah, but they're not hanging around. And that is, there's so many reasons why an adjustable ring kit is popular, because there's, A, there's a lot of silver, uh, a lot of silver, they're genuine gemstones, they're lovely designs, yeah. but it's also one size fits all. You know, if you've got painful joints or you've got inflamed joints, which then you find that if you do get a ring over, it's a little bit loose on the bottom of the finger, and then you can just adjust it to, uh, to fit. As you said, Monica, you can wear them thumb rings, you can wear them as yeah. midi rings if you wanted to, to, you could swap them around. You normally, when we buy a ring, it's for one finger, isn't it? In particular, you don't yeah. necessarily have that uh, ability to sort of swap. Um, whereas with these, you definitely can. Or you might be thinking, like I was, oh, if I gave this to my willow, you know, as she grows up, it's, she's not going to grow out of it because it's adjustable. Yeah. £7.50 per ring. Well done. Anne, Jean, Francis, Helen, Nicolette, Jane, Sarah, Helen, Chew, Merseyside, Sharon in Lanarkshire, Sharon in Essex, Catherine, Multibuying, Jenny, Donna, Nikki, Sylvia, Catherine. Well done. It's all about the little birds. Yeah, lovely. They're pretty, aren't they? Oh, they really are. I wish I'd... we had hummingbirds here. Oh, well, I saw one at the Eden Project once. Did you? Yes. Only time I ever saw a real one, but yeah. Yeah, because they're fascinating, aren't they? There's hover. Yeah. Hover, amazing. And they're, we... and they're a sort of a lot, a lot tinier than you expect. They're yeah. really, really small. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm, I, like I say, I'm no David Attenborough, but you know the one that does the kind of dance, the males do a dance <laughs> on the branch? I like that one too. <laughs> He's amazing. And then she goes, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> and they've got the whole routine and everything. <laughs> and she's like, not interested, sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, and on to the final kit, the swan. Swan and also your flying fish. Fascinating creatures. Now, on this one, you have an Ethiopian opal, which is full of play of colour. I'm probably showing it on the worst possible background there. But I there you go. Out of all the gemstones, that opal was my favourite. Yeah. It's Epic that opal. Yeah, it is it's full really of play of colour. In fact, should I show it on the black background? I think that's probably a better idea. Um, because otherwise, on white, white, white paper, you're not going to see it basically. So, um, you do have black onyx, mm -hmm. Ethiopian opal, the swan, and then your flying fish. Or a shark. I think it looks like a shark. Maybe, yeah. Could be a shark. If you if you turn it sideways up, it kind of looks like a penguin with one sort of wing open. 
Ah, oh yeah, a little bit like a penguin. Oh, you mean like this? If you stand it up, yeah. Oh yes. Penguins have got tails, haven't they? A penguin swimming within like the water. Feathery tail. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Loving the swan one. £14.99 pence only. No surprises there. So that means, simple maths, for £60 I can get all four kits, all four sterling silver, genuine gemstone rings. I mean, you're not going to sell them at £7.50, are you? No, you're not. <laughs> you're if you not. do sell, you wouldn't buy them at £7.50 elsewhere. Um, and it's just a, you know, a simple technique that creates those lovely professional pieces of jewellery. Um, love that display, Monica. Yeah, it's, it's the inside of my jewellery box. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. There you go. And there they shall stay. And of course it's purple, yeah. Yeah, there they shall stay. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to swap them around, going to mix them together. Very, very, very beautiful. Well done, everyone. Congratulations to you all. These have been very popular um, indeed, and I can absolutely, absolutely see why. Um, wow, gosh, what, just under 15 minutes left on show. Still got lots to bring you. Now, going to stick with the, uh, the animal theme. Let's bring you some beautiful elephants, shall we? Because these were very popular. And we spoke about the meanings of elephants. Elephants, I don't know if we could bring that up. Could we, Roscoe? Um, these are very sweet. Yeah, elephants, I think we have this immediate attraction to them. They've got that wonderful family bond, um, very much, much uh, sort of a unity, aren't they? Um, but they share this lovely story behind them as well. Um, very intelligent animals, but in jewellery, they are incredibly symbolic. Now, these are 925 sterling silver, and you do get all five of them as well. Upturned trunk elephant is a happy elephant. Oh, Amazing. So... It's like a little family of elephants. It is. Marching along your bike. Yeah, today. little herd. <laughs> up, two, three, four, keep it up. Two, three. Uh, elephants represent strength and good fortune. They also symbolize health and happiness and are thought to promote spiritual well-being in our daily lives. Elephants are strong and nurturing. They are loyal to their family and are determined and protective. Elephants remind us to always be true to ourselves and to keep those we love close to our hearts. They also teach us that a little strength and determination we can overcome any challenges that arise in life. In Hinduism, elephants hold a sacred symbolism. The Hindu god Ganesha features the head of an elephant and is thought to bring good luck as well as representing wisdom. Yeah. And I, you, you can totally you know, agree with every single one of those beliefs, can't you? Yeah. I mean, elephants are quite special, aren't they? Because uh, I think they're, they're one of the only animals that sort of mourn their dead. Yes. That sort of thing. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And the, and the families that, I mean, you see all these videos on YouTube where uh, the whole herd comes together to help if, for example, a baby falls into a puddle of mud or something mm -hmm. and they will help him to get out and and they're very social animals aren't they yeah beautiful yeah, yeah when when a family member dies they even remember where yeah just oh it, they are very touching aren't they very very touching and the fact that all the ladies you know there'll be grandmothers in yeah. the herd as well yeah. um we're at 60 pounds and 99 pence but quite clearly we're not going to stop there are we you do get all five of them it's like a little herd <laughs> i almost want one of them to be a bit mini <laughs> <laughs> Just to have the baby in there as well. All five charms. Oh. We've showed pieces of jewellery, haven't we? One which was a complete bracelet of your elephants, you know, just uh, and, and you could say it's like that herd. Here we go, oh, yeah. 175 pounds, it's lovely, it is. I, th I don't think that's silver though, to be honest. I think that looks like, I think that looks like it's base metal. I might be wrong, I might be wrong, so don't quote me on that, but 175 pounds for that, lovely, really beautiful. But it's still 175 pounds, yeah. isn't it? And simple beading techniques. I really like the silhouette of your elephant on this one. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Nice. We've got. We've. We spoke about the facts of elephants. You were saying that they can feel through their feet. They can. They can walk along sort of uh, dry leaves in a forest, and you can't hear a sound. It's that. That. See. Now, Adam doesn't believe me when I say this. They can step on a daisy and not crush it. Yeah. I saw that with my own eyes. It might have been you that told me that yeah, story. We were... There you go, Adam. <laughs> well, to be fair, he didn't step on it to squish it. It, it was at Whipsnade Animal, Animal Park, and this little elephant was walking along behind his mom, and there was a little daisy about this big, and he kind of stepped on it with his foot and felt it, and he felt all around it, and then he stepped next to it. 
Oh. It was amazing. I loved them. You could kind of see him studying this flower. <laughs> oh, very sweet. See, now my two-year-old. <laughs> Stomp. 100%. <laughs> well done, everybody. Now, um, we have brought you a few more little elephant themes. Um, um, on the web are they on the website? Yeah. So the, that's a lobster claw clasp oh, right now. It looks like he's blowing water on his back, doesn't yeah. he? Um, yeah, five ninety nine and nine two five sterling silver. So if you love your elephants much like our lovely Monica, um, there's also an elephant connector which we can put on. I think I launched this actually. Yeah, um, it is very sweet. I can show you the photograph of that too. Oh, ah, is it reaching up into the tree? Woohoo! Feels like so someone needs to do a sound effect. Terrible, isn't it? Can you do an elephant sound effect now? Uh, 9.99, beautiful. That's just crying out to have a lark's head knot, doesn't it? Either side and a Macamry bracelet. I've got one more to bring to you as well. Um, some elephant spacer beads. Gone down that animal route now, haven't we? Oh. They're very sweet. Very, very sweet. So just from different angles, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so do have a little look on the website or alternatively speak to our call centre if you want to get hold of these. Most, as a lot oh. of people, if you, I don't know, I don't know a single person that doesn't love elephants or appreciate elephants. Yeah. Yeah. They are very beautiful. Absolutely. Especially when you see them from this far away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I've never seen an African elephant, but I have seen an Indian elephant. Yeah. yeah. And just, just, just amazing, amazing creatures. Seven ninety nine only. Well done, everybody. Absolutely incredible. Now, um, I have. Is this our finale? Finale of the day. Now, Ooh. we've spoken quite a lot about what me. Oh, this is a, this is probably my favourite carving of all time. I've got. I've, wow. Wow. I haven't seen this. And I remember telling my husband about two weeks ago what this means. Two fish, goldfish in particular, is all about happy marriage. Oh. It's wow. double carved. And in the middle, look, you've got the money coin. There's 10 of these available. I love this carving. I think it's absolutely amazing. Firstly, you have the vase itself, yes. so prosperity. I'm sure this means something, but I, I, I'll be honest, I don't know. Um, maybe something to research. Then you have the two goldfish, which is symbolic of happy marriage. And then you have the money coin, which is consequently turned into the bale itself. Let me turn it around because, wow. again, just to show you, it is double carved. I love this. What a great idea for anniversary or something like oh, that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Like an anniversary gift. There's only 10 of them left. Why would... Yeah, wow. Why are we starting at 995? It could be so much more. But time is of the essence, I suppose. Ten, uh, ten of you will be successful. Look at the detailing on those, uh, on the, on the, on the scales. scales. Yeah. The scales. Wow. Look at that. So I don't know if it says happy marriage. I'm sure it could be happy relationship as well. But oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. The final ten. And we are not stopping at £995. OK, let's essentially drop that price, not just by a little bit, let's half it. Under £500 for you this morning. Wow. £499. There's 190 carats of beautiful type A jadeite, your double fish, goldfish in particular. All that wonderful meaning. So if you've got an anniversary on the horizon, a special one. There is a jade anniversary. I mean, how amazing would this be for your jade anniversary? Oh, how many years is that then? I think 45, oh, I think. Oh, wow. Don't quote me on that one. At £499, is it 35 years? Okay, amazing. Amazing. And look at that area of translucency just here in the centre. Can you see? Yeah. I wonder. Hang on. Imagine how difficult it must be to carve that without actually breaking through to the other side. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. There you go. Ah, oh, look at those. Aren't they beautiful? There is only 10 of them left, though. Your beautiful double fish pendant, symbolic of happy marriage or relationships. And you can see the money coin in particular, can't you, just there? Well done, everybody that has shopped ahead. Cheryl Ann and Cumbria, well done. You've got yours. It is our finale auction, is that right? 
Probably, yeah. Um, of the day, because we are running out of time. Oh, wow. 199 pounds only. Absolutely beautiful intricacy um, within this carving. All done by hand in that same amazing technique that has been uh, used by the finest uh, artistry uh, workers over uh, hundreds of years. And that is literally abrasive. You know, they polish it still to this day with wet bamboo. But, you know, just imagine sketching something like this and yes. making it realistic, let alone carving something into a beautiful gemstone. Linda in Surrey, well done. Maker, Cumbria, well done to you. Uh, Cheryl, well done to you. I only had 10 of them. You can still do it, and it does have that split payment, but just so you know, these are going super fast. Tracy in Norfolk, Eunice in Surrey. Uh, and these are the names that I can see. If you can imagine, I'm on like a time lapse ever so slightly. 0800 644 is the free phone telephone number make sure you're checking out your baskets um and good luck it has been an absolutely amazing tuesday show we did say it was going to be pretty amazing didn't we at the bnn yes. and i don't know where time goes <laughs> no it just it just disappears doesn't it? it goes so fast so so fast um do you know when you're back i don't know yet because we haven't got our september show oh, okay Ooh, so september. fingers crossed Fingers crossed uh, uh, very, very, very soon. Um, yeah, and have a little look. If you've been uh, just tuned in to Jewelry Maker, have a little look on the website um, because we brought loads of beauties. Te today we have brand new jadeite carvings. Um, if you've missed out on them, you can always wish list them and I'll speak to our contact centre. They do call you back. We've also brought some major closeout, uh, sorry, um, major closeout deals. There's the carvings uh, that we launched with lovely Dave. So have a look at those. It's been pretty epic um, and I'm back with you on Friday we've got a very exciting weekend um, looking forward to that so coming up on Friday Dave and Mark Susie ah. sorry Susie with Nanhong Reg, Ag Reg Agate. Sorry, I've slept since then. So, yeah, um, that's going to be absolutely incredible. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for your Wall of Fame as well and the lovely Carol. Um, and enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. It's been fantastic being with you and the lovely Monica oh, as well. You See you soon. Bye.